Hey guys, Josh Harris. How's everybody doing? Welcome to a very special live stream. I'm so excited for today. I've been wanting to do this for a long time. And I got inspired when Harvest Moon 64 came out on the Nintendo Switch Online expansion pack. And I realized we had a ton of Story of Seasons, previously known as Harvest Moon, games on the Switch. So today we're going to be playing all of them. So I'm going to show them to you in order. So first, we're going to be playing the Harvest Moon on the Super Nintendo. This is the Japanese version, but of course, I'm going to play in English on the Switch. Because the English, the North American version of this is like $1,000. So I just got the Japanese one to have it physically. But this is the first game we're going to go through. And we're going to play each game for about maybe 45 minutes to an hour. So it should be, I think, between 5 to 7 hours for today's stream. So it's going to be a long stream. So... Grab some snacks, grab some drinks. I have some water. I don't have snacks because I don't like eating on stream, but we'll probably take a little break at some point so I can have a snack. Um, yeah, so Horace Moon, SNES. And then we have Horace Moon 64, my favorite of all time, Horace Moon 64. And then we have Story of Seasons, Friends of Mineral Town which is a remake of Harvest Moon Back to Nature, and then Harvest Moon Friends of Renault Town, and then Story of Seasons Friends of Renault Town. So this game has been remade like so many times in different ways. But that's a really good game. It's kind of similar to Harvest Moon 64 because it has a lot of similar characters, um, but they have different jobs and roles, so it can be a little bit confusing, but very, very fun game. And it's been a while since I played it. And then we're going to be playing Harvest... Uh, sorry. Story of Seasons Pioneers of Olive Town, which this one is a new game that came out on the Switch. So that's like a new, like three years old, right? Two years, 2021, I think. Yeah. And then we have Doraemon Story of Seasons, which I feel like not enough people talk about this game. Uh, it's such a good game. The first one is not the best. It has some flaws, like it's very grindy. But the second one, Doraemon Story of Seasons, Friends of the Great Kingdom, is really good, um, better in every way. It's maybe a little bit too easy, I feel like. Uh, as much as the first one is like really, really grindy, this one is like really, really fast and easy. Um, but it's really good. And if you want a physical version of this one, uh, even the Japanese version has English on it. Uh, I know there's also like an Asian English, but I think the Japanese one, if you go on like Amazon Japan, is usually cheaper than like if you go on Play Asia and you try to find the, ja the Asian English. So if you're looking for physical that's the way to go with this one and then we have star of seasons a wonderful life so yay so yeah so many games <laughs> to play through to them so 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 excited uh are you gonna start a new game at harvest Moon for considering the previous one that you played i'm gonna so some of these games i am kind of like halfway through some of them i will start over harvest Moon 64 i started playing on the on i made a i streamed it right a few weeks ago I'm in the second year now, on the third of winter, actually, uh, 30th of winter, so the last, the last day of winter, so since it's kind of like the holidays right now, I wanted to do the New Year's celebration in the game, so I stopped playing, and just for New Year's, so we're going to do a little New Year's party, and this is going to be my last stream this week, well, I do have a member stream tomorrow, but it's going to be my only stream this week, because I'm going away for, like, Christmas and stuff. Uh, Josh, can you show the Harvest Moon box again? If you, yeah, there it is. It's such a beautiful box, and it's kind of shiny because it's in a plastic case to protect it. It's such a beautiful box art. Like, it's just so beautiful. It's such a beautiful game. It's such a fun game. But yeah, hope everybody's doing good. I discovered I put 170 hours into Out of Town. That's a lot. All right, guys, let's get started because we have a long day ahead. So grab your snack, grab your, grab your drinks, and let's get started. Feel free to play alongside me or do whatever you want. Uh, yeah, let's do a little Story of Seasons party. Uh, where can I find spreadsheets online? I'm new to a Wonderful Life. Um, I'm not sure. I probably missed. Sorry, I missed a lot of the conversations, but I hope, I hope you find your spreadsheets. I hope everybody's doing good. Yeah, let's get started. So we're going to start with Harvest Moon um, on the Super Nintendo, which was the very first one that released. And I do have... I think I'm just going to start from the beginning because I do have a save file. It's not very far. Yeah, 6th of Spring. Might as well just start from scratch, right? Might as well 
just restart from the very beginning. So yeah, some games I'll start from the beginning, some games, some of them, like, depending. Uh, wait. Oh, I think I have to choose which one I want to erase, right? I also want the Admiral Parade Remaster. That would be lovely. I've been inspired to start fresh on the Olive Town. I didn't like how my farm was progressing. felt more like a hassle to rearrange everything. Hello, you are the one who is supposed to work at this ranch today. What's your name? It starts very abruptly, right? <laughs> it just like, it just starts. I love the little chick. The little chick cursor that is really cute. Oops. You can only have four. I'm blessed to have a short name because you can only have four characters in this game. So if you have four, five letters or more, you'll have to figure something out. Uh, Mr. Josh, I'm in charge of shipping here. I come here every evening to pick up stuff uh, st uh, you put in the shipping box. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, sir. Uh, ask anything you want. Two people in town. It will help you. Yeah. The beginning of this game, I always struggle because you need to talk with everybody. And I always forget someone. <laughs> Hopefully, I don't get stuck in there for too long. But like pretty much every time I play this game, they were telling me, oh, you need to you still have someone to talk to and I like, couldn't figure it out. Actually, I think you just have to speak to the five bachelorettes. I'm not too sure. Anyway. Hello, I'm a wandering peddler. I don't have anything to sell. Yeah, so this guy's gonna... Yeah, sell some stuff sometimes. I've been so excited for this video. Me, me too. I've been so excited to do this today. I'm so excited. Um, I am planning another pretty fun stream for later this month. But stay tuned for that. Uh, you went to the ranch, didn't you? If you are going to raise crops there, I'll give you this to you. It's a watering can. Thank you so much. We got a little watering can. In this game, one thing is that you can only have two tools at a time. And like, yeah, you can only carry... Like, you don't have any backpack, right? So you carry two tools at a time. And if you grab any items, like forageable or like crops, you only can have one at a time. Uh, how do you do, Amnina? These crops must be sold during a certain season. They won't germinate unless you sow them in the proper season. So this is Nina. The lovely Nina, which is probably the same Nina as in Story of Seasons of Wonderful Life. When she when she was young. Because she has a little bit of like the pinkish hair, right? Even the, Well, I feel like in the original Wonderful Life on the GameCube, she has she had more of the pinkish hair. But I feel like in the remake, maybe not as much. Merry Christmas, Josh, by the way. Thank you so much. Happy New Year. I wish everyone more. Uh, new games, Story of Season and Farm Game. Yeah, honestly, 2024 is going to be so great for farming games. Hopefully, hopefully, right? I haven't seen you before. Did you come to that ranch? I'm Maria. Nice, nice meeting you. Nice to meet you, Maria. My first Harvest Moon was the GBA one. It was brutal. Very little storage. Couldn't water the middle grubs. The chicken got sick if you forgot to feed them for a day. Yeah, that was Mineral Town, right? Yeah. Yeah, even the remake of Mineral Town is a lot, a lot easier. How do you do? I'm the mayor of this town. It's a pleasure to meet you. There are some tools left in the shed that your grandfather used to use. And a book on how to use them too. How do you do? Hard, isn't it? But don't give up. Oh yeah. I have a daughter. She may be at the church. I spoke with her already. Mineral Town is one of the best ones, perhaps the very best. I love Mineral Town. But I wouldn't say it's my favorite, though. It's it's very fun. I played it a lot, but... Hello, where are you from? You are managing the ranch alone separately from your parents? Great. There's nothing here in the ranch, is there? Uh, uh, you have wonderful parents. Okay. Hey! Uh, uh, sorry. Hey, you are the owner of the ranch. I'm Anne. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Anne. I love the tiny noses on these characters. Yeah, they have like just like one little pixel. If you're like from the side, they have like one little pixel nose that sticks out. To use them, push Y button. I don't know if there was like a first sentence that I didn't read or if that was it. But anyway, yeah, to use your tools, you press Y. Uh, hello, how? Hello, all. Hi. Second favorite being Magic Community, if counting. Harvest mode, service in the title only. Yeah. 
I think I love Magical Melody more. Magical Melody is really up there for me. The only thing that... So far, Magical Melody is my favorite. The only thing... I've not played Animal Parade and I've not played Tree of Town. Uh, yeah, Tree of Towns and Animal Parade I've not played. So I'm kind of just waiting to play those. But... Magical Melody so far is my favorite. That was my very first Harvest Moon game, Magical Melody. That's nice. That's a good one to start with. Because it's like a pretty classic. Wait, it has so many features that we've not seen, like, brought back. The bar is closed today. It's usually open except Sunday, though. So this is Eve. She's the only one who doesn't tell you her name, right? Like, if you don't know her name, you just don't know. Like, I know because I know. Well, in the original game, do you had to... You had a manual, right? An instructions manual. So you can see the names of the characters there. I suggest you listen to the villagers. Yeah, that's always what happens. There's always someone. And I think... I don't know. Who am I missing? Every single time I play this game, I'm missing someone. Le let me chat with that old lady. But I feel like... Oh yeah, Ellen is gonna be there, right? Ellen, Ellie, Ellen. Oh no, that's just a little girl. Uh, misfortune teller's words always prove right. Ho ho, mister, you don't know what to begin with, do you? First, you must learn how to use those tools with the book in the shed. The rest, ask the florist about the crops. Okay. I don't know if she counts as one of the characters you have to speak to. No, oh my gosh. Hopefully we don't spend the whole first hour on that. Did I speak with that guy? Hey son, you have to have a meadow to buy livestock, not only for cows, but also for chickens. I have some grass left. I'll bring it to your shed. Oh yeah, I think he's the guy. Okay. I think I need it. I think you need to actually get the watering can, get the grass seeds. Yes. Okay. Oh yeah, and the thing is, I think you have to speak with them like in front of the counters. I think, I think that's the thing. I think if you speak with them like besides, like behind the counter, they're not gonna give you that or something like that. So sometimes you can get stuck there in a while. Anyway. Afternoon. I hope everyone's doing well. Hi. So, Miss Bloom, I hope you're doing good. Hi, everyone. Hi, Josh. What is this one? Wasn't here at the start. So, this is Harvest Moon on the Super Nintendo, the very first game in the series. Wasn't there something with the chimney, or is that is that in another? Am I mixing up? I think that's just in Middle Town, right? Or is it something else? I feel like you could do something with the chimney, like get money from your grandpa or something. I think I'm mixing up. <laughs> There's too many games. I feel like I'm mixing them up. How's the heater working today? It's about 5 here today. A little unseasonably cold. It's pretty cold today. I don't know how much it was. I went outside today. It was, I don't know, it was pretty cold. I don't know how much. But the heater is working. Uh, if it gets hot, I'll have to <laughs> turn it off. Uh, the original game before the rock sack was invented. Exactly. Uh, don't run suddenly. Oh, you are the Mr. Wrencher. Everybody's talking about. Well, excuse me. Will you please keep this dog for me? My house is a grocery store. So my mom doesn't allow me to keep this dog. So please. Hi, Christine. Nice to see you hanging in there. Thank you. Still working, unfortunately. So it'll probably be a bit quiet. But I couldn't pass up our smooth service. Yeah. Well, it should be a pretty long stream today. So maybe when you finish work, we're still going to be here. How should we name our dog? How should we name our little dog? Four characters we need. F4. Woof. <laughs> I don't know about Woof. What's a name? That's four characters. I'm just thinking of Nina. Maya. Maya is cute, actually. But it's more, I think our dog is male, right? Is he? Is he? Thea. Oh, I don't know about Thea, but what about Theo? Let's 
be cute. What about... Yeah, let's, okay, let's do that. We'll have so many dogs to name today, guys. And so many animals to name. Thank you very much. You have a new house, Theo. Uh, you've got to be a good boy. Take care. Yeah, good boy. So I'm glad we didn't name him Maya, right? Uh, I'm Ellen. Nice meeting you. Nice to meet you. We'll see Ellen when we play Harvest Moon 64. We're gonna see her. That's one thing I loved with the older games. They used to, like, reuse some of the characters and, like, make connections that, like, if you know, you know. Alright, so let's grab a hoe. And I forgot if you need to water. Oh, okay, well. Let's steal the soil first. I was 30 seconds behind on the stream somehow and confused why we're seeing the... Oh, <laughs> yeah, make sure you're watching live. And if you're enjoying this game, guys, thank you so much for joining me. And feel free to leave a like. That really helps the stream so more people can enjoy this Story of Season celebration today. I think we can make it to 100 likes. It's free and it helps tr tremendously. Uh, can you click on the pot when you go back in your house? That dialogue is... Fun. Yeah. Okay, I forgot how the... Okay. I'm so scared to like plant my seeds like wrongly. It's been a while since I played it. I replayed it like the whole thing. Like I, I made my review of Harvest Moon SNES like a few years ago, like two last year maybe. Yep. I don't think you need to water it. Let me just try. I don't think you need to water it. I love that music. I'll never get tired of that. Spring theme. All of the spring themes are so memorable. I don't know why I always name Harvest Moon dogs Davy. I had this stuffed dog that looks just like them with a red bow collar. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> you couldn't even do Davy in this game because it's five characters. I guess you could do Dave, so it's not too bad. So happy to have this stream on while I work. Okay, so happy to be assisting you with your... Not assisting you, but uh, keeping you company today. Okay, let's break some rocks. Let's make some space for crops. What's in the pot? I remember in A Wonderful Life. Talk to the pot a hundred times for music record. Yeah. I don't know. Apparently, there's a funny dialogue. I don't... Honestly, I don't remember. Uh, okay, let's break some rocks. Stream days are always my favorite work days. I'm so glad to hear it. Imagine if I streamed every day. You are totally assisting me. Cozy vibes to reduce stress. That's good to hear. That is good to hear. And I'm just going to prepare tomorrow. We're going to buy some crops. So I'm going to... I love the little animation. <laughs> I don't know if you can really call that an animation. It's just like one sprite. Oh, got a little power berry. Oh, but I love when he puts his hand in the air. Show us his tools. Work lurking got you turned down low, though, because it's crazy. I don't know why that sounded like a song. Work lurking got you turned down low, though, because it's crazy busy today. Oh. I hope it gets better. I hope. I hope by the end of the stream it gets better. Well, you're probably gonna. Be finished with work when the stream ends, but hopefully it gets gets calmer for you. Yeah, I got that power berry. So I think it's the same in Harvest Moon 64 on your field. You got a random chance of getting a power berry. <laughs> I guess I got it really, really fast today. We got lucky. Is there no shipping today? Okay, bye. <laughs> well, okay, bye. Okay, all right, let's go to bed. I don't know why the dog is so, like, bright. He, like, glows in the dark. Okay, let's sleep. As fun as it would be to have a daily just stream, you would get so burned down so fast, I would feel terrible. Yeah, honestly, I couldn't... Well... Because I make videos too, right? So I feel like if I streamed every day, I wouldn't make... I wouldn't be able to make videos. So first, I don't know if that would be, like, sustainable for me. Because... Uh, yeah, videos are good. And... I love making videos too, so it's like something like longer lasting than just like a stream. So I like I like doing what I do now, like three streams a week. I feel like it's a good good balance. Um Oh yeah, watering can. So let's buy a few seeds, a few bags of seeds. 
how are you plan planning to play every game? Do you have a system for switch switching? So I'm, I'm not switching any systems because I'm only playing the games available on the Nintendo Switch. So I'm, I'm playing everything on the Switch. So I'm not switching any system because if I play... I, I, I do have all the systems to play all the Harvest Moon games, Story of Seasons games too, but... I mean, if I played everything, it would be like a 24-hour stream. So maybe one day we can do that in the future. But I'd rather compartmentalize. Maybe one day we could do like playing all the DS games or all the GBA games or... Uh, well, GBA, there's just one. that There's the Game Boy games. Anyway. Um, I want to do one thing. I have too many like ideas, so I'm kind of like waiting. Where do you buy the seeds? Um, oh yeah, Flower Shop. I want to play all the spin-offs. I want to play Return to Popolo Chorus. I want to play Innocent Life. I want to play the first Rune Factory game. I want to do something where I play like all the spin-offs. Uh, do you have a goal that constitutes a game switch to like from the, to 64? Not really. Um... Yeah, I'll just play a few days, like 45 minutes to an hour of each game, because we have seven games to go through. I don't have a goal, just just having fun. That's my my only goal today. I feel like it would take longer switching from console to console. It would take a longer, but I've done it a few times. Like, we did a stream earlier this year where... I played like 12 games in 12 hours and there was like a PSP game because I was playing Back to Nature on the PSP, some PC games, some Switch games, so there was some system switching, but I think it, it didn't take too long to, to get things working. Maybe I should... It's been so long. Maybe I should forage something because you can only forage in the daytime in this game. So I'm going to do my farming at night. I should have brought my axe. Oh, you know what? Let me go get my axe. I'm going to plant my crops at night because night is infinite in this game. Like, literally infinite. So the day goes by pretty quickly. But night is forever. Hello, just in the chat. Just popping in for a little before I start to work for the night. So I'm sad missing this stream. Miss Fang. I know for how long you work, but I may still be there. Well... If you work like six hour shifts, I might still be there. If you work eight hours, I, I probably won't be there. But thank you so much for stopping by. Yeah, I know it's kind of an earlier stream than usual, so the timing is a little bit different. I was curious because he said every game on Switch. I was wondering was he going to get two summer in these Switch games or what? Yeah. Oh, no, I'm not going to get two summer in all. Well, in this game, I'm starting from the beginning. But other games already like have some progress. Main, so I'm not gonna start all the games from the beginning. Hi, Josh Mika. Nice to see you. 10.30, I'll be done. Yeah, 10.30. Who knows? Let's see. I can see the one pixel nose on my phone, so I'll watch on PC. Oh, <laughs> yeah, they do have a little nose. They're cute. As long as you plan to be streaming, you definitely should have started early. Exactly, because I didn't want to stream. Like, because usually I start at 6 p.m., right? So I would have streamed from, like, 6 to midnight. And... I have... Okay, so... I am leaving on the 21st in the morning... To see my family. And I'm leaving for five days. I think there's something wrong with this. I'm probably not aiming properly. Uh, yeah, basically I have one day and I have to finish two videos. Because I have some sponsored videos and I have to finish them for the 21st. Well, before I leave. So, you have so many videos to finish. So I didn't want to finish this stream at midnight because I got to do stuff. I'm having on the, I'm leaving on the 23rd to California for Christmas. Ooh, nice. It's going to be nice to be somewhere warm. I don't know where you are right now, but... I'd love to spend Christmas in California if I could. Uh... Well, I don't have any family there, so that wouldn't happen. Uh, hi, Josh. Hello, everyone. 
I'm recovering from COVID. Hope everyone is doing well. Bagel bite. I know a lot of people are sick. So I hope you feel better. I hope you recover well. I feel like it's been forever since I've been able to catch a stream video. Literally, it's been a week and a half. Yeah, good day. I feel like it's not been that long. <laughs> I feel like you've not been away for too, too long. But I know it can feel like time flies, right? So. Oh my gosh, I forgot to. Because I didn't have any stamina left. I'm not a good farmer. Okay. Let, let's plant our crops first thing in the morning because at night I'm going to just forget about it. I know the optimal ways to do it at night, but I'll do it now. I found out the other day that there are some parts of Canada the same latitude as Northern California. Yeah, but it's not the same. <laughs> I mean, maybe the same latitude, but it's not... Still going to be a very different climate, right? I feel it's easier to get friends online than in real life. Yeah, especially like online you can find like... People with like specific interests and stuff in mind, whereas in real life... Oh, I, I just have... For example, if you want to find friends that like farming games, that's going to be quite the challenge to do in real life. I mean, in the real world. I mean, outside. I always feel weird saying... Using the words like real life when I speak outside of like internet because it's still real life right we're still like all real people so I always I always find it weird when I say like real life like this is not fake life right now right but yeah anyway outside world online world I don't know hi Emilia nice to see you would you consider making a French channel doing the same thing probably not because that would be like double the amount of work and probably not as because like farming games are pretty small um like compared to like other games so like the audience for like farming games in french especially like i'm french canadian so i have an accent that maybe like french viewers wouldn't like really like um it would not be worth like spending time on it i would like i love the idea of it but it would not be like worth it to do unfortunately online offline yeah offline yeah offline that online and offline that's a good that's a good way to say it uh does the character have a canon name peter mark uh i think it was some people are saying Jack. I, I think Jack was not real. I think it's, if I'm not wrong, I think it's Pete. But some people call it Jack. Call him Jack. But I think Jack is not the real canon. I think it's Pete. I'm pretty sure, SNES, and I feel like I haven't done anything today. Uh, I feel like SNES. I think SNES. And 64, Back to Nature, it's all Pete. And then Wonderful Life was Mark. And then, honestly, I'm not sure. I wish we could all meet, but yes, online friends are still friends. Honestly, it would be so nice to meet. But unfortunately, we're all spread apart, spread away, far away. Was that George from Stardew on the screen? You mean the who? Oh, the hunter, right? Is it Terry? I know in Magical Name, his uh, Magical Melody, his name was Terry, the guy we saw in the mountains. The canon and fan base names of Harvestman characters are so interesting. I always use Jack. Yeah, I don't know how Jack ended up to be because I'm pretty sure that's not. I'm pretty sure it's Pete. Uh, okay, someone asked me to interact with the pot. Mike, confirm the origin of fire. What? <laughs> I think that's from the main tap of gas is off. Everything is all right. Confirm the origin of fire. I think it's probably like a translation thing. Josh Khan. <laughs> that could be fun. I would love to do some kind of event eventually. But I don't know if I would, I would love to do something with like, 
other like content creators, other people that do like cozy games and like farming games. Because I know there's a few of us in Canada, even though Canada is like very far, uh, so it doesn't mean much. But yeah, I'd love to do something like not just me, but like with other people as well. And gather everybody together and like, I don't know, do some kind of <laughs> games and stuff. Online friends can you can find from a larger pool of people, so you can find people with similar likes more easy. Exactly. Okay, let's go talk with Nina. I always go for Nina because she's she's Popery's ancestor. Come to Vancouver and I'll bake for everyone. That sounds so good. I love spring when all the flowers start to bloom. Let me tell you the code for the flower in our shop. It is, I like you a lot. I love spring when all the flowers start. I don't know if that code is used for something. I like you a lot. I'll try to remember that if, if I'm asked for a code at one point. Grown-ups always make rule telling us to do this, do that, don't do this, don't do that. What hard work it is being a child. <laughs> okay, enough chatting. Uh, can I buy... Oh yeah, 300G. Let's go buy. I love that you have a little snack. It tells you like when... I think you have it at 12. A little croissant. Okay, um... Let me buy potatoes. I hope Josh Khan has a merch stall. I would love a Josh costume. A Josh costume? I was thinking merch could be nice. I don't know what's the Josh costume. <laughs> My mom is in Washington state, so close to Canada, just the wrong area. Yeah, exactly. Canada is so far, it's so big. A Josh mouse mat. Ooh, it could be fun. Stay tuned for that. Um. Okay, let's plant some seeds. I always... Okay, you gotta... It's so annoying. I wish you could have more than two tools at once. Josh, my smart lovely idea. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it's gonna be almost one year since the first stuff of merch. There's still some, some stuff left, by the way, if you guys want a t-shirt or something. Because they may not come back. I think those designs may come back. But they're probably going to be different. A little bit different. Um, if we do have more shirts and stuff in the future. Uh, when I visit LDMU, Cozy, I'm in Texas. So close. Ooh. Yeah, you guys are making friends. Uh, you should do a drink like Prime. I don't think I have the budget for that, uh, unfortunately. Maybe in the future, maybe in 10 years. I want to do... No. Not I want to do, but one thing I would, that would be... I feel like we need... We need, like... Everybody's doing, like, energy drinks. Right? And there's always, like, these gamer energy drinks. Like, whatever that's supposed to be. But I feel like we need, like, cozy drinks. We need like gamer teas. We need like tea for gamers, I feel like. Oh, it's raining. Uh okay, so today I'm gonna go foraging. Sleepy time tea, yeah. Like, I don't know, all kinds of teas, like cold teas. And yeah, something chill like chamomile or lavender, you know, like some things that makes you kind of sleepy and like chill. Because when you play a farming game, you don't want to get like too excited, right? I mean, you can be excited, but I feel like sometimes you just need to like, you just want to be like chill, right? Wouldn't the opposite be wine? I guess so, but it's a little bit more not, that, not as family friendly. Uh, 
Sweet Lassie's Cozy. Ooh, I've never had that. Hot chocolate is a good idea. I like by many and can come in a lot. Oh, hot chocolate is nice. I love hot chocolate. Or a tea that has ingredients that's good for the eyes. Ooh. What ingredients are good? I'm just thinking of carrot, like a carrot. <laughs> carrot leaves tea. Apparently, it's not even real. Uh, apparently, it's not true that carrots are good for the eyes. Or like it doesn't make... Like, I think when, you, when you're, when you like, growing up, like, when you're a kid, I think it helps. But, like, when you're an adult, like, it doesn't do anything. Josh Brand Hot Chocolate Peppermint White Dark and Milk. Ooh. I think peppermint... Peppermint Hot Chocolate is always good. I was gonna say carrots. <laughs> the only thing I can think of that's good for eye health. Don't know how good that would be. Yeah. I mean, carrot cake is good. Like, you wouldn't think carrot cake would be good, but it's really good, so. Maybe carrot tea leaves. Carrot leaves tea. Maybe it's the next big thing. The carrot thing was the thing Brits said to hide how well their radar worked. Oh, is that true? Is that how it became, like, really? <laughs> I'll be back later. Okay, cool. See you later. Uh, I'm going to go get my axe. I want to chop some lumber. You should expand and start a rival chain to Starbucks Coast. Oh my god, you're too... That's a little bit... The drink, just one drink by itself is already ambitious enough. Okay, let's chop some trees. Chop some stumps. What are your thoughts on Eve? I like her, but honestly, like Eve... Karen, they're kind of cool, but not my type. Uh, I married Nina. Yeah, usually I go for Nina. Josh Hortons. <laughs> uh, I've been making tea out of mountain mint, raspberries, honey, and some lemon. Ooh. That sounds good. Sometimes I never know if I'm like hitting it wrong. Because it seems like it's not doing anything. Everybody is so ambitious, right? Everybody has these big plans. But stay tuned, stay tuned. I like iced tea and that's about it. Yeah. I usually... I like hot tea. The thing with hot tea is that... It's like... Temperature... De like... Temperature dependent. I don't know if that's... Like you can't drink hot beverages every time. Anytime, right? Whereas I feel like cold beverages. You can drink them in winter. You can drink them in summer. I mean, you can drink them in summer too. But sometimes it's like too much, right? I also want one thing that I want. Oh, yeah. Uh, if you cut the stumps, you can get parberries. I want more sparkling teas. I feel like there's not a lot of like sparkling teas. There's so many like sparkling, like sparkling energy drinks, sparkling water. There are some sparkling teas, like I've seen some, but there's not. I feel like there's not. There should be more, more of them. Uh, is there a young deny in this game? I just, yeah, there is. And she's kind of like the ancestor to Popuri. So, yeah, she's the, the girl with the pink hair that we can romance. You should make your own COVID strain. Cozy COVID. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see how that goes. Alright. Let's water our crops. And now... I won't be able to water it middle one, but it's okay. I had too much sugar to... Yeah, you're Connor. Connor, you're... <laughs> Lots of ideas going on in your brain tonight. The V8 sparkling energy drinks are pretty 
cool. I didn't know there were V8 sparkling energy drinks. I wonder if these are just in the... Uh, are you in the US or in Canada? Because I've never heard of those. A lot of like... I notice like whenever I go to the US, especially like... Because the regulations and stuff are different. So a lot of like the energy drinks and a lot of like drinks in general are just like very different. I've never seen a V8 energy drink. Sparkling. I can't imagine like a sparkling like tomato juice. I have bad energy drink addiction. Be careful drinking those. I know. I used to have like a phase where I was drinking more energy drinks. And then I tried to drink like coffee instead. But I don't like to have like too much caffeine. I try to like reduce it so right now like i'm trying not to like i drink coffee sometimes but i try to like not drink it too much because it doesn't i feel like it ends up making you more tired right if you don't keep up with it <laughs> like you have to keep up with the caffeine if not you're just like tired all the time i've never drank an energy drink the caffeine would make me very annoying probably yeah Energy drinks make me sleepy and reduce my anxiety. Oh, I always find it interesting when people say that caffeine like makes them sleepy, but actually I hear a lot of people saying that. I'm sad. Oh, why? Why are you sad? I'm sad in bed right now because I'm quitting caffeine and I have no energy. Oh. So I'm glad for the stream to keep me from being bored. Yeah, well, good luck on your quitting journey. I can fall because I know it's hard, uh, but you, you can do it. Uh, I can fall asleep drinking caffeine, so I don't think energy drinks will work. Yeah, usually they have a lot more like some... Oh, yeah, I guess you can't get rid of those. You can't sell those flowers. I just found out. Let's go to the bar. Let's go chat with people at the bar. Uh, if coffee doesn't work, though, like, usually energy drinks have, like, so much more caffeine than, like, one cup of coffee, right? I wonder when the bar is opening. And uh, maybe tomorrow we can play Harvest Moon 64. Maybe we can do one last day, and then we'll go to 64. I need caffeine to keep up with my wild child. Yeah, I can't imagine, honestly. Um, I don't, <laughs> I don't blame you for that. Uh, which Harvest Moon SOS is this? This is the very first one on the Super Nintendo. Uh, I don't drink much caffeine anymore. I used to get a lot of caffeine withdrawal headaches because I had tea all day long. I quit cold turkey and only get caffeine from maybe a can of soda. Yeah, that's the best thing to do right just once in a while because definitely if you want when you try to stop caffeine you do get like headaches for a while uh it's funny how that works with people like with hdhd they seem to calm after energy drinks i'm high strong after yeah it's interesting how everybody everybody reacts differently right even though we're all Human. Matcha is a nice compromise for me. More city energy. Ooh, matcha is good too. It's tasty. I must say it looks quite charming for its size. It looks really nice, honestly. It's a good looking little game. It's very simple. Like the mechanics are a bit outdated, especially like the controls. And like there's no inventory or anything like that. Uh, but it's fun. It's chill. Ooh, oh my gosh, that was fast. You think I can throw them from over the fence? Oh yeah, I can. I wasn't sure if I could. We got our first little turnips. Maybe that could be our guideline for, for this stream. We grow turnips in every Story of Seasons game. 
Well, I don't know if I can say this because some of them, some of them I'm not in spring. Um, but we're gonna grow some crops from start to end at least in every game. Uh, I'm out possibly stop later on. All right, see you later. Some turnips take longer to grow as well. Yeah, well, most games it's like three or four days, right? They're usually, they usually always the fastest crops, pretty much. You should sell those turnips to Van City. We're gonna wait. <laughs> we're gonna wait for a long time if we're waiting for Van to show up in here. He probably wasn't even born at that time. Cause Nina has a grandma in Olive Town, right? Uh, in Wonderful Life. Okay, let's go see Nina, by the way. Let's go see her. It's been a while. I think 64 turnips take six days. Yeah, crops take a little bit longer in 64, which kind of makes sense because the days are so much faster. I guess the days are really fast in this game as well. Let me tell you the code for the flower. So, yeah, someone was asking earlier about Nina. So, there she is. Beautiful Nina. Okay, let's go say goodbye to everybody. Female psychology is complicated. That's a really smart kid. Like, why? Why would like a little like toddler say that? Hello, you always look fine. Not a toddler, but I don't think I've ever ate a turnip either. I'm not a fan. Like, I don't mind turnip, but I never use like when I cook. I never use turnips. Yeah. I feel like my mom used to use them a little bit, but I don't use them like that. And like rutabaga, is that the English word Rutaba rutabaga? Th these are kind of similar, right? But I never, I don't know, there's so many vegetables my mom used to cook that I never cook. Turnips are nice, but you have to know how to prep. Yeah, I don't know how to prep them. I know what to do. What would I do with a turnip? Turnip cakes? Ooh. I just got back into farming sims with Harvestman64. No, so nice. Been loving your videos. Thank you so much. Harvestman64 is so good. I uh, will never get tired of that game. Ruta Bagabot pronounced differently. Oh. Root. Root a bega? Root a bega? Root a bega? Okay. Have you ever considered doing vlogs? Everyone would love them. It's funny because someone was asking me that last time too. I don't know why I'm always struggling with that stump. Um, yeah, probably not because to be honest, <laughs> I don't go out like too much. And I don't know, like... I don't know what I would say or do, and I'm not like really comfortable like filming in public. So if, if I do any kind of vlog, I'll probably just stay at home all day and it's not gonna be that exciting. I'm curious why they never tried to do that art style again. Right? It could be nice if they did like a, you know, like HD 2D, like Octopath Traveler kind of thing for like a remake of, or like, a game in that kind of like old style you could do a gaming room tour i am planning that is something that i'm hoping to do this month that i'm working on yeah all right guys so i think that's gonna be pretty much it uh for harvest moon on the super nintendo so leave a like on the stream if you enjoyed this game we're almost 100 likes and then we are gonna be playing Harvest Moon 64 on the Nintendo 64. I've only learned about Ruta Bagas maybe two years ago. We don't have that here. Yeah. But you probably have lots of different stuff that we don't have here. Probably more exciting. <laughs> more exciting stuff than Ruta Bagas. What games have we played so far? We just we're playing them in order. So we played the very first game in the series, and now we're playing the second one. If we don't count, if we don't count the Game Boy games, 
Uh, wait. I forgot if the Game Boy games... Anyway, we're not playing them today, but I wonder if they came out after 64 or before. I know they... I know... One came out... Yeah, I think it came out before SNES and 64. Anyway, it doesn't matter. If my mom said we are having root up, I guess, for dinner when I was eight years old, I would have been as shocked as I would have been today. I just started over something so far yesterday. Yes, fishing is as impossible as I remember. Yeah. I think on the CRT TVs, the fishing was easier because there was like the input lag was like different. But I think on modern monitors, it's like you have to be like extremely quick. Uh, I used to have to sit at the diner table for hours after my family finished because I didn't like my food. The food my mom made. I'm autistic and very picky, so I didn't eat the food I didn't like. Uh, that's too bad. Well, you made it out alive. You're, you're doing good now, so... Yeah, I know. I used to be... I was quite picky when my... Like, when I was a kid. I used to be quite picky with food. But I made it through, right? So it's the last day of winter today. So we're going to be celebrating New Year's with everybody in Flower Bud Village. My first job was a cashier at a grocery store. I learned a lot about produce and memorized hundreds of four-digit PLU numbers. Anybody who's been a cashier can tell me the code for bananas. Ooh. <laughs> Yeah, I worked at a grocery store too, but I wasn't I wasn't a cashier, so I didn't know the codes too well. Yeah, you can definitely learn about a lot of stuff if you work there. We get to see your alcohol tolerance. Yeah. I leveled up my watering can. But I didn't have to drink too much to do it. So I don't think I'm gonna be able to beat everybody. But um yeah, if you guys have never seen the New Year's, so that's on New Year's Day. So on the on the first on the New Year's Eve, there's a thing at the church. So it's not ex exciting, but tomorrow there's a drinking competition. So you guys will get to see that. I'm playing Olive Town right now, and I'm surprised that turnip seeds cost more than potato seeds. Usually not that way in other farming games, from what I remember. Yeah, usually, I don't know. I feel like in older games. Like in 64, all the seeds cost the same. Well, every, every season is like spring seeds are all the same. Summer seeds are all the same. And then strawberry seeds for winter. Um, but yeah, I don't know about the prices in Olive Town. Uh, 99. Oh, I think I'm going to have to go buy. I think I'm starting to run out of food, so I, I collected a lot of food during some um, for my chickens and my sheep, right? For my cows and my sheep. I got a lot of fodder, like a lot of grass, but I think I'm starting to run out. So I'll have to buy some, because even though it's going to be spring tomorrow, it's going to take a few days to grow, right? Uh, is it possible to out drink gray? Yeah, you can out drink everybody. This is the N64 one. Yes, it is. So that's the, like the second game in the series. We're going to redo our fence too tomorrow. Well, no, let's do it today. Is there anything else I really need to do today? No, that's... Oh, you know what? Oh, I was going to say... Okay, I forgot if... I... <laughs> They're building the terrace right now, so in a few days we'll have a terrace. So we're going to see that for sure by the end of the stream. Yeah, winter has been rough on my little fence, but we're going to fix it. Olive Town was the only game where I never married because none of the options were interesting to me. They all seemed so plain. Yeah, Olive Town didn't have the most interesting, like, characters. Mm, I'm just going to make it. I'm actually going to make... Uh, you know what? No. Because I think there's grass. I think it's going to cut on the grass if I make it bigger. I wanted to make the fence bigger, but... Actually, let me make it bigger on that. Wait. I've been here for years, but only a member recently. Yeah, I feel like you've been a member for a long time, Miggy. No? 
But yeah, thank you so thank you so much for being here for so long. I married Rager, but he was so boring. Yeah, especially the DLC characters, because they couldn't like interact with the rest of the community. I feel like they were not as they, I, it really feels like they were added kind of like in this, as an afterthought, right? All right, one more. And uh, I don't have any... I have the greenhouse. There's nothing growing in it right now. I just finished harvesting strawberries. I have 40,000 G right now. My first was Harvest Moon 300 GBC. Oh, nice. I've played that one a little bit, but I didn't grow up with like a Game Boy, so I played it on an emulator. Yeah, those games were interesting. I want to revisit them like Harvest Moon uh, GBC 1, 2, 3. Uh, how do you get the horse in Harvest Moon 64 in summer and still didn't get the horse? Oh my gosh. Jean-Louis, you'll have to restart your game. So you can only get the horse in spring of the first year. You need to go to the Green Ranch. And you need to talk. Uh, you need to go to the Green Ranch. And you need to go near the barn. And then you'll get your horse. If you don't get it in the spring, you will never ever have a horse. So you'll never be able to win the horse competition. And you won't be able to use it as a shipping bin. So the only way you can either continue playing as it is or you can start over. Yeah, I know that's sad. Playing Harvest Moon GB right now. Ooh, it gets a little boring pretty quick, but simplicity is kind of relaxing. Yeah, Harvest Moon GB, the first one was like even more bare bones than the SNES game. Uh, reflecting back on the year, well, there was a lot. Yeah, a lot of farming games. A lot of stuff happened this year. Uh, I hope you had a good year and good luck next year too. Thank you, Harris. Uh, the, be the bell will ring in the new year at midnight. Until then, I'm going to confess about this year's happenings. Good evening. I've been reflecting back on the year. How was it for you, Josh? It was pretty perfect. Try harder. Yes, well, it was a fruitful year. That's wonderful. Good evening. My goal next year is to grow new flowers. Do you have a goal? Yes. Okay, gifted five memberships. Thank you so much. There's also people on the beach, Bar Mountain. Oh, today? Good evening. You'll never get anywhere if you worry about overspilled milk. The minister told me so just now. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Let's see what he has to say. Good evening. Please think deeply about next year's goals. So is something going to happen? Should we... Oh, are you going home? No, not yet. Yeah, I think... So I think if you want to see people on the beach or mountain top, you have to... I don't think you can go to different locations, right? Happy holidays, Kay. Thank you so much for the super chat. Wishing you all a wonderful holiday season and a very happy new year. Happy new year. Like, I'm probably, I'm going to do a few other streams at the, like, by the end of the year, but I'm going away for the rest of the week. But anyway, um, yeah, it's going to be the last time I see some of you for this year. So happy new year. Happy holidays, everybody. So I think we do, do we, sorry, <laughs> do we just have to wait for midnight? I forgot what happens. Because a lot of festivals in this game, you just have to, like, just wait. Right? The preachers in these games seem more like health and wellness coach, although... Mineral Town has the confessional. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's not, like, super religious, right? It's not, it's just, like... No, I think... I don't know. Is it? Do you think it would be past midnight? Anyone remembers? Happy holidays and New Year's, Just Sunflower. You too as well. 
Uh, you leave, I believe one of the girls will follow you out if they invited you or have a high heart with them. Yeah, I don't remember. Okay, let's go home. Oh, New Year's Festival the Square. Yeah, I'll see you there. See you there. Today was a good day and I'm going to have a good... Yeah, I think that New Year's Eve, there's uh, like really not much going on. Just go there, have a little chat, and we hear the spring music. I'm back to lurking for work, but enjoy all. Thank you so much. Oh, hello, anybody home? We've got the guy who looks like Michael Jackson. Hello, I'm traveling salesman. I've brought a wonderful product. So this guy is a scammer, unless besides, except, except for the flower festival, he's just trying to scam you. Uh, they're called nectar fruit seeds. They grow fast and prolific. The fruit is sweet and you can also eat the leaves. They cost 500G a bag, but today they're on sale for 350G. Big savings. You want to buy some? Don't buy it. You'd be missing out on a good product. Well, okay. Okay. See you later. Oh, he's not too insistent. Sometimes like, you have to say no like five times. Uh, how have you been doing? I'll visit you when I can find a time from dad. So dad visits you in the third year after sp Or in the second year? No, in the third year, I'm pretty sure. Uh, after the end of the third spring. Reminds me of being a scam in a um, mineral town with one. Yeah, he's kind of a similar character to one. Um... He just like he doesn't like really live in the town. He just like shows up from time to time, tries to sell you some stuff. But you can get a power berry from him in the flower festival. That's pretty much it. Like the first time you see him, he seems trustworthy, and then he's just trying to scam you for the rest of the game. Emilia, thank you so much for the super chat. S E K, what is that currency? That's I've never seen that one. Uh, thank you for all your streams, company, and cozy entertainment through this year. Looking forward to the next year. Thank you so much. Thank you for being here. I'm looking forward to the next year as well. It's going to be fun. Is the story guidebook for a wonderful life worth getting? Um, The story guidebook. I'm not too sure because for wonderful life, I have a Japanese guidebook, the official guidebook. I don't think they made one in English. But there's probably a guide for the original GameCube game. But the story guide... I'm not too sure which one you're talking about. Michael Scamson. <laughs> oh, Swedish Kroner. Oh, nice. Well, thank you very, very much. We don't have a lot of people from Sweden. It's always nice to see new countries, new places. I've never been to Sweden. I've been to so many places, but I've not been. I've been to Denmark for work when I was a flight attendant. That's as close as I went, as I got to Sweden. I collect guidebooks. Guidebooks are so nice and they don't make them as much as they used to. I feel like for this series, like Story of Seasons, they always do Japanese guidebooks, but... And we used to get English ones, but not anymore. Unfortunately. So... Yeah, we've got some grass. Oh, I should have brought my chickens outside today. Well, I already gave them food, so I'm gonna leave them inside. Tomorrow I'm gonna bring them out. Did I? Oh, yeah. I love all my Sims 1 guide. Oh, I didn't even know they had Sims guidebooks. I used to always buy Pokemon guidebooks, just knowing the wild Pokemon percentages, percentages was helpful. Yeah, sometimes there's a lot of like information like that. Like, you know, uh, like the guidebook for Wonderful Life, like the Japanese one. Um, I like that there's a lot of like... Um... You can see like the hybrids, all the grids and everything that you need for the hybrids. So it's really, it's really nice when you have like these kind of tables and stuff. All right, let's drink. Who should we start with? Who should we eliminate first? 
Let's start with the mayor. Happy New Year! May it be a good year for all. Drink up! Uh, what was one of your favorite travel locations when you were flight attendant? Did you get to explore? Yeah, my favorite location was Honolulu. And I got lucky because usually... We used to stay most places like 24 hours. But I got to stay there like 4 days, like 90 hours. So... That was... That was the best was Honolulu. But I've been to like a bunch of places. Um... Yeah, but that, that, would, that would have been my favorite one. Uh, there's a beautiful Harvest Moon 64 guide made rather recently. The PDF is free. Ooh. I can't drink anymore. Take over for me, would you? Bye-bye, Thomas. All right. Rick, you're next. At the New Year Festival, you have to make a toast every time you exchange greetings with someone. And of course, you have to drink up every time too. That's why I've never greeted everyone. Hopefully we can greet everyone today. Phew! Well, I must be going. Oh, he's not, 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 not very strong. I'll drink them all. Karen, I think last the longest. Yeah, Karen is usually a pretty. She drinks a lot. Let's do potpourri. Happy New Year! A toast to a good year. Potpourri, potpourri can just handle one, right? Oh. Boy, <laughs> there are lots of people and two of you. Huh? Bye bye. <laughs> She's already. Yeah, that's too much for her. Okay, then Lilia. Mm, I've about had it. Yeah, cheers. Oh, well, Happy New Year. Good night. Okay. Then we've got Ellie. A toast to a good year. I think Ellie can probably handle two, right? Oh, no, I don't drink often, so I can't handle much. I use alcohol for cooking, though. Oh, cheers. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she can drink, too. I can't drink anymore. Bye-bye, Ellie. I love this festival. Honestly, <laughs> enjoy it, because we probably wouldn't see that in any other Story of Seasons game. Not overdo it, kid, but hey, let's toast the new year. I think it's funny that some people seem to have unique drunk faces. I think it's more the blushing. Yeah, I think it's the blushing face. I know that like, the poopery face was like so cute. Uh, I hope we have another good year. Oh. You would think the old guy. But no. Uh, young adults these days can't hold their liquor. Cheers. Me as a child trying to be a pro drunk. I feel like when I was a kid, I probably never made it far in that festival because I didn't know, I didn't understand how it worked. So if you've never played this game, the more you drink in this game, so you can either buy alcohol at the bar or if you have a bottle, you can fill it up in the vineyard and you can drink. And the more you drink, it's going to level up your alcohol resistance stat. And that's actually like, yeah, that actually determines when you, how much you can handle. You can drink a lot for a young man. I spent a lot of time in Karen's cellar as a kid. I don't even know if as a kid, if I ever got the glass bottle, actually. <laughs> it was a busy morning delivering cards at Toast to the New Year. This is hilarious. Definitely an older game. Yeah, it's so there's so much stuff like this in the older games. I don't think I can drink much. Yeah, yeah, at Toast. I remember the first time I played this game, I'd never messed with the alcohol. I talked to somebody not knowing what was going on and was done immediately. Yeah, if you don't drink in this game, you definitely can't, like, you're gonna go home pretty quickly. Should we? Let's go for Karen. Yeah, Toast, watch out. I'll drink you under the table. Hee <laughs> hee. I remember the uh, promoting drinking definitely different time. Yeah. <laughs> Mm, this is a great event. I get to drink as much as I want. Say, you can hold your liquor. Let's have another toast. That's a lot, Karen. Are you really swallowing all that? Okay, okay, another toast. Is that four? You've got to exchange oh, greetings with other people too, you know? Hick. I think that's gonna be her last one, right? Hick, no way, I give up. I can't drink anymore. Bye, Karen. 
All right, we have three more to eliminate. Uh, hey, a good toast to a good year. Okay, <laughs> she's not. I think she's already. She already had a few drinks. Oh no, I'm starting. I'm starting to feel funny. I can't drink anymore. <laughs> she's so cute. All right, Maria. Happy New Year! So, cheers. Five. That's more than I remember. I remember she was the most. I think there's uh, gray after that. I can't drink much. I need to blow my nose. I'm so sorry. I'll be back in one minute. Sorry about that. Okay, I was muted. I'm so sorry. Okay. Uh, I can't drink much. Well, okay, cheers. Let's try to get the 150 likes. Yeah, let's do it, guys. We're almost there. Sorry, excuse me. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, Maria. I can't even imagine Maria drinking wine. I know. Oh, ho, ho, a toast to the new year. And now Maria's mom, the mayor's wife. I can't drink anymore. Oh, no, she's <laughs> not as strong as her daughter. And next we should have, I think Gray's gonna pop up from somewhere. Wait, where where is he? Wasn't Gray? Are you going home now? No way. I'm here to carry people who have crashed. He's not there, am I? Even someone earlier in the chat said it was so hard to out drink Gray. I thought Gray was in the corners. Me too. I thought he was like here in the corner. Am I crazy? Is that in another game? Oh, maybe you need to be friends with him for him to show up. Because if you're not friends, like he doesn't care and he doesn't show up. Maybe you have to be friends with him. Mm. I don't know. I'm pretty sure I have it in my mind. I can imagine like he was there in the corner. Maybe you guys are thinking about Back to Nature. I don't think I ever did the the New Year in Back to Nature. Did I? Was there even a drinking competition Back to Nature? I don't know. It's raining today. Uh, okay. So. Did you guys see I have a little clock? The little cow clock. I got that in the dog festival. Dog race or horse race. One of those. Alright, so today we're going to buy some seeds. And I have so much money, I think I can buy a few cows. He's, he was 100% there in my game and I made it a point to be his friend but after like three drinks he just in there with a grouchy face yeah maybe maybe you have to be friends with him that would make sense there's lots of like little things like that in this game that like that's one thing that's nice with this it has so many like little secrets and like things will be different depending on like who you're friends with who you're not friends with so maybe and it's kind of hard to be friend I love all the prizes you can decorate. Uh, you, uh, yeah, you can win to the get to decorate your house. Yeah, me too. I love like, I have the little flower pot. This one. <gasps> By the way, I've not done the raffle. When is the raffle for the bakery? Okay, I can't milk one of the the cows are overlapping and I can't milk them. That's a problem. Like overlapping animals. Even Coral Island has that problem. It's been <laughs> it's been 30 years and we still have like animals that walk into each other. Over each other, I mean. Okay, I keep one egg for my Oh well now it's spring. In winter I used to feed eggs to my uh dog. But now that it's spring, we can forage. Because there's no forageable in winter in this game. 
That's something I like about 64. It's different every time I play, get new cutscenes and things happen differently each time. Honestly, even me, like every, I mean, even though I played Horizon 64 so many times, I feel like every time I play, I, I still learn something new. Even if I've put like hundreds and hundreds of hours into this game. The raffles are the last week of the... Oh my gosh, we missed... I completely missed the raffles. So yeah, with the raffles, like there's so many little decor items, right, in this game. Like the little vase. If you get a blue rock in the mine and you give it to Saibara, the like kind of like guy beside uh, Rick's shop, he's going to sell you this vase. And then you can get a little horse. Um, in the horse competition, you can get this at the swimming festival. There's so many little, I think you can have a little table tablecloth, I think maybe from one of the raffles. Yeah, there's so much stuff you can get. I found something about Gray never going home, but also stops drinking. Oh, I see. Interesting that he wasn't there. I'm going to buy a cow. Yeah, I'm going to buy a cow and then maybe we can buy a bunch of seeds. I feel uh, modern games don't do those secret events. Exactly. That's one thing I miss with older games. Just the fact that the game didn't tell you everything and you had to like figure things out on your own and like, something would happen. Like, yeah, like something secret. Uh, who are you marrying in this? I'm going to marry Popuri. By the way, I need to work on that. There were, yeah, lots of like little secrets and little cutscenes and little events. But I feel like nowadays in modern games, they tell you everything, what to do. And there's like a little quest line for everything, right? There's like a little journal with everything that tells you what you have to do all the time. So there's no, there's no surprise. So, yeah, I can feel like this game could be a little bit confusing for someone who plays it for the first time. But it's so much fun to see all of these little things happening. Or like, just little events. Like... Uh, it doesn't have a map, no. Yeah, I think... Wait, it does... There is a map. Ah, uh, wait. Uh, how should we name our cow? Isn't there a map? I think maybe in the Japanese version there's a map. I think there is a map. I'm not sure. Uh, putting dog in a greenhouse protects it. That's not true, actually. I did some testing at one point. It was That was a rumor, but it's not actually true. Muma. Actually, my last cow, I named her Mumu. So maybe we can try something different. Uh, the swimming festival rewards keeps your greenhouse from being... Yeah, apparently. I'm not sure if that's actually... There's a lot of things that were like coded in the game but like not working properly like not coded properly so they were not working i'm not sure if that thing actually works i guess we'll find out this summer cashew cashew is kind of latte is kind of cute let's do latte i love to give them like coffee drink names and like milk actually latte is just milk right yeah Milky Way. Unfortunately, we can only have six characters. So we have Milky, we have Latte, we have Mumu. I think one of them is like Annie. <laughs> Just regular. Yeah, Latte. Cloudy. Milky with a heart. Annie. Mumu. Everybody's doing great. Oh, I can probably milk them now. I'm going to take this idea for coffee. Yeah, I'd have to do like mocha or like latte, cappuccino, if there's enough <laughs> characters, like if I can put a lot of characters. All right, let's buy seeds. Oh, green hearts. We just got... I know I'm kind of slow, but we just got a green heart with Popri. Have you done the cow hack to get milk right away? No, I'm trying not to do like any explorers or anything like that. I'm trying to play 
like legit. So I just have I just have I have one cow that gives me regular milk, and one that gives me um. I want to plant more grass, by the way. Now I'm getting more cows. Yeah, I have one regular milk and one uh, sorry, one medium and one small. Uh, I have the greenhouse. So I'm gonna plant, I think, five... Five tomatoes. Five corns. Five eggplants. And I'm gonna make, like, one row of each, I think. I don't know if I'm calculating correctly, but I think that that should be pretty nice. That should, like, work. Uh, who are you going for? Yeah, I'm going for a poopery in this in this playthrough. I just made a Discord account, never used it. Oh, I'm guessing every number is like a forum or chat room. Yeah, every uh, sorry, every like hashtag. Yes, Mike, welcome to Discord. Yeah, every little uh thing with a hashtag is like a different channel. Exploiting cheating games kills kills the gameplay quickly. Yeah. Like, I've never been much of, like... I feel like sometimes, if you've played a game for a long time, it can be fun to, like, spice things up, or, like, just for fun. But, yeah, I do feel like it kills the enjoyment, and, like, it makes things a little bit too easy. Sometimes, at least for me. Like, you're free to do whatever you want. But... For me... Like, for example, in The Sims, like, if I played with, like, the... I I tried to like avoid doing the the cash cheat because then what do you do after that right it was like becoming too easy so I bought four bags of seeds I'll buy more later I want to fill up I can fill up pretty much my whole field with um grass because i have my greenhouse right so my crops go in my greenhouse yeah rosebud there was rosebud and like mother load i feel the same about tips and tricks videos i like to go blind into a game yeah that's true like tips and tricks are good and like obviously i make tips and tricks videos so but sometimes it's good to go in the game without like Going blind, like making mistakes and learning from your mistakes. Oh, someone's gonna give me a little snack. I think. Is it Popery? Oh, Maria. You work so hard. Eat some of this. Thank you so much. Some chocolate. That's something I love about this game, too. Sometimes the characters will. Sometimes you have more than one in a row. Let's see if someone else comes. Yeah, they just like randomly. Hey, have a drink. Have a snack. Okay, so we planted some grass, so that's good. But sometimes, too, some games can be overwhelming. Like, for this one... Oh, I have some strawberries. I wanted to make a tips and tricks video for this one, because I know a lot of people, like... Especially people who've never played it, could feel overwhelmed in this game. Or, like, not overwhelmed, but, like, confused. Because the game doesn't tell you much. So, one, two, my gosh, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I'm going to plant five, but I'm going to have to move them because I did strawberries. But since I'm planting reharvestable crops, yeah, I'm going to have to, like, redo some of that. I remember the burglars in The Sims, especially the old ones, got me so stressed out. Yeah, we were talking about that last time because I think in The Sims 4, there's no more burglars, right? No more dangers. Uh, let's do that. All right. Next. So, okay. So these are all reharvestable crops. So I'm going to plant them. It's kind of... I'm going to do this. Because the soil never untills in the greenhouse. So I'm gonna do... Oops. 
And I'm gonna have to separate them. The strawberries were simpler because it was like sim single harvest. But you needed to buy seeds every time. So if you have the greenhouse and you buy like corn or eggplant or tomato seeds, they will basically be good forever. Because in modern games, like for example, tomatoes and stuff, they will give you maybe like three or four harvests, right? It, there's like a limited number amount of times. Number of times. Uh, but in this one, they were infinite. So I'm just going to plant them once and I'm going to be set set for life. But now because... Oh no, it's before 6 p.m. Oh, but it's raining. I know when it's raining, you accumulate fatigue, but I'm not sure if, if you're in your greenhouse, if that counts or not. Uh, I'll take a bath and everything before I go to bed. Make sure I don't get too much fatigue. I was wearing a beanie the other day and my husband told me I looked like a Parapada rapper. Who remembers that game? I've always wanted to try that game. I've never played it because I didn't have a PlayStation 1. I have always been interested in it though. Okay, so I bought four, five seeds, right? One, two, three, four. Oh, that's just four. Okay. I'm going to start. I'm going to do lines of fours for now. One, two, three, four. All right. And then there's the... Maybe I should leave two spaces. Because I'm not going to be able... Wait. Oh, no, it works. It works. Never mind. I was just going to make sure I want to have access to the shipping bin. Never mind. It still works. It's fine. Okay, so here. One, two. Why am I not charging my tool? Being outside in the rain using stamina... Uh, builds up fatigue fa Yeah, outside, definitely after 6 p.m. and under the rain, as well as snow in winter. But I'm not sure if you're inside, if it still counts. I, I, if you're inside and it's after 6 p.m., you definitely accumulate fatigue. But I don't remember for the rain. I need to do more testing for that. Uh, I don't remember. I guess we'll find out if I'm sick tomorrow. How will you get to the back row? I can go back here. And then this here. Yeah, I'll have access. I'll have access to everything. And I have, like, I have a line here, right? So we're going to be fine. Now I feel like playing Olive Town, uh, Mineral Town. You should. We're going to play. That, that's the next thing we're going to be playing, by the way. Um, let's do... Okay, I planted tomatoes. Let's do corn. I thought you were keeping that line. No, I leave a space between each one. Because they're... Reharvestable, right? And then we're going to do a line of eggplant. And then this line, I'm going to keep it full. And I'm going to put like cabbages and turnips. Maybe like not now, maybe like later in the future. I can put like cabbages and stuff. Like one time crops if I need them for cooking or something. By the way, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me during this stream. This is so much fun. Oh, out of stamina. I have a little tip. Uh, let's go drink some milk. Can you walk over crops in this version? No, you cannot. By the way, guys, if you're enjoying the stream, feel free to leave a like. It really, really helps. I think we can make it to 150 right now. It takes a minute. And we'll get there. Thank you very much. Up. Okay. Let's drink some milk. But now it's going to be after 6 p.m. So I got to be... I think I'm going to... No, I got to water them tonight. Well... Yeah. Okay, let's drink some milk for now. Oh my gosh, I'm too tired. I'm too tired to even milk my cow. Just, I think I'm just gonna sleep. I'm, I'm gonna sleep. 
And yeah, I'm just gonna take a bath and use the washroom. Just found an English version, Story of Season of Wonderful Life guide on Amazon. Should I get it? Ooh. I don't know. It's probably not an official guide because they only made a Japanese one. So I don't know anything about it. I don't know if the information is accurate or not. I know like the Japanese guide is really good because it's like an official guide. I'm not too sure about the English one. Um, yeah, you, maybe let's see if there's any reviews. I didn't have N64, but my best friend did, so I was always going to her house. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, it's nice when you have friends that have other consoles than you. Oh, how about this? Isn't it great? I've just finished. Take a look. Yeah, let's take a look at our terrace. It's like bigger than my house. Yeah. As a kid, this exp uh, house extension always made me so happy. Like, it's so nice. It's kind of used. It's used for like the ending of the game. There's like a little party, but you don't really get to like. It doesn't have much other purpose than that. The likes on my end are bugged at 30 for me. Oh no, we're at 123. So we just need 20. 27 more to reach our goal. Our goal for now. There's going to be more goals there. Our, our next milestone. Your house follows Tardis rule. Oh, yeah. It's bigger on the inside. Yeah. It's a lot bigger on the inside. I know there was a name for that rule. The buildings that are small on the outside, big on the inside. What does Tardis what what's TARDIS? Is that the name of the person who figured out that rule? Oh my gosh! I ran out of food. Oh Thursday. Oh my, we did a mistake. I kept thinking, I kept saying earlier that I wanted to buy food, right, for my animals, and I forgot about it. I even planted the, I even bought the grass seeds. Is the grass ready? No, of course it's not ready. Oh, is it on two? No, it's on turn. Yeah, the... We're gonna have a sick cow tomorrow. I messed up. Oops. I messed up again. Tardis is from Doctor Who. Oh, I see. Oh. <laughs> I don't know anything about Doctor. I never watched Doctor. I don't know anything about that. TARDIS is the ship from Doctor Who. It's an acronym from Time and Relative Dimension and Space. Oh, I see. Wow, everybody knows about it. It seems like everyone knows about it except me. Uh, have you used the rewind feature at all in this? I haven't. I've not used it. The only thing I've used... Uh, well, I used it. Yes, I, I did uh, use for the beach festival. Because I didn't win on the first try. Second try. Um, yeah, so I, I cheated a little bit. Just for, just for the beach festival. But as you can say, I don't use it a lot. Because if I used it a lot, I would... Like... <laughs> play it a little bit differently. I know nothing about it either. Okay, I'm, gl I'm glad I'm not the only one. Alright, all chickens are happy. Uh, let's take care of our crops, then, yeah, our animals are gonna have to be sick. Hopefully there's just one of them sick. Or zero of them, but usually there's at least one of them. I wish there was a bigger... Watering can upgrade. Well, unfortunately, that's the best. That's the best you can get in this game. The gold watering can that does like a little three by three. Doctor Who made a big splash in the US with the introduction of Christopher Eccleston. Man, Doctor Who. Yeah, I guess. In Canada, well. In the French-speaking part of Canada, I guess it never made a big... 
I don't know. I never heard like anyone really talked talking about it. Uh, the only difference in my greenhouse is I do the U-shaped eight square plot so I can harvest the middle square for reharvestable crops. Yeah. But like the end, like in the end, doesn't make a difference, right? Because in the end, you have eight crops. Yeah, I'll just have a middle one that's like unattainable. I regret selling my Sunshine Islands. I love that one. You should get it, get it back. I'm sure it's probably not too expensive, right? Like, Harvest Moon SNES and 64 are kind of crazy right now. But the DS games, the good thing is you can get them for like still like a reasonable price, right? Like cheaper than like new or like similar price. Um, What did I want to do? It's a nice season. I can enjoy the scenery while delivering the mail. Yeah. For sure. Um, oh, yeah. I wanted to do, go foraging. I own a real cartridge for both SNS and 64. Yeah. For me, like 64, I don't have my original like childhood copy anymore. Because that somehow mysteriously disappeared. Uh, oh, that guy. Long time no see. Oh, nice to meet you. Oh, maybe it's the first time I speak. I don't know if he has that dialogue every time. Um, yeah. Um, I forgot what I was saying. Oh, yeah. But I recently bought it again. I'm listening to the audiobooks of Game of Thrones. They are so much better than the show. Ooh. I've also never watched Game of Thrones. If you're a nerd between the ages of 18 and 36, you'll probably have some Doctor Who knowledge through cultural osmosis. A uh, so can do the first harvest with nine and sight one of the side crops after. Yeah, that's true. The back, the hair on the back of my head is blonde. Must be my grandma's jeans. I bought a game bit driver so I could dismantle and clean my N64. Ooh, nice. Now I can play Harvest Music for again. I haven't talked with humans for a long time. I forgot your language. That little guy, in the winter, there's one less harvest sprite, right? There's like three of them, but there's one of them that disappears in winter. Wow, thank you. Yeah, it feels nice when it's spring and you can like start foraging again. Oh, should we do a little house upgrade? Oh no, that... He's not working today. Don't pick wild grasses and branches thoughtlessly. Of course, food is different. Yeah, I can start accumulating some flowers for poopery. And I do have the cabinet now. Uh, I didn't have them. I didn't have the cabinet until like, I think fall. So I kind of missed out on a lot of flowers. But no, I I'm going to hoard the flowers for poopery. Do they har do these harvest sprites still love flower? There's no flower in this game, so maybe they, but they they don't have any preferred gifts. So you can give them pretty much anything. Some dog for food. Some food. I mean, some food for our dog. And flowers for papuri papuri. And yeah, let's sleep. I don't think you can eat dogs in Canada. <laughs> yeah, no. Poor little dog. Okay, let's give him some more food, little herbs. That's not a very dog friendly diet, I feel like, but. He likes it. I feel like eggs were maybe not too bad. But, yeah, anyway. It doesn't make a difference, actually, what you give him. Uh, Alright, let's water this. Oh, yeah, I have to plant my eggplant. My parents fed their dog a mix of ground beef and liver for a while. Ooh. 
That gets expensive though, right? But I guess it's probably the healthiest kind of healthy option. Sticking to the theme and playing Olive Town. Nice. I can't wait to get to Olive Town. It's been so long since I played that game. Also, I said earlier that I wanted to grow crops in each game, but it took me so long to start planting crops in this one. I wonder... I wonder if I grow flowers. I don't know if there's something quick I can plant. Very expensive. They stopped when COVID hit because prices went up. Yeah. I get it. That's also why I don't have a pet. It's really expensive if you want to like take good care of, if you want to feed your pet like good food, it's really expensive, right? I found your channel through Olive Town. Ooh, thank you. Yeah, a lot of people did. That's when my channel started growing with all when I transitioned from Animal Crossing to Story of Seasons. Well, like when I started covering other games, especially like starting with Olive Town. I'm appreciating Olive Town more this time around than the first. It's such a great looking game. There are some things I tweak, but overall it's a solid. Yeah, it's fun. I think I'll also appreciate like um newer playthroughs more than. Oh my gosh, I need to buy food. I keep forgetting about that. Okay, let's go buy food. I need to go get my shears. My cat really only goes through one bag of food a month. Yeah, cats are not as bad as dogs because they're smaller, right? So they eat less. Well, I guess small dogs probably eat less than big dogs too. Uh, okay, shears. Yeah, I need to go buy... Oh, did any of my animals were... Anyway, I'm going to buy some medicine anyway. Olive Town got a lot big better when they are uh, better when they allowed stacking in makers. Honestly, that update made the biggest difference. You didn't have to have as many makers and like spend your whole day just like monitoring your makers. All of these four Olive Towners in chat I found you through Rune Factory for a special. Ooh, interesting. I don't hear that one a lot. Because I didn't make I streamed Olive Town. I streamed Olive Town, uh, sorry, Rune Factory 4 a few times, but I didn't make any videos on it. But glad to see it got you here. Uh, okay, I'm not going to do a lot because I do have grass now growing. It's the litter that's expensive, but Publix has litter. Buy one, get one every once in a while. Oh, I see. I found Josh when he was still in Coco Lana <laughs> and with blue hair, not yet pink hair. Yeah, that was my first Animal Crossing island. I miss it. We should go back to it. That island, though, is on my first Switch, which... That Switch is having some issues. <laughs> yeah, and that, that was... Yeah, that was my Animal Crossing island. Stacking and makers are a good thing, but there's one thing it doesn't fix for me on Olive Town. Making items quickly. Yeah. I mean, it's not designed to make them quickly, right? So I, I don't mind. I don't mind the waiting for the makers. But yeah, I'm glad that we can now stack stuff. I think that's the most important. All right. Let's pick up our little eggs. Yeah, I should have made that pen bigger because it's like really small. For six chickens, it can get a little bit crowded. Okay, I want to go see Popery before uh, 5 p.m. Oh, wait, let me check. Did I grab my milk? So, is anyone sick? Cloudy is sick. Milk is fine. Annie is fine. Mumu. Actually, the small ones can't be... Okay. So, I'm gonna go get the medicine. 
Yeah, I'm gonna go get the medicine. It should be in my toolbox. And then... Yeah. I wish the characters in Olive Town were more interesting. Yeah, that's definitely one part that was lacking for me in Olive Town with the characters and the festivals. The festivals were a little bit disappointing. I bought a whole graphing notebook when I was younger to plan out my fences in Olive Town. Ooh. Ah, uh, in Mineral Town. Yeah, that's a lot of dedication. Okay, let me get some flowers for Poopery. I got one again to keep track of the hybrids in the wonderful life room. That's a really good idea because there's so many of them. Oh, did I not buy? I think I didn't buy the medicine. Did I not? Am I crazy? I feel like I bought it. Maybe I didn't buy it. Okay, let's try that again. But let's go see Poopery first. Otherwise, I'm going to run out of time. Oh, wait, I wanted to get flowers for her. Well, I'm going to give her an egg because that's what I have in my background. Oh. oh, she's probably in the mountains. Jack is my first. Yeah, I feel like Jack. Jack's a lot of people's favorite in Olive Town. I waited to play until all the updates and DLC were available, and I thought it was a good game, actually. Yeah, I think you did a good choice to wait. It really makes a big difference. It made a big difference. Oh no, he's. Am I? <laughs> What's happened? Did I already? Am I? <laughs> What's happening with me? I already healed. I already gave Cloudy the medicine. I like going insane. What's happening? <laughs> what is happening? I already gave the medicine. It 100% said your sheep was sick. Is it the game or am I like going insane? <laughs> I'm pretty sure the sheep was still sick, right? Save your med- Yeah, I'm gonna save my medicine for later. I'm so confused though. I'm really confused. I wanted to go for Ralph, but he's so boring and his house is so far away. Yeah, his house is far. You used it on the sheep. Yeah, I guess I used it. But I don't. I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember actually using it. I feel like I, 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 I feel like it said Claudie's sick. Then I went to the store straight away. I missed the part where you use the meds on your sheep. I guess I. I think I missed that part too. I don't know. <laughs> For some reason. Let's go see the sprite. You already gave the sheep's med, was going to comment, but was in the shower. Oh, okay, no worries, thank you. All right, I think, I think we'll have to go to Mineral Town soon. I know I wanted to grow crops in each game, but it, it took me a long time to get started with this one. Because we did the new year and everything. Uh, it was actually Rune Factory 5, specifically a farm dragon guy. Oh, I see. Yeah, that makes more sense than 4. I made a lot of content on Rune Factory 5. I've never watched a stream while in the shower, <laughs> right? I also never, never done that. It's not a bad thing.
You probably just can't hear very well, right? All right. Gonna give some food to my dog. And then we'll do one last day, and then we'll jump to Mineral Town. Just don't drop your phone. Well, most phones nowadays are kind of waterproof, right? To some extent. So even if you drop your phone in the shower... I mean... I'm sure even if you drop your phone in the bathtub, it wouldn't even be too, too bad, right? I'm, like, don't try it on purpose. But... Oh, is he plug bags? Oh, that's a good idea. But then is the touchscreen still working? I sometimes fall asleep watching fall asleep watching stream because they make me so relaxed. My last phone was waterproof until the back cover cracked while in case and I didn't know for who knows how long. Oh no. So did you drop it in the water and then that's how you found out it was no longer waterproof? Flowering the vase is giving some bonuses or something or it's only for visual. Uh, it's only for visual. I'm pretty sure. So when you give the blue rock to Saibara, which is the old guy like next to Rick's shop, he's gonna paint the vase with the rock and... Or like make a new vase or something because there's like a vase that's like a clay vase that he doesn't sell you and then you give him the rock and then there's, the vase becomes blue so i never knew if he if he made a new one with the new rock or if he painted it with a rock anyway and then it goes in your house but it doesn't do anything as far as i know did you get the power berry from the kappa i've, I've not gotten it yet yeah you need to fish to do that right no i've not done that yet I washed my phone in the laundry. It was ruined, of course. Oh my gosh, that sounds terrifying. I can't imagine. Oh my gosh, that must be terrifying. Like when you read the moment you realize like you're looking for your phone and you're like, oh my gosh, it's in the laundry. And then, oh my gosh, that sounds terrifying. I've never had a phone. Well, I've had phones stop working, but it was never like instant. It's not too bad my old phone has drawn in the toilet. Oh my oh my gosh, my egg. That sounds horrible. <laughs> not forget, you can get two from the kappa, one on a Sunday if you toss a large fish and one for fatigue on a rainy day when you toss a meat. Yeah, exactly. There's two you can get. I'm pretty sure there's one of them. I think the one for fatigue. I think one of them it doesn't work. Pro like, he gives it to you, but it's not, like, programmed correctly in the game and doesn't work I, f I forgot which one exactly did i brush my animals no i like the fast days in 64 harvest moon benefits from a small amount small amount of frustration i honestly i love the challenge of the fast days it is fun oh we got two cows here okay i guess one of them is not gonna get brushed there's one spot you missed to wa Oh, let me check. Thank you for letting me know. What I don't understand is how people refuse to put a cover on their phone because it doesn't look good, but they're usually cracked. Yeah, if it's, if it's cracked, it's not going to look better, right? Yeah, I definitely... Yeah, I used to be that kind of person to, like, not wanting to put a... Co oh, yeah, here. Not wanting to put a cover, but then I realized that, yeah, a cracked phone doesn't look better right i like when the phone is like i don't like when cases make care covers make your phone like bulkier i like when like the original size of the phone but yeah you gotta have a cover right oops okay let's go see oh let's give some flowers to everybody Covered working phone, uncovered cracked screen. Over uncovered cracked screen. Yeah.
I've never had my phone washed in a washing machine, but I've had my cat pee on one of my switch before. One of my switches for no reason. I was so mad. Yeah, oh my gosh. Safe to say that switch was toast. That's <laughs> terrifying. Yeah, that's devastating, especially if you have like if you don't have the cloud saves. Because I think at one point there were no clouds. It took a while, I think, right, for Nintendo to implement the cloud saves. Or am I? Or were they always there? I feel like there were no cloud saves at first, right? All right, let's go see Poopery. Give her some flowers. Then after that, we're gonna play Mineral Town. I'm always str struggling to find Poopery. She's probably... No, she wasn't in the mountains, right? I don't know. Let's go see Ellie then. And ja oh, we lost a heart with Ellie. I used to have a... I'm pretty sure I used to have a blue... Oh, no, maybe not. No, with Karen, I have a blue heart. When I'm tired, I drink a cup of tea. It warms and refreshes my body and spirit. Good to hear it. Jeff. Hello, Josh. Hi, Mo. Nice to see you. Uh, the rain one doesn't give you extra energy, but it lowers your fatigue accumulation on rain days. I can't find anything on it not working. It's just not the same as the... Oh. Well... I know it's different, but I've heard... I don't know. If, I feel like there's so much different information, so... I don't know. But from what I've heard, I never, like, tested it myself. I've heard that the berry that reduces the fatigue wasn't, like, programmed properly or something. I'm back with Sorbet. Ooh, sounds nice. Oh, Power Axe. I mean, Gold Axe. Nice. I feel like I'm pretty slow in this playthrough to level up my tools. I feel like usually I get all the golden tools before the end of the first year. That's not the case here. Seven more to 150 likes. Yeah, let's make it before... Let's get to 150 likes before we get to Mineral Town. Orange, lemon, and lime. Ooh, it sounds nice. Ellie, grandma head is down, which means if you speak, she will pass away. Yeah, exactly. In the second year, if you speak with Ellen, she will pass away, unfortunately. All right, let's sleep and let's go to Mineral Town. All right, so that was pretty... Pretty fun to revisit Harvest Moon 64. I never get tired of re revisiting this game. Next is Mineral Town. Story of Seasons, Friends of Mineral Town. Which... It's kind of a nice order, because Mineral Town came out not too long after 64. Like, there was Back to Nature on the PlayStation 1. And then Mineral Town on the Game Boy Advance. But uh, after that, more recently, they did a new remake for the Switch, right? And this one, this game actually played the Japanese version a lot because it came out like a few months, like six months earlier, like in Japan. So I got, I bought the Japanese version and said to play it early. But I think I've never played it in English, the remake. Yeah, so we're going to be starting a new save file. There's another update with Fae Farm. Ooh, what kind of update? Probably just small things, right? All right, so you can choose your skin type. And you can choose either the classic Pete and Claire or these characters with the yellow hoodies. So I'm going to go with the classic. Oh my gosh, this game is so fun. Like, it just brings back so many memories. I played the original Mineral Town quite a bit. Birthday, summer... 
three. Difficulty. Normal mode. We're gonna go with normal. Yay. Uh, it's actually the first time I streamed this game on this channel. Because I started my channel and... Yeah, the first three seasons I really covered on my channel was Olive Town. It was sent from a person to introduce himself. I feel like the music is not as loud in this game. Can you hear it? I don't know if you guys can hear the music. I don't hear it as much as in the other games. I was sent from a person who introduced introduce himself as the mayor of a certain old town. I'm free. That was a crazy busy day. Piper, congrats. Congrats on finishing your work day. Barely. Okay, let me... Let's turn up. Is it better? Or is it too loud? Uh, I feel like you've streamed this. Maybe I'm crazy. You are crazy. <laughs> I've never... I've never streamed... I streamed Back to Nature, which is very similar. The moment I finished reading that letter, I packed up my things and headed for the train station. Once there, I bought a ticket. A ticket to Mineral Town, the place where my grandfather had his farm. Mineral Town OST always gets sweet, super iconic. It is very iconic. Thomas with his long hat. Good day, you are Josh, I presume. I'm Thomas. It's my great honor to preside over Mineral Town as its mayor. Here it is. This is the land your grandfather left you. I'm afraid it's been some time since anyone tended to it, so it's fallen to a bit of disrepair. Do you remember when you came here as a child? You spent a summer together with your grandfather. Finally done with work, but apparently I'm now seeing a movie in a couple of hours. I don't have the energy for this. Ooh, what movie are you going to see? Sounds fun. I'm sorry, Josh. We've had to cancel our family vacation this summer. I just couldn't get the time up for it. There's something very important that I have to do at work and I can't leave. Oh, no. I'm really sorry, but you'll have to make do without a trip this year. Things are just too busy. I promise I'll make it up to you. Uh, I'm sorry, Josh, but please understand. We may not get a family vacation, but we have asked your grandfather to let you stay with him at his farm this summer. His farm is wonderful. It's surrounded by nature with all sorts of places to explore. You can relax and play as much as you like. Uh, we've already packed your things. All that's left to go. Uh, how all that's left is to go and have fun. Will this game also end if you say no to the? I'm pretty sure you can't say. N can you say no? I kind of want to boot up my copy. Also, have you seen the Ring Ring Wong video on the Melton remake? I have no idea who Ring Wong. Is I've not seen that video, but I may I may have to look it up eventually. Uh, is that is that like a new video? There you are, Josh. Do you remember me? I'm your grandpa. There ain't too much to do out here in the sticks, but go have a newsie around if you like. I'm afraid I'll be busy most of the day doing my chores around the farm, so I won't have much time to play with you. Uh, there are a few kids around your age in town. I'm sure they'll let you play with them, so go on and introduce yourself. <laughs> this is so cute. I love the beginning, I love the introduction in this game. And then back to nature, a little bit different, but... Oh yeah, we're making some friends. Someone said the old guy at the farm down the road was having a visitor from the city. That must be him. I wonder what he's doing all by himself. Do you always play alone? Alone? Wow, me too. I like this place lots, so I come here all the time. Hey, why don't you tell me about yourself and the city and stuff? What's it like there? Uh, well, Josh, how do you like the country life? Was it fun? When you get back home, say hello to your mom and dad for me and let them know I enjoyed having you visit. I like how our grandpa is like wearing the outfit we're going to be wearing. Are you going already? I'll miss you. You'll be coming back someday though, right? I wonder who that is. That kid? Promise me you'll come back. Have you played Animal Parade? No, I've never... Animal Parade in like True of Towns or two of the games I've not played. Ring Wrong is an animation YouTuber who does mostly anime and game shit posts. The Mineral Town bit was really funny. Oh, I see. I don't watch a lot of like animation videos and stuff, so. It's been 20 years since then. I see you've grown into a fine young adult. Your grandfather loved this little farm dearly, you know? Uh, I'm sure it would make him oh so happy to know that you had inherited it. 
I always assumed the kid was generic because it's supposed to be whichever girl you marry as a child. Oh, yeah. And I guess they made th them more like gender neutral for this game because I wasn't sure if that was a little boy or a little, kid, a little girl. Uh, what do you say? Would you like to give farming a try? Yes. Oh, yeah. I guess, yeah. If you say no, it, it ends. Excellent, excellent. Allow me to be the first to welcome you as a new resident of Mineral Town. Now then, as you are the new owner of this farm, do you uh, not think of a new name is in order? Yeah, let's go with Maple Farm. I miss... One thing I miss is like... In the older games we used to have, like, each game had its own little keyboard, right? Like in 64 and like on the SNES. But now it's just using the system's keyboard, like the Switch's keyboard. Maple Farm, it does have a nice ring to it. Running a farm is not the easiest of jobs in the world, but if you try hard, I'm sure you will do your grandfather proud. Uh, well, I'm sure you must be tired from your long trip here. Why don't you rest for the reminder of the day? I must return to my duties as mayor. I bid you good evening. Tomorrow, my new life as a farmer begins. Yay. Our house is so big already from the beginning. Oh my gosh. It's been so long since I played this game. I wonder if I have some of the... Oh, yeah. You can change your outfit. And there's some, like, DLC and stuff. I didn't buy any of the DLC. These were just free, right? Uh, I want to do... I kind of like the orange one. I love the footsteps. All right. Oh my gosh. Okay. It's been so long. It brings back so many memories. Okay. Let's start with the whole... Oh, we can have four tools. I'm so used to like... I think in the original, you can only have like two tools at the beginning. Can I post the link to the vid for anyone who's interested? I think if you post a link... um, I don't think YouTube is going to let you post a link. But people can look it up. Yeah, or yeah, you can post it on the Discord if you want. I think this card would work well. Uh, I'm good, thanks. I know how to do things. Is it always raining on the first day or did I just not get lucky? Usually the first day is always sunny, right? In most games. Zach. Yo, I'm Zach Andel. All the shipping around these parts. Nice to meet ya. When you're farming, there's one big thing you gotta remember, yeah? Here, I'll show ya. Uh, see this? This is your shipping bin. Don't forget about it. You wanna sell something, put it in the bin. I come by at 5 p.m. every day and pick up whatever's in there. When I do, I'll automatically add your cut to the sale to your wallet. Nifty, right? Uh, but I don't come by to collect on holidays or festival days. You wanna know why? Because I want days off too. Darn it. <laughs> anyway, this ain't your only shipping bin. There's one inside the coop and barn too. You can sell crops you've... Okay, I know how to do this. Let's just get going. Oh, this feels so nice. I love how... Like, I've been playing Back to Nature, right? In, like, not too long ago, like this year. So it's so nice to have like something similar, but like so much, so much smoother with like the toolbar and everything. Uh, let's make some space. Oops. Also, I love how you're always printing. All right, so let's check our mail. Uh, come to Guts Workshop to renovate your home or farm. Material and furniture also available. All right. Uh, okay, so let's go buy some seeds. Oh my gosh, now I really want to play this game, like, for real. Like, I want to replay it. I want to go see Popery first. I don't think we've met. Well, hi, I'm Popery. What's your name? Ah, Josh. Hi, it's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Popery. Do you like stones? I really don't like that. Oh, what? You didn't know? <laughs> well, then I forgive you. Just don't do it again. Oh, her sad portrait is so sad. Um, hello there. I don't believe we've met, have we? 
Oh, yes, yes. Now I remember. You must be Josh. Mayor Thomas told me all about you. My name is Lilia. It's so nice to meet you, sweetheart. Nice to meet you as well. How much is one chicken? Oh, 1,500. You can also have brown chickens. I forgot about the brown chickens and stuff. The rabbits. All right, let's go buy some seeds. Popper still looks adorable, so I'm glad about that. She is really cute. I forgot where you buy... Wait, is it from the grocery store? Let's go see Maria. Oh, it's locked. Mary, uh, are you the one taking over the farm? Thomas told me about you. My name is Mary. Nice to meet you. And then we've got Anna. And Basil. I'm so confused every time. <laughs> all the families are all mixed up in this game. Like, what is Basil doing in this house? Okay. Here. Oh, yeah. Karen, a little friend was just telling me about how somebody moved into the old farmhouse. So that's you, huh? Uh, you're Josh. Got it. I'm Karen. Pleasure is all mine. Nice to meet you, Karen. Mike, thank you so much for becoming a member. It's so nice to see you. Welcome, welcome. Uh, I love your reviews, Christina. Thank you. I loved your 2023 review of Cozy Games. I got a good list of games to buy and bought. My time at Sunrock and its predecessor found Sprout Valley on sale and can't wait for more. Thank you so much. I'm so glad. You enjoyed the tier list. That video took a long time to make, especially like the part of like playing all the games in preparation for it. Yeah, thank you so much. I'm so glad you were able to find some new games. So I'm gonna buy some turnip seeds so we can make some money quickly. And cucumbers so we can make more money. Uh, should we go meet the doctor? Let's go see the doctor. Uh, pardon me, I didn't realize I still had a patient to see. Now, you're not from this town, are you? No. I see, so you're Josh, the new caretaker of that farm. There have been rumors floating around about you. Oh, my name is Doctor, and as you can see, I'm a physician. If you ever feel unwell, do seek me out right away. Most people in this town are healthy. We live in a place where the abundant blessings of nature appear to have rendered most diseases impotent. impotent. But I still study each and every day. Medicine is an endless pursuit. Many problems remain unsolved even now. What about you, Josh? Working on the farm is surely a difficult endeavor in its own right. Farm work is one of the most physically demanding jobs out there. Do take care. As for uh, Also for medical matters you would rather not discuss with me, you may speak to my nurse, Ellie. In any case, we're always here to lend an ear about any health concerns you may have. Thank you so much, doctor. That's right, Josh. I just received some medicine from another town. Would you like to try some? Unlike the medicine typically sold here, it can restore both stamina and fatigue at the same time. Oh, yeah. Uh, its only fault is that the effect is somewhat weak, which is why it hasn't been put on the market yet. I improved it to increase its effectiveness, albeit at the expense of flavor. Yeah. It would seem I sized you up correctly. Go on. Down it in one gulp. E. Yo. You. <laughs> uh, so it tastes as awful as I expected. But it was rather effective. Yes. Hardest thing for me on this. Getting eight hard cow before year two and strawberries in year one. Yeah. It takes a long time to increase the hearts. Because you have to breed. Like you have to do like eight generations. Basically. Or like seven. I had hypothesized that you'd be able to see the value in this medicine. Would you like some more? They literally named their child after his career path poor doctor. Yeah, when you when he introduced himself, it's like my name is Doctor. That's really his name. I couldn't resist a little joke. Taking too much of any medicine can have negative effect. Thank you for today, Josh. Thank you so much. Doctor. And then we've got Ellie, who's no longer working in the bakery. She's now 
a nurse. The doctor is passionate about his research. I could stand to learn a lot from him. This game's translation is so much better than the original. Yeah, exactly. Like, since Marvelous started doing translations with Exceed, it's just much better. Uh, so we just moved to that farm. My name? I'm Cliff. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Cliff. The original had funny translate. Yeah, all of the original games, like SNES 64, even like Wonderful Life, even like pretty much everything that Natsume <laughs> translated was... I feel like it got better gradually. But yeah, the first few games were a bit rough in terms of translation, but sometimes that's kind of like what made it funny or charming, right? Oh, I didn't remember you could buy those so early. I thought you had to like unlock them some way. I guess not. I remember it took like nine months to translate after the Japanese release though. Yeah, you would think, right? <laughs> after, after a long time, it would be a nice translation, but... My favorite is so fast, so far, and the sopa. Every house has a different spell. Oh, I don't remember that one. Okay, let's plant. Oh, I love how it just feels so, and because it's been so long, but I re I forgot how like everything feels so like quick and like smooth. Yeah, that didn't take long at all. And then toolbox. And you have the toolbox outside, which is convenient. Oh, we gotta do one more. Yeah, it's kind of nice to have rain on your first day. Saving a lot of time, a lot of stamina. Up and I'm gonna I'm gonna clean up my field a little bit. So take the axe and the sickle. I'm used to just like usually I don't use the sickle too much, but if you want to upgrade it. That's convenient too. I wonder if you cut here, can you? Oh no, okay. Probably if you use the hammer, you can remove the crops, right? Yeah, it's so quick. Especially like coming back from 64. Even 64 feels quick, but. Wait, can you get sick at, like in 64 in this game? Because I'm working under the rain. I forgot about that. I forgot if that's the case. I'm curious to see Doraemon in action. Such a pretty looking game with watercolor art style. Honestly, the two Doraemon games are some of my favorites. You don't get sick. Oh, okay. So what happens exactly then? Okay, but let's go to bed. I noticed the rain pre-water is tilled soil, the original. Um, it not only watered soil till the day. Yeah, that, that is true, right? So if you planted new crops, like you wanted to till the soil on a rainy day, you would have to still water it yourself. You bath out and get sent to the clinic. Oh, I see. Good morning. I'm sorry to disturb you at this early hour. Yeah, no worries. What do you want? I humbly, abo I humbly apologize. I've not introduced myself. I'm Huang, a traveling merchant. I've just arrived in this town. It is an honor to meet you. Have you seen... Uh, uh, I see you have a farm, yes? As it happens, I have many seeds for sale. Rare seeds, unique seeds. Come see my wares. Buy them. Mr. Zach has generously allowed me to stay... Actually, I've been to your shop yesterday, so... I already know about that. I must go and greet the other customers in town. 
Doraemon, Friends of the Great Kingdom without repetitive. Hey, hey, <laughs> winning for that. Yeah, it's so much better in every way than the first game. Has Doraemon ever been on sale? Hoping to get a little cheap. I think, I think it goes on sale. I think I checked the first time I bought it. Um, Well, the first game, the first Doraemon game, I bought it on sale, actually. And then the second game, I bought it as soon as it released. But I, I'm pretty sure they both go on sale. Um, okay, let's go explore. Let's go in the mountains. Is Huang replacing one? Yeah, they just changed his name. Um... Because they redid the translation, so they put they put a lot of names like closer to their original names. Um, so yeah, it's the same character. They just changed his name. And obviously they modernized the portraits and everything, so he looks a bit different too. And they also added new characters. So we have uh, Jennifer, right? She's not here. There's Jennifer and there's a like Br Brandon, right? Time moves twice as fast as it did in Back to Nature. So you don't get sick. But if you ever max out your fatigue, you instantly pass out regardless of your stamina. Oh, is it twice as fast? I, I always thought it was the same. Oh, my bag is full. I always thought this was the same time as Back to Nature. I married Brandon in my playthrough. Yeah, I don't remember much about Brendan. I feel like... I don't even know where he lives. I love the sound of the footsteps. By the way, we've not heard any music, right? Because it's been raining. <laughs> it's been raining every day. Why? Tell me what's wrong with it. Tell you? Fool, look within. You already have the answer. If you can't even understand that. What? What are you looking at? If you don't have any business here, then... Great. How dare you address a customer in such an importunate manner? Sorry. Ah, so you're Josh. You're the one who recently took over that farm. My name is Saibara. Uh, this boy here is my grandson, Gray. Uh, nice to meet ya. I'm going to take a break. You deal with our customer. Sorry about earlier. You shouldn't have had to walk into that. As you no doubt heard, uh, he was telling me to redo my work. I have to fight for so much as a scrap of encouragement or praise from grandpa. Uh, Gray without the hat. Oof, criminal. Yeah, it is. It is weird to see him without a hat. Uh, <laughs> just quit, dude. Steal your resolve. Chin up. You know, you're right. I'm just acting spoiled. I don't know where I get off complaining to you about all this. I appreciate the boost, Josh. Even if I still don't really understand what Grandpa is trying to teach me. But I'll keep working at it. I have to trust that I'll get it someday. Uh, I ought to get back to work. Catch you later. All right. So that's Gray. He's Saibara's grandson in this game, which is interesting. Yeah, the character portraits are so nice in this game. Okay, can you cut those? I forgot if those trees are cuttable. Oh, no, they're not. I think you need to upgrade your thing for those stumps, right? I need to make something for dinner, but I'm too tired to actually get up and go make something. Oh, that's tough. 
I hope you have something quick that you can eat easily. I feel like Grand Cliff were just too friendly in this remake. Yeah, I feel like characters overall are much more friend, uh, a lot friendlier in Mineral Town than in 64. Uh, I've got something amazing to show you, Ellie. You do, do you? Uh, well, don't keep me in suspense. Completely forgot about you. Get a load of this. Oh, for goodness sake, how many times have I told you that this is a sterile environment? That means no bugs, ever. Hey, <laughs> if you keep scowling, you're gonna turn into a wrinkled old lady. Why did you just... Uh, and where do you think you're going for that matter? Get back here this instant. I love how there's so many cutscenes, right? Oh, Josh, have you come for a checkup? Oh, his original name was two before you. Oh, that that is two. Oh, I see. Yeah, he looks quite different. You should make a habit of seeing the doctor on a regular basis. It's important to establish a good self-care regimen. I've got some tortellini. I can go boil. Oh, nice. Enjoy that. Speaking of seeing, stop hiding behind Josh and look at... Look me in the eye, you. He's a natural born prankster, I swear. All I did was show you a bug. <laughs> you know, I hate insects. That's why I keep bringing them to you. It's so you'll get over it. You always have a comeback for everything. Who did you learn that from, I wonder? Uh, you understand how I feel, don't you? Being a guy and all. Uh, yeah, what's bugging her? <laughs> I knew you would. You and me are going to be best buds, I can tell. I just know that Ellie dragging Cliff out of the clinic scene is also present here. Why does this clinic not just add more beds? I don't remember that cutscene. Please don't encourage him, Josh. Uh, he'll only use it as an excuse to wreak more havoc. All right. Um, okay, what else should I do? Let's chat. Let's see if Maria is here today. Oh, yeah. What should I do? I keep calling her Maria, Mari. Uh, maybe if I... Mm, no, that won't work. Uh, eh, I'm so sorry. I was completely lost in thought. Oh, Josh, it's good to see you. Nice to see you. It's awfully nice of you to drop by. Patrons at this library are few and far between. Forgive me for earlier. When I'm deep in thought, I don't see what's around me. Is something troubling you? No, that's not it. I'm writing my own novel. Oh, but I'm at something of an impasse. So I'm trying to work it out. Thanks for your concern. Please stop by whenever you're in the literary mood. I'm sure we have plenty of books that can help or inspire you. Are they like sorrows? Oh, yeah. That is so nice. Actually, that's kind of useful, right? You can see all the crops. Yeah, that's actually like useful, useful stories. And to Ran is a strange one. Yeah, but they're closer to their official names. Their Japanese names, so it makes sense. All right, next. Oh, should we go to the mines? The mines already open, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, do I have my hammer? Oh, yeah. This is so quick. <laughs> like, so much. It feels so much faster than the original. And then use your hole. Find the hole. <laughs> Find a ladder. I wonder how much they had to change them for the sake of copyright. <laughs> yeah, I wonder. But like most of them, because like all of the names that were the same. Like I kind of like the name change because they're they're just like now all closer to the original names. So it is like a little bit getting used to them at first. But I like that they're closer to the source. Material, especially as like, for example, Anne, 
and Maria, Mary, Maria. Like a lot of like those characters. It was kind of confusing because, for example, the Anne in Harvest Moon SNES is not the same as the Anne in 64 and like Back to Nature in Middle Town. But in English, Nat Smith translated all of them as Anne. Whereas in Japanese, like the one on Harvest Moon SNES was Anne. But like the one in 64 and Back to Nature in Middle Town was the Anne. So now they separated. Now, like with the new translations, they're doing their names properly. So you can tell they're actually like two different characters and not the same character. And it's the same with like Mary. Like she was like Maria first. And yeah, so I'm kind of glad that they're doing this. So it, it makes it like easier to like. Like different characters have different names, right? They're not just giving the same name to everyone. All right, so let's. Oh, let's give that flower to Popri. Sorry to say, but I despise same gender marriage in games. How come? All right, let's chat with Popri. By the way, now oh, there's a map. The, the map is so cute. I love the I love how it's all like kind of hand drawn, hand drawn. And then we've got the farm map. You can see all of your crops. Yeah, you can see all your relationships here, so that's useful. Animals, pets, I don't have anything. Yeah, all right. How do you get the fishing rod? Is it... Is it on the beach? I forgot how you get it. The thing I liked about Harvest Moon from the SNES and 64 is that 64 is a direct sequel. You get characters talking about their grandparents a lot because they were the characters from SNES. Yeah, that's one thing I really loved about 64, like the connection between those two games. And like in Magical Melody, you could see a lot of those characters back. But I don't remember the dialogues in Magical Melody, so I don't know how much. Like, it had characters, for example, from the original Harvest Moon. And then that characters from Save the Homeland and everything coming back. Did you not get your fishing rod yet? No, I don't. I, I forgot how you get it. I wish they had an option right from the start. Which gender you want to romance? And then the men wouldn't crush on you if you don't want them to. Then you can befriend instead. Yeah, that's one thing. Like, It could be good to like have an option for that. Or kind of like in Sandrock. I feel like Sandrock is the... I said that in the last live stream too, I think. But I feel like Sandrock, my time at Sandrock, did that the best. Like with every character, you're just friends. And then if you want to start the romance, there's going to be like a special dialogue options to start the romance. And like no matter the gender, right? So if, you, if you're not interested in someone... It's just going to be like a friendship until you really decide to romance them. So I, like if, I feel like every game should be like, no matter the gender, like... Because even if a character is the gender you want to romance, you don't necessarily want to romance everyone, right? So I feel like you should have the option to like remain friends, if that makes sense. Oh, Zach will not give you the fishing rod if your tool bag is... Oh, so it's Zach. And I have to make space in my tool bag. Why is it raining so much? What's up with... What's up with that? We've not had... like. I want to hear the music. I want to hear the nice spring music. Um. Okay, let's go see Popri. Let's go get a flower for her.
You have to go to Zach's house for the fishing. Yeah, okay. Let's go get some flowers for poopery. Then we're gonna go see Zach. Magical Melody was more like a celebration of Harvest Moon over the years because it was an anticipation for the tenth year anniversary. Yeah. I would love though to see a game like this that like brings back older characters. Senrax idea could even bring back rival marriages if you be friend to a certain point but don't express romantic interest, they'll take interest in somebody. Yeah, right? And that would that wouldn't ruin your Okay, where are the flowers in this game? I feel like there's no, I feel like there's no flowers. Let's see if Jennifer. No. I'm going to take a cooking break. See you later. Again, enjoy your cooking. Oh, there are the flowers. Oh, my bag is full. Every time. Okay, let me eat that. How do you eat? Oh, you eat with Y. All right, so yeah, my bag is so small. Can you put your lumber somewhere? I don't know if I have a chest in my house. I'm so used to Harvest Moon 64 where it just goes like in your storage automatically. Head up to the right of the lake. Uh, okay, wait, let me just put stuff away. Oh, that's the toolbox. Is there no, like, just regular storage? Lumber shed. I don't think if there's... Is there a lumber shed? No. Where did you put the wood? In? Oh, wait, maybe it's... Is it beside the chicken coop? No. Anyway, I'm gonna give some flowers. Oh, there is... Oh, in, in my house? Oh, cabinet! That is a cabinet! Oh my gosh, okay. That didn't look like a cabinet. I thought this was just like a little shelf with... Okay. Alright, I got it. I got it. I wanna see the cat pie in this game. He made... They made him handsome. Yeah, maybe we can see him. Well, I don't know if our cucumbers are gonna grow in time, though. It's a big quality of life they did for the, for the remake. Yeah, it's nice to have some storage. 500 G. Oh, okay. So let's go get the fishing rod and then I'm going to go buy some seeds. Yeah, let's do that. Can you see on the bottom board like the festivals? Spring Derby on the 18th. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're not we're not gonna make it to to that point. Oh, now what am I gonna do with this? It would be a waste to just toss it. Yeah, we'll have our fishing rod. I do like Popperi's Durndol. What's what's a Durndol? Hi, Josh. Hope you're doing well. Hi, Yana. Nice to see you. Hope you're doing good too. You were just good timing. I was just wondering what should I do with this thing. Which game is this one? This is Story of Seasons, Friends of Mineral Town. This is the third game we're playing today. Uh, does Senrak have a particular attempt to express romantic interest that sounds the least invasive when you have to be very deliberate to date? I... Th I think... I forgot how... I forgot how it actually works. If there's an item or not, and if that changed with the full release, I'm not 100% sure. I'm not even sure. I don't even know how you get married in Senrak. An old buddy of mine moved out and left his fishing rod. Me, I don't fish. Yeah, let's take it. I didn't play this one, just went to Olive Town. Yeah, it's fun. It's a little bit more simple than Olive Town, but it's very charming.
Very simple, but simple but fun. Got a little branch. I'm tired of Coral Island's bugs. Is Sandrock worth a try? Sandrock is really good. It's one of my favorite games of this year. And there's a lot less bugs than Coral Island because, yeah, it, it feels a lot more finished than Coral Island. Even though I really enjoyed Coral Island too. Uh, it looks very cute, but I think I want to play the Rune Factory 3 remake next. Rune Factory 3 is really good. Didn't realize we we're past 150 likes. Yeah, it was stuck on 140. Yeah, we can make it to maybe we can make it to 200 by the end of the stream. We're still only halfway through this stream, by the way, because we still have. This is the third game, and we still have four games to play. So we have a long way to go. So leave your leave your like if you've not left your like yet. Feel free to subscribe if you've not subscribed yet. Feel free to even become a member if you want to support the channel more. And if you're a super seedling, which is the 499 tier, you'll get extra live streams. So tomorrow, every other Wednesday, like tomorrow, for example, we play something different. And I don't know what I'm going to do for my member stream tomorrow. We got to discuss that later. Um, all right, 7 p.m. Let's go to, let's clean up. You know what? Let's clean up. I can't figure out how to become a member. I think if you don't sit on your device, maybe on iOS, you can't do it. Maybe you have to be on a computer or Android. Uh, maybe try if you have a different device. Power wash simulator. I don't know about power wash. I think I have it on the Switch, actually, but... I don't know. I don't feel like doing power wash. <laughs> uh, Josh, I could only see a little bit of that stream. How did you like Pelia on the Switch? It was not bad. I feel like it does stutter a little bit, especially when, when you glide and stuff. But it's not too... Like, it's playable. Um, like I'm, I like that they readjusted the menus. And, like, the controls are pretty good. Like, the menus, the controls. Uh, except the community menu, like, or, like, your friends list. You can't really scroll down, which is a bit weird. So, like, if you have lots of friends or stuff, it's kind of hard to see everybody. Or actually impossible. But the graphics don't look the greatest. Especially if you've played the PC version, you're going to see, like, a big difference. But I feel like if you only played it on this on the Switch and you can't really compare with the PC version, I think you're not going to mind too much. Uh, Josh, hello. You have a moment. I have a favor to ask. You see, this little fall of mine here isn't feeling too well. It needs a little extra care. Unfortunately, I don't have the time to give it that care. I was hoping you might raise it for me. Yeah. You will. Good, good. I knew I could count on you. Well, then, why not give this little one... How should we name him? If you see the dollar next to the chat box, that's how you become a member. You can send a super chat, a super sticker, or become a member. Yeah. I think it depends on your device. What do you think of Stardew these days compared to recent farming sims? Might be a new update coming soon. Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing the update for Stardew Valley. Uh, I need to... I'm so behind on Stardew Valley because I, I just played like once or twice a year. Uh, I played it a lot when it first came out and then I've not kept up with the updates. Uh, oh my gosh, we got the music now. The rain stopped after like 45 minutes of playing this game. Uh, we're naming the horse. Paleon Switch is okay. Graphics have pop in and out. Uh, pop ins and... Bl Blurry, but still a fun game. Exactly, it's still fun. And I feel like it's better than the Switch version of Sandrock. Sandrock is really rough on the Switch, and like the icons are blurry and everything. Hope for the horse. Dash. Tatsuya. Dexter. My PC is a potato, so there's not much compared. Yeah, exactly. If you don't have a good PC, might as well get it on Switch. Anyway, it's free, so you can try it on PC, try it on Switch. Like, you don't have to choose, right? I usually... we go with a named horse I think I went with Mr. Ed Roach I'm a Witcher fan I haven't played Witcher in a long time Roach sounds like I don't know it sounds like cockroach to me <laughs> Barley Dash a lot of people are saying Dash and let's do Dash yeah okay seems like a popular name let's go 
There isn't much to worry yourself when it comes to raising our horses. Just give them lots of love and care. Um, yeah, let's go buy the brush. Are you a super seedling? I figured something different would appear on the name here. Different color symbol. Yeah, there's no way to make a difference uh, between the tiers. Um... Because the any mem every member gets the same like green name and the emotes and everything and the badges, but the super seedlings get like the member streams and the special section on Discord. Um, but you can't tell the difference just by unless you ask someone. <laughs> you can't really tell the difference. All right, it's the first day where we've been playing for 45 minutes. It's day five. It's the first day we're watering our crops. I wonder when our turnip's going to be ready. Maybe tomorrow? I miss farming sims just giving you a horse. They're so expensive in lots of games. Yeah, it is nice. And I love that, like, you have to, like, if you don't take care of your horse, they're just going to take it from you. I love the, the high stakes. All right, Dash. He's so cute. Okay, so let's go buy the brush. I like even having to wait for the horse to grow up. It's just nice to have an animal early game. Yeah, it is. It is true because usually in most games nowadays, you just buy the horse and it's all grown up already. So I love that the older games like they give you a horse for free. But you have to actually take care of the horse. And make sure it becomes an adult and like do a good job. And if not, it's not like super challenging, but you do have to kind of be careful, right? Be mindful. Uh, what am I? Oh yeah, brush. Where do you? I forgot where you buy the brush. Oh, how much is the bag upgrade? 3,000. Ooh, okay. Oh, Cybera. Yeah, let's go check. I like that Cybera is actually useful in this game. I remember, because like in Harvest 64, the only thing he does is like give you the pot, like the blue vase, and that's pretty much it. I guess maybe they wanted to add like blacksmithing and stuff, like more stuff that you could buy from him, but they never. Anyway, something I can help you with, Mary. The tool you repaired for me is so very easy to use. I wanted to come. Thank you again for craftsmanship. I appreciate it very much. Well, if you're that pleased by it, I'm glad I repaired it for you. If you ever need my expertise again, come straight on over. Uh, Come straight on over and see me, all right? Uh, yes, thank you so much. Ow. Don't mind me, it's nothing. Oh no, you're bleeding. Oh no, idiot. It's because you lost focus. I said I'm fine. No, you aren't. Wait, just a second. Oh, there it is. Give me your hand, Gray. It's such a shame that they removed rival marriages, right? It's my pleasure. All right, I'll be going now. I hope to see you two at the library someday. We'll be sure to drop by sometimes. I promise to visit. I'm glad. Goodbye for now. Why does the librarian need tools? Uh, she probably has stuff to do in the library, right? Maybe like a little hammer. I'm sure she she has some work to do. Mary is nice. Ooh. Um. Okay, maybe I have to go in and out because there was a cutscene. No. I think the tools are somewhere else. I think the brush. Oh, I forgot. Where do you buy the brush? Q. 
Kits and goods. No. Cy oh, it's really Cybera. Yeah, okay, so maybe tomorrow. Yeah. And what should we do? Oh, we can buy more seeds. We have 640G. I'm happy Roots of Pacha made your S tier. It looks so creative and unique. I can't wait to try it. Honestly, it's one of my favorite games. I would say maybe my favorite game, uh, farming game of this year. Oh, it's so good. Um, wait, was I? Well, what was I doing? Oh yeah, I want to buy more seeds. He sells the brush, but first he sends you a letter. Oh. Uh, wait, seeds, yeah, right, okay. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna buy cucumber seeds. Three bags. I love that even if your bag is full, you can buy them, and he sends them to your toolbox. I feel like more games should do that. My favorite was Poopery and the GBA one, but in the remake, I prefer Mary's design. Yeah, they changed the designs quite a lot. I feel like, especially Karen, she changed so much. Back, what did I miss? Uh, well, we, we're getting our first sunny day, so it stopped raining. Uh, we got a few cutscenes, but you didn't miss... You didn't miss anything too, too important. I bought the brush from Cyberra before he sent me the letter. Yeah, I think you can buy it before... I'm not sure. Can I water before planting the crops? Oh, yeah. I mean, planting the seeds. And... Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. I need three. Okay, I'm going to need to do a lot more. Up. I love that you can get money just... Ooh. My hoe went up a level, now I can upgrade it at the forge. That, that was really fast. Usually in this game, though, I just wait. Because you can skip, if I'm not wrong, right? You can skip upgrades. So usually I kind of just wait. And I go straight to, like, gold or mithril. Wait, can you skip? I know in Back to Nature you can skip, right? Can you skip in this one? I forgot. I forgot the details. You can skip upgrades, yes. Oh, okay, yeah. So I'll probably do that just to, like... Uh, I'm just going to go to the hot springs just to save some money because it's really expensive if you do them, like, one by one and then you have to wait a, f you have to wait a few days, right? So I'd rather just wait and just use the, b like, basic tools for a little bit longer. Yeah... I dislike Karen the 64, but married her in Manual. Yeah, they're pretty different. You'll save a lot of money if you skip all the way to mid. Yeah, you save a lot. Alright, I think that should be enough, right? Enough stamina. The hot springs is so useful in this game. I feel like there are some games where in the hot springs. Like you have to stay there for so so long. But I feel like in this one, it goes it goes back up pretty quickly. Like in Harvest Moon 64, the hot spring was used to like for fatigue. Actually, I think in 64 as well, you know, too bad. But wait, what game like the hot spring? I feel like in Coral Island, it's maybe not that useful, the hot springs. I married Karen in 64 because of the dog. She was so easy to marry. Yeah, with the glitch with the dog. Yeah, she was definitely the easiest one. All right, that is done. Let's see if we have our little turnips ready tomorrow. I love hot springs and farming games are just so cozy, even if it's not super useful. Yeah. I love when it's cozy and useful at the same time. Poop. 
cooking exhibition. I love how there's like almost a festival pretty much every week, right? Oh, my... Yeah, con oh, concert. There's a concert on my birthday. Uh, Harvest Festival, Moonlight Night, Fluffy Festival, Autumn Derby. Like, almost every week or like every two weeks, there's a festival. Oh, yeah, we got our train up. So this is going to be the last day in this game. And then we're going to play Olive Town. So if you guys miss it, I'm trying to grow turnips or like some crops in every game. Uh, we just didn't do it in 64 because it was winter and well, I had a greenhouse, so I didn't have really any excuse, but I was just too slow. There's more festivals on this than Olive Town and there's a, they're a lot more fun than in Olive Town too. And a lot more like interactive. Alright, so that's turnip. So we're gonna get some money. I don't know how much I'm gonna get. But it should be enough to buy a brush at least. Do we have mail? Uh, oh yeah, do you have cows, perhaps horses, sheep or alpacas? How about a brush to give their coats the cleaning they truly deserve? If not, I recommend you come purchase one today. Alright, so we'll do... I feel like 400 is probably... It's probably gonna cost like 500. I feel like in most games the brush is usually not not too expensive, like five hundred or like one thousand. So four hundred forty, it's probably not gonna be enough. Our left hand festivals were disappointing. Yeah, really. Our left hand was good for like decorating, even though the decorating was actually not that great. But it's one of the few series of games where you can actually decorate a little bit, and. It was good, like, in terms of, like, freedom and, like, a lot of things to do. But festivals were not the best. Oh, I forgot to water so many of them. When you said Harvest Moon 64 was difficult and the town's people were not as nice right away, I have to say I'm interested in trying it. You really should try it, especially if you already have the membership. But honestly, though, the, like, expansion pack membership... Um, I didn't use it much. I played some of the uh, 64 games, but like I really didn't use it that much until Harvest Moon 64 came out and I already played for like one year. Uh, so I feel like I'm, I'm getting my money's worth with that membership. It's so fun to have Harvest Moon 64 because I know you can emulate it or like on your computer or like any other device, but like to have it on your Switch is so convenient. Like sometimes just before bed, I just like, because the days in Harvest Moon 64 are so quick, right? So it's really easy to just play one or two days. It's like less than 10 minutes per day. So it's so easy to like just do like one little day. Oh, look at them all. We've got a lot of eggs again today. That's a good sign that our chickens are all happy and healthy. I soft boiled a few of them too much. Uh, oh, sorry, too much on while I was working. Want one, mom? My, my, thank you so much, Rick. Soft boiled eggs make such a yummy snack. The egg icon, like, looks so out of place. <laughs> like, the little egg. Uh, welcome here to the little shopping, I I'm guessing. Yeah. Uh, take your time and let me know if you have any questions. Uh, Josh, do you like eggs? Yes, they're most excellent. <laughs> Glad to hear you think so. Hang on a second. Uh, our chickens laid a ton of eggs. So I've soft boiled some of them and ended up with a few too many to eat. I don't want them to go to waste, so I figured I'd give them to a fellow egg lover if you want, that is. Thank you so much. I would have been happier with Olive Town's decorating if you could remove move the ponds. Yeah, that's one thing. Let's eat that egg. Oh, I can't eat now? How come? Oh, maybe because it's a cutscene. Can I give it to Poopery? Soft well, eggs are really, really yummy. I can't get enough. Okay. 78 to... Oh, that... That didn't give me too much stamina. It was not worth it. I should have kept it and give it to Poopery. That's a bit annoying. I just want that one. Yeah, I wish you could buy. I wish you could buy just the games outright. Because whenever that service ends, we're just going to lose all the games, right? 
I would have been happier with uh, Olive Town's decorating if you could remove the pawns. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if I read that already, but um, yeah, I don't think I explained. But yeah, I completely agree with that. Because uh, it was kind of a pain trying to decorate around them. I think it's our first time meeting uh, around today. I haven't seen you around before. Or you're Josh, right? I knew it. The mayor said someone knew was coming to town, so I figured it had to be you. Nice to meet you. I'm Ran, lone daughter and broom wielding backbone of this inn. This here is my dad. Hey there, I'm Dudley, the owner of this inn. Pleasure to meet you. I've got an idea today. The food is on the house. No better way to make you a customer for life. Is that all right, dad? That's my smart girl. We might just have a new regular on our hands after this. I forgot dog changed his name too. Well, you heard her. That's my treat, Josh. See, even dad's cool with it. What do you think? Free food is the best food. Yeah. I knew you would say that. All right, dad. Go fix up something tasty. You got it. Consider your taste buds preemptively blown away. Wait just a second. Dad's food is amazing. You're in for a real treat. Yeah, I gotta say, I really love the amount of little events in this game. Little cutscenes. Looks like it's done. They gave Ran the Ariana Grande high ponytail treatment. Yeah. She looks so different than the original design, right? She looks good, though. She looks good. A little grape juice. How does it taste? Is it good, Josh? Yes. Everybody's orange. My outfit is matching with them. Uh, I'm glad you like it. I knew you could do it, Dad. Perfect. What did you expect? I know my way around the kitchen, after all. Ha ha ha. Go on, Josh. Don't hold back. Feel free to ask for seconds or even thirds. Uh, you ate a ton. The look on your face while you were chowing down was a reward in and of itself. Seeing people enjoy my food is what makes it all worth it. I like you. Thank you so much. No need to thank us. Uh, just keep coming back to our inn. Deal? I'm always here doing one odd job or another. You're welcome anytime. Come say hi to Ran whenever you have a spare moment, would you? Dad, quit it. <laughs> Oh, let me give you some flower. Oh, yeah, it's a cutscene. You can't give them gifts. Ran seems less of a tomboy in the remake. She's more of a foodie now. Yeah. Yeah, she's a lot girlier, right? Especially with her ponytail and, like, her dress and everything. It's so funny in Mineral Town, Ran can cook so good. And in 64 version, she can't cook to save a life. Yeah. They're all so different. This is Mana. She's so pretty. Yeah, she works at the vineyard and she's always she's very talkative. Every time you chat with her, it's like it's like a trap. <laughs> You're stuck in that dialogue. Alright. Let's do for the rest of the day. Oh, let's go see if I know. Uh, well, let's go see how much the brush costs. I'm pretty sure I probably cannot buy it, but I just want to see how much it costs. Buy tools. Oh, 800. Yeah. I said 500 or 1000, I guess. It was in kind of like in the middle. One eighty six like almost to two hundred. Yeah, we almost almost two hundred guys. Let's do this. Let's we're almost done with Mineral Town and we're gonna play some Olive Town. Which is gonna be fun because it's been a while. A lot of the games I've played today, like Harvest Moon SNES and 64 I've played recently. But like Mineral Town, it's been such a long time. Olive Town, it's been a long time. Doraemon, not too long. The first game, it's been a while. The second game, not too long. Wonderful Life, of course, not too, too long. It's so nice to be revisiting all of these games with everybody together. Little monkey. I miss the animals in Magical Melody that could be friend, right? Oh, look at the view.
This game is actually kind of cute, right? Actually. Will this be your longest stream so far, Josh? No. I've done a few. I've done... I've, I've, I did... Oh, Jennifer. I did one 12-hour stream, so that was my longest one. And I did a few, like, six to eight hours. I did one Pelia stream, which was eight hour. I did one was, like, a charity stream. I think I was playing Dincom, and that was, like, six or seven hours. How are you a resident here? I don't believe I've heard your name. Josh, is it? I'm Jennifer. A pleasure. Nice to meet you. I need to replay this, but I should finish A Wonderful Life first. Yeah, A Wonderful Life is so long to finish, though. It takes a long... It's such a big time commitment. Uh, 12 hours, what game was that? It was actually 12 different games. Honestly, I feel like that, that makes it so much easier to do, like, long streams. Like, I remember when I played Dincom for 6 or 7 hours, it was kind of hard to, like, just play the same game for so long. But, yeah, it was a 12-hour stream, and I played 12 different games. So, like, every hour we were changing games. So, that felt, like, very fast-paced. All right. So, now... That's going to be it for Friends of... It saves automatically, right? I'm pretty sure. Okay. Next, we're going to be playing Doraemon Story of... Uh... Season that's Friends of the Great Kingdom. Okay, I need to find it. It should be somewhere. Oh, there it is. It's not too far. It's not too far. I hope I, there's no like. Okay, I was wondering if there was gonna be like an update or something. Oh, sorry. Yes, Olive Town. Sorry, Olive Town. I just said Olive. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Yes, we're playing Olive Town. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I misspoke. Yeah, I miss. Um. Yeah, sorry, we're playing Olive Town. Olive Town and then Doraemon, the two Doraemon games. And so I have Olive Town here. Uh, do you have these games physically and digitally? So a lot of them, like Olive Town, I think I just have it physically. Maybe I have it digital. A lot of them I have digitally as well. Because I always want to play a lot of these games. I have like the Japanese version and then I also have because it comes out earlier right and I want to play it as soon as possible and then often I have the digital version and the physical version because I, I want to have the physical of every game but sometimes I want to play them as soon as they release so I get the digital so a lot of them I have like the game like three times yeah so now I'm gonna play Olive Town I have I think I just have physically Maybe I have it digitally, but I have the cartridge, so. You don't have English version? It is the English version, yes. They're all in English. But I always buy the Japanese version first, because usually most, with most games, the Japanese version, most Star of Seasons games, the Japanese comes out like a few months earlier. So I always get that first. And then I play it again in English. Oh, yeah, we're going to play Olive Town together. Yeah, let's do that. I wish there was multiplayer in Olive Town. You could decorate your town, your farm together. Do you use the standard Switch dock? You didn't have to move much to Switch game. Uh, yes, it's the standard dock, but I'm playing on my desk, right? So stay tuned for the room tour, but yeah, it's right in front of me. Not too far from me. I have to move a little bit, but not too much. All right, so if this is in of Olive Town. So I think we're going to start a new save file. Because last time on the Switch... Oh, yeah, I said I bought... Like, uh, some a lot of these games I also buy on Steam. So well, I buy those games like four or five times each. Anyway. Um, sorry, on the Switch, I just have... I, I had a save file where I was trying to do a whole run without growing any crops. And trying to see like how far I could get into this game without growing crops. And I made it actually pretty far. But I I don't know if I'll ever gonna finish that save file, but might as well just start a new one. Yeah. Yeah, might as well just start a new one now, because 
A long time ago, my grandfather and his friends blazed a trail and established a new settlement. They called it Olive Town. This brings back so much memories. This is one of my pandemic games. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I'll probably need to get up for a while soon. I wish I could stay the whole stream. I should be back in time for a wonderful life. But that means I'm missing the Doraemon games. I'm least familiar with. Oh, Mike. Well, see you later. Thank you so much again for becoming a member. It's so nice to, to see your name in green, the little sapling. I was hoping for a tour of your old save. No, because my old save is the Japanese one. So I would need to get... Yeah, but I, I do have <laughs> I do have a tour video. It didn't change too much since then, to be honest. Oh my gosh, it's been a while. Is the music too loud now with this game? I think I'm gonna bring it down a little bit, right? Is it better now? I'll be on for a few more minutes. All right. Um, what eyes should we do? Uh, I missed it. Which one is this? This is Pioneers of Olive Town. It's been so long since I played that game. Let's do... Usually I feel like I always go for Pioneer, so I feel like I should do something different. What about Energetic? Let's do Energetic. Skin color. Yeah, let's do the default one, and then... I think it's definitely the story of seasons with the best character creation. Actually, the eyes creep me out a little bit. I think I'm gonna change them. They're like too big and round. Uh... Why he looks so sad? Let's do Elite or Confident. Let's be confident today. Let's do that. I know they look feminine. I know he looks like I don't know. Should we do stubborn? <laughs> Uh, why, why is it so hard to choose eyes? And then you can change the cut. I don't remember if you can... Yeah, it's the lashes, right? The long eyelashes. I don't remember if you can change your eyes later in this game. I chose stubborn, sleepy eyes. All, they're kind of cute, actually, right? I found you looking up for walkthroughs for this. Yeah, that's how my channel grew a lot. I made a lot of videos on this game. Okay, let's keep the default cut. Should we do pink gold? Blossom pink. I feel like I did pink one time on one save file. I did the... I also did the fresh green on one save file. I, I did brown too. Let's do a cut. Oh no, I did tourmaline blue one time. Pink gold. Did I do pink gold? I don't know. Let's do let's do this. Okay. 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 Let's go with a wild voice. I think I'm gonna go with a stubborn. Let's let's do the stubborn eyes today. Yeah, the character creation is really not bad in this game. I love the amount of like hair colors and there's a bit more options than in Wonderful Life, I feel like. <laughs> that little animation, like why is he tapping his face? That's so cute. I remember when I first played this game. Oh yeah, then our scooter. I always go, it takes a while for you on that. Oh, the purple is, I usually always go for like yellow. It's really nice. 
I think the purple one looks good though. Let, let's do purple. You can change the color later on, so it doesn't matter too much. I took several years of not playing video games much and focusing on school. Tree of Tranquility was the last new SOS game I played until Olive Town. Yeah, Tree of Tranquility, I played it a little bit. And then that's also when I kind of stopped keeping up with games as much. So I didn't play Animal Parade. I didn't play a lot of like the DS, 3DS games. And then... Yeah, and then I came back with the Mineral Town remake. So, yeah. So I guess it was very similar to you. And when I played Trip Tranquility, I played it for a little bit. And then my Wii stopped working at the time. So I kind of had to stop playing. They really lean into gender fluidity for the character customization in this game. I think it's a good step for Japanese company generally. Yeah, you have all the options like available. You don't even choose your gender, right? Yeah, you just choose your voice. Your character looks more born than stubborn. Yeah, I don't know why they call it stubborn, because <laughs> he, he looks a lot more like sleepy. Yeah, he doesn't want to be here. <laughs> He's like, what am I doing here? He's, he looks so depressed. Uh, who might you be? Did you come all the way here on that motorcycle? You choose your bearing and that's the gender. Oh, is that the, like, the position? I forgot about that choice. But anyway, yeah. Uh, did you come all the way here on that motorcycle? Well, that must have been an arduous journey. Your poor motorcycle tells a story all its own. All you need not... Uh, sorry, you need not to worry about it. I can have the repairs arranged. I'll be taking it to a man named Clemens who runs our tool shop. You can pick it up later once he's all done with it. By the way, might I have your name? Yes, I'm Josh. I did like the amount of clothing options in this game. I just wish your character's head didn't look so much bigger than most of the NPCs. Yeah, right? <laughs> character specific will always stuck out to me. I didn't notice that. But now that you mention it, I think our head is bigger than Victor's head. Yeah, but there's really a lot of clothing in this game. They do, they do take... Oh, yeah, you choose... That's, that's where you choose your gender, actually. Um... Yeah, uh, what I was gonna say? Yeah, there's a lot of outfits. Some of them do take a while to unlock, but there's really a good selection. Yeah, oh my gosh, almost close to, yeah, 200 likes very soon. Your grandfather must have told you the name of the farm. Surely, what was it again? Maple Farm? We're gonna go back to our classics. Ah, uh, yes, that's what it was. Maple Farm. I'm interesting in taking interested in taking over the farm, are you? Well, I can't say I'm well versed on the subject, but I can at least teach you the basics to start off. The invisible tools. I felt kind of lazy, right? They didn't even show you. You couldn't even see the little tools. Whenever someone gave you an item, it was a little, like a little invisible. Okay, I know how to... I know how to play. Let's just fast forward through this. I was reading a Tolkien extended books when I played this, so I went with Lorian Farm. Ooh. I love Olive Town. It was what got me watching your channel after Rune Factory 5. Nice. I think it's what got a lot of people here. I'm really regretting. I'm already regretting my choice of eyes. I think... I, I, mm, I don't remember if after the you unlock the hair salon and stuff. If you can change your eyes. Oh my gosh, it's been so long since I played this. So the first thing I'm going to do is just... Uh, oh, I need to go in the toolbox, right? 
or oh yeah you got I, I love the idea of the tool bag that you have all of your tools here I'm so excited for the next because this was the last like if you don't count the Doraemon games this was the last uh actual new story of seasons game like that was not a remake or anything like that so i'm really really looking forward to seeing what they're gonna do next if it's gonna be similar to this because in the little teaser that they showed it looked very similar to olive town like the animal models and even the environments like the trees and everything they were really olive town ish so i'm wondering if the next game will take place in olive town again or be similar to it there's a mirror later on oh okay yeah i forgot about that i got a lot of good memories watching you play this game it's definitely on one of my favorites i do also have lots of great memories playing this game and like making videos about it that was so much fun like when i just started my videos and my well Right after I finish, right, right when I stopped making my Animal Crossing content. I bet the next game will use a similar engine, but it will probably be a totally different game. Yeah, maybe. Hopefully they learn from their mistakes though, and like the things that people didn't like from Olive Town, they will change. I think they're, they, they're pretty good at listening to feedback. Like I was really impressed. Like when Olive Town came out, there were lots of little things that were annoying. But they fixed so many things, like they were really good at listening to the feedback and like making adjustments. And yes, some stuff did take some time to get fixed, but like overall, they fixed so many things and they made the game so much better. So I feel like they're definitely listening to feedback. Yeah. Even Marvelous Europe told me like, Sometimes they were watching my videos and like what I say in the videos and like even like submitting the feedback to like their Japanese team. So I feel like that's one thing that's really, really nice. Like that they're actually listening. I wish you could put makers on paths. Even just fixing that would have made decorating. Yeah, that's the only thing they have not really fixed. Like decorating, I wish you could rotate items. And yeah, put stuff on the paths, like makers or fences. Right now, it's really... You can only have, like, one item at one spot, right? So you can't have any, like, overlap. Yeah. Plus, Marvelous Europe was in your stream choosing game of the year. Yeah, they were there during the tournament. And even one time when I was streaming Back to Nature, they were here, too. I just want them to stop translate, translating the liquor to things like soda. Yeah, I don't know if the Japanese, in the Japanese games, if there's still like liquor or stuff like that recently. Because even the, like, for example, the blue bird, right? Even in Japanese, it, it went from a bar to a cafe. So I think they just removed the alcohol from the games. It's not just like a translation thing. Uh, which SOS is this one? Yeah, this is Olive Town. Yeah, I feel like nowadays the translations are pretty faithful to like the original games, to the source. Since they're doing the translation themselves, or like with Exceed, which is their subsidiary, instead of like Natsume. Like they're staying close to the Japanese names and like doing like better translations than before. So I want to try to repair my chicken coop today. Uh, I may have to eat an onion. Can you stack? Uh... Oh yeah. I wonder. I forgot how much stamina you get. Ooh. Okay, that should be enough. Should be enough. Hi Morgan, nice to see you. Welcome, welcome. Have you played Mabinogi? Uh, you said you were in two Korean MMOs, so I was wondering. If... Yeah, I played Mabinogi a little bit, but it was it was a while ago, and I didn't play too much. Oh my gosh, I'm so bad. 
I was not paying attention. Oh yeah, I remember in this game you do have to sell stuff for them to become available, right? At the grocery store and everything. I forgot if you lose a whole day if you pass if you pass out in this game. I think you just wake up with less stamina, right? The one thing that always confused me with this game was I thought we'd use a little tourist tent to visit other farm. Me too. When I first saw there was like an online feature, I was really excited. But then it's just you'll see other people's characters visit the town. But that's pretty much it. Rest in peace, the in-game. Oh, it just ends the day. So it's not too big of a deal, like, when it just ends the day, because I didn't have any more stamina anyway. Yeah. I feel like you should lose a whole day for passing out. Or, like... Oh, yeah, even I have my whole stamina. I feel like you should either wake, either lose a whole day, or, like, wake up the next day with less stamina. Because now, I didn't have stamina, in, so it's almost basically, like, almost no consequence. You should play Harvest Moon DS on the channel at some point. Yeah, I want to play all of them at some point on the channel. So that will definitely happen one day. It might, might take a while before we get there, but... That will happen. Uh, Josh loves his game consequences. Yeah, I love... I feel like you do need... I feel like you do need consequences. Um, I'm just going to call it Coop. Yeah, I love when there's consequences, even if it's like a cozy game or like a farming game. I like when you have to be careful and there's like stuff happening. Uh, how should we name our chicken? First chicken. Do you think farming sims are best when almost entirely farming or when mixed with other genres such as RPGs? I think both can be great. Like Harvest Ally was one of my favorite games last year. But this year, one of my favorite games is Roots of Pacha, which is mostly like more like traditional farming sim so i love both but i like i feel like if you do both you still have to make the farming kind of interesting so i feel like harvest was fine but for example there's kitaria fables kitaria fables was more like action rpg like kind of like hack and slash or like top down but the farming was kind of really boring in that game and not that interesting and I don't think there was cooking. So, I like, in Harvestella, you need... For cooking, you need to do a lot of cooking in Harvestella. But I feel like in Kithara Fables, there was no need... The only reason for the crafts was to make money. And it felt kind of, like, disconnected from the rest of the game. So, yeah. Uh, Call the Chicken Mike Wazowski. I think that's too many characters. Oh, maybe, maybe it would fit. But I'm trying to max out Graveyard Keeper. Ooh, that's a lot of grinding, right? Harvestella, you need cooking all the time. I think Harvestella did a really good job at incentivizing the player to cook. Because there's a lot of farming games where, like, I never cook. Uh, Meredith. Meredith is cute. Meredith is kind of cute, actually. It's a very human name. If you don't cook, you can't do very much on the Yeah, because you need it for your health to regenerate, right? And there's also, like, all of these quests that require you to, like, go to the different restaurants and inns and, like, give them food. All right, so chicken coop is repaired. Henrietta for a chicken... Yeah, I do that. I do that name pretty often. Oh, yeah. I always forget how the town looks at the beginning. Like, the street... I think we changed the streets, like, two or three times, right? It changes at one point, and then it changes again later on. Yeah, you. I think you change it two times. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, let's go to the town hall. Good mention that you put on your tips video to get the kitchen as soon as possible. To yeah. I even forgot I did a Harvestella tips video. I wanted to do more Harvestella tips videos, but I got caught up with like other things. Already so much, so much free stuff here, right? 
We go Cherry Sapling. Seedling. We hit 200 likes. Oh, yeah, we did it, guys. Thank you so much for your support. Maybe we can make it to 250 by the end. Hello. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. I believe you, I've heard of you. You're Josh, correct? My name is Sydney. I usually work in the city. Olive Town is a nice place. My family loves it here, too. Hmm, have we met somewhere before? Oh, you're Josh. It's nice to meet you. I'm Norman. This town's grosser. If you're ever looking for ingredients or food, I'm your man. Come see me anytime. Hello. Hmm, I don't think we've had the pleasure. I s Wait, are, are we? Wait, let me check the options. There should be... Chat camera. Yeah. Now we should be able... Yeah, now we can see up close. I remember that was one thing at the beginning. When they launched the game, you couldn't do that. So you couldn't never see like people's faces. Oh, now I really want, I want to do a whole playthrough of this game now. I really feel like going back to it. Harvestella was another game. I felt like they were trying too hard to be unique and different and that just made it seem jumbled and confusing at least for me. Yeah, I didn't think that, but Harvestella is not definitely not for everyone. Like, it's pretty different, but I quite liked how it was. The only thing I didn't like was there was a lot of reading. And also, oh yeah, we got turnip seeds. A lot of reading. And also, uh, let me just sell some stuff. Well, how do you automatic? I think X, right? No. Oh, just A. Uh, a lot of reading and also a lot of the side quests were like... Uh, some of the side quests were like actually really engaging and captivating. Other side quests were just like way too long. And not an interesting. Yeah, I can. Oh, I can. I thought I couldn't till that. Oops. I think they also added a strafe. Oh, yeah. If you press R, you can strafe. That's also one thing they added in an update. And later on, you'll be able to plant seeds. That's also one thing they added in an update. You'll unlock the ability to plant like nine seeds at a time. Did the stream end for anyone else? It didn't end for me. Um, when the next SOS is announced, maybe you can do a Let's Play revisit to Olive Town. Maybe saying bye to it. Yeah. Depending on when that happens. But yeah, it could be nice. Cherry seedling. I'm always hesitant to like planting trees early because I know I'm going to get rid of them. So let, let's do it. Oh, you don't even need to till the soil in this game. Okay, and then we're gonna water. I'm so happy Harvest Moon 64 game uh, to the Switch. I can't wait to replay that. Honestly, I'm so grateful for that. It's one of my <laughs> one of my best releases this year. Like I really wanted to have this game on the Switch, so I'm really really happy it happened. Now we've got Harvest Moon on SNES and 64. And now there's a GBA app on the Switch. So maybe the, maybe one day we'll have Friends of Mineral Town, like the original one. It was a nice surprise drop. Yeah, we were not expecting it, right? It was really just out of nowhere. All right. So crops are water. Do you need to water this? No. Uh, oh, let's go get our fishing rod. So let's go see Laura. Well, now you've got the look of someone who hasn't gone fishing before, am I right? 
Not to worry, this is a good an opportunity as any to learn and be happy to teach you if you'd like to try. Here for starters, I'll give you this fishing rod. It was just lying around my house and I'd rather it be put to good use. Thank you. I wish Harvest Moon 64 was a standalone game that you could get without the online membership. Yeah, that could have been nice, honestly. Like, I wish you could buy the games outright like you could with the virtual consoles. Uh, with the Wii U and the Wii. You can cast out your fish. Oh yeah, I know how to fish. Okay, all right. Let's go catch some fish. Did I call her Laura? I meant Manuela, sorry. <laughs> I Manuela, sorry about that. Ah. But we, we can still go meet Laura though. Yeah, if anyone's asking about the loading screen, it is um it shows pictures that other players have taken uh in the in their game. Because you you have a photo camera in this game. Uh I've not seen you in these parts before. You're new to this town. You are Josh, a fine name. I shall commit it to memory. I'm called Iori. I hope we will forge an excellent relationship. Thank you so much. Yeah, so you can have, you can see pictures from other people and you can also see later in game and you can see like the appearance of other players. So one time someone saw me in their game actually. When you register for a trip, your avatar will visit other players' towns all over the world, but you, you can't actually visit. I feel like that's such a missed opportunity. And then after that though, in Doraemon Story of Seasons, Friends of the Great Kingdom, you can actually visit other players' farm or actually like just see the farm. So maybe in the next game, they, they will let us do that, do that as well. Uh, and yeah, you can send a postcard to share a photo. If you put your tools away, it will give you more space in your back. Yeah, I know. But so far, so far I'm doing fine. All right, so I'm public now so you guys can see me. I think on PC though, I think if you play on Steam, I think those online features are not there. So it depends on what what platform or yeah Hello. Enchanté, I'm Karina, a stylist. I just moved to this town too, funny enough. We should help each other get settled. And the ship is coming. Yep. Yeah. Alright, let's go. Oh yeah, love it. I missed you, love it. He's one of my favorite characters. I love I love him. I love Love it. Why hello, I'm called Levet. I feel like a lot of, a lot of the characters feel pretty generic in this game or like not special, but I feel like Lovet. He's really like an interesting character. I travel the world in search of fine cuisine, writing magazine articles on my discoveries. Do let me know if you happen up upon any out of town delicacies. I love this challenge. Yeah, and he has oh my gosh, I love this game so much now. Uh Hi there. Yeah. Um yeah, let's have a little soup. Yeah, if you go to his house, there's like little challenges where you can bring kind of like the bundles. Uh, no, but it's just cooking recipes, right? Which is a nice incentive. It gives you a nice incentive to cook. I just realized I never made a re I never did a review on this game. Maybe I should do that one day. Um, but yeah, it gives you a nice incentive to like cook. Did you play it before it zoomed in on the Yeah, I played it when the when I, I played it when it first released. So before any of the patches. And when that update came, I was pretty much done with the game. Uh yeah, so you can bring all these recipes, all of these dishes, and then you get other stuff as rewards. So in my save file that I was doing like a challenge where I was trying to do everything without growing crops myself. So that was a lot, some stuff I was able to like get from there as a reward. Some of the food. Because I couldn't grow it myself, right? For that challenge. They updated the visuals for the food before it only had one model animation. Yeah, 
when the, that game first came out, if you were to if you went to the restaurant and you had like ice cream, you were eating like a fish, fish and like vegetables or something. It was your your character was always eating the same meal, no matter which meal you picked. But and actually in one of the and that was one of my complaints when the game first came out. But then they fixed it and now you can actually see each meal. You are Master Josh, correct? I've heard. Uh, I have heard tell of you from Master Victor. I'm called Dosetsu. I have attended the young master Lord Yori since his birth. Yo. Yo. Uh, are you the one I've been hearing rumors about, Josh? Uh, I'm Lars. I helped my big brother Clem at the tool shop. You came here on the motorcycle, right? Well, it just so happens I'm the town motorcycle expert. If you ever need any help with that, I'm your. Oh, yeah, he should be fixing it right now. The mayor brought it to yeah. you. You are a tourist? Oh, you're the one who took over the farm. You're Josh, right? I'm Damon. Uh, I'm sure I'll see you around. Is Lavet poor? Just realized now seeing his butt with stitches. Yeah, if you look at... I don't have the camera yet. But if you look at the back of his house with the camera, you can see the. it's all just a facade. It's all like a fake... A fake, <laughs> a fake good looking house. If you look at the back, it's interesting, but yeah, I don't have any camera, so he's just. Yeah, I, I definitely think he's one of the most interesting characters of this game. I would totally marry Lave. I wouldn't marry him too, honestly. I wish he was a moment support character, it's so fun. So we go buy some seeds. We have a bunch of money. Oh my gosh! I forgot I had the chick. I should maybe I should buy some chicken food. That's gonna be at the animal store, right? Um. Okay, let's buy some cucumber seeds. Yeah, let's buy nine. If you go in his house, his bedroom is all run down in rags, but his main room is... Oh, yeah, true. Huh? Lavette is such a character. I love Lavette. So lovable. Yeah, he's... I love, honestly. He's such a nice character. Uh, okay. Let's... Oops. Oh, maybe it's from the... Maybe you buy food from the general store. It's been so long since I played this game. Ah. And I was right there. I should have just looked. Oh, yeah. Uh, fod Oh, yeah. It is fodder for the chicken, right? Even... Yeah, barn or coop. Yeah, it is kind of, yeah. Okay, and I'm going to buy some fodder seeds. The only thing in this game that's kind of annoying is that the fodder, you have to water your fodder, which is kind of annoying because we played Harvest Moon 64 before, right, earlier. That game was so nice. Even SNES, all of the games before this almost, not all of them, but like all the other games we played today, like SNES 64 and Manual Town, all of them you didn't have to water your grass. But in this one, you have to, and it's kind of a pain. And I think you have to plant it after. I don't remember what happens after winter if you have to plant it. I think you may have to plant it again in this game. Why not just let them graze outside, save fodder for... Oh, yeah, true. In this game, you can let them graze outside. Yeah, that's one good point. Yeah, whereas in Harvest Moon 64, for example, they need the actual grass to be fully grown for them to eat outside. But they eat... Uh, I forgot what time they eat. I think they eat at, like, 8 p.m. or... I, I don't know. I forgot. I forgot all of the little intricacies. Like, I used to know everything, but it's been so long since I played... Uh, I kind of forgot those details, especially as like with those games, 
like every game, every story of Seasons game has different little details like this. Like what time should you bring your animals out? Should you leave them in overnight? And like all of those little details are different with every game. I always forget like how each one works. Animals eat at 9 a.m. Oh yeah, okay. So I'm gonna have to feed my chicken, right? Guess I'll join in and play some Olive Town. Ooh, nice. Welcome. Welcome among us. Yeah, it's so nice to revisit this game. Okay, let's do a little bit of fishing. I love the fishing in this game. It's pretty challenging. Not all of, like, not all the time. Like, at the beginning, it was, like, Depends on the fish, but yeah, I love like some fish, like the rare fish was pretty hard to catch. It's not the most exciting, but I still love Ralph. Just a genuine guy and his relationship with his dad is sweet. And when they added the outfits when he isn't wearing a hat. Yeah, that's the thing with, with Ralph. Especially before they added the... Um, uh, before they added the new camera where I can actually see the face when you're talking. Like you could never see Ralph. With like the top-down camera, right? Yeah, I kind of like... I like that fishing mechanic. It's like not too... It's like pretty simple. But it can still be a little bit challenging with some of the fish. Fishing in Olive Town uses quite a bit of stamina unlike any other game I played, sadly. Yeah, I feel like it's not too bad. I feel like it, it should use stamina, right? Like, I feel like there's some games you, should, you can fish all day and, like, make a bunch of money. And, like, you still have so much stamina. So, I feel like it's a fair... I feel like it's good that uses, like, a, a good amount of stamina, right? Oh, I'm not gonna get that one. Oh, maybe, maybe I will. No, I won't. Ah, so close. I feel like it used more stamina than on parade. Yeah, that's the one I've not played, so I'm not too sure. I mean, it's not too bad. I feel like... I don't know if it's a controversial take, but... There are some games where you have, like, too much stamina. Like, if you have stamina as a feature, you should have not a lot of... Especially at the beginning of the game. I feel like it sh you should be struggling a little bit with stamina, right? Otherwise, why do you have a stamina feature? Like, at the end of the game, you should have enough stamina not to worry about it. But I feel like you should have to worry about it a little bit. Like, in The Wonderful Life, that's one thing. Like, I feel like stamina doesn't matter too much in The Wonderful Life because you have so much of it and, like, it doesn't go down that quickly. I'm gonna send you that. You are missing out. I do have the game, but... I just need to... I want to play... I want to replay all the games in order. So I'm playing like Back to Nature now. So I'll, I'll get to it eventually. But it's going to take a while. I'm still grinding this game. Trying to get the last museum item. Yeah, it takes a while if you want to com this, complete this game at 100%. With like finish the museum and everything. There's quite a lot to do. You're half low on your stream. Have you eaten your snack all yet? Yeah, I'm gonna have to do that soon. By the way, we still don't have our turnips here, right? It's gonna take. We're just on the second day. I was, I was, I wanted to do like grow turnips in. Are we really just on the second day? Days are so long in this game. Instead of stamina, I forgot about. I forgot how days were so long in this game. Um. I wanted to grow turnips in every game. I thought I would be able to do so in less than an hour, but I guess not. So I'll finish this day and then we'll take a little break, a little like two, three minutes break. I'm going to have like a little snack 
and some water and you guys take a little break too because we still have three games we have doraemon and then friends of the great kingdom like the two doraemon games basically and then the wonderful life All right, so let's sleep. Yeah, I forgot that game. Well, at the beginning, it seems kind of slow paced. But once you start like wanting to decorate your farm and you have more animals, like it makes sense that the days are longer because there's like quite a lot of stuff that you can do in this game. So it, ma it makes sense. Also, when you cook, like time goes by. Hello, Justin, everyone. I'm preparing for work, so I'll only be lurking, enjoying seeing you play this game again. Thank you so much. Yeah, I'm enjoying playing it again, too. It's so fun. It's almost midnight here. I wish I could stay up all night to watch this stream. I love this game, mama. Yeah, you should sleep. You can always watch it again later. Yeah, the only thing with Animal Parade, yeah, I see you're mentioning the Wiimotes. That's the only thing. It's always kind of annoying having to go back to Wii games. Some of them allowed you to have like a regular, like I don't know if it was the Pro Con, I forgot how it was called, like the Classic Controller. Oh yeah, the Classic Controller. But overall it was kind of a pain, right? Like all this, the Wii games with like all the Wii modes and the nunchucks and stuff. All right, so we're gonna take, uh, yeah, we're going to be taking a few minutes break. I'm just going to eat a little snack, uh, like two minutes. And yeah, you guys take a little break too. And I'll see you in a few minutes. See you.
All right, welcome back. Welcome back, welcome back. So we are going to continue with Doraemon Seraf Seasons. If everybody, if someone, if anyone, sorry, just joined in. Um, today we are playing all of the Story of Seasons games on the Switch. So we played Harvest Moon on the Super Nintendo. We played Harvest Moon 64. We played Story of Seasons Friends of Mineral Town. Story of Seasons Pioneers of Life Town. Now we're going to do Doraemon Story of Seasons. And then Doraemon Story of Seasons Friends of Mineral Town. And then Story of Seasons of Wonderful Life. So we have three games. Sorry. Okay. Sorry, I just drank sparkling water and like, like <laughs> I'm fine. Uh, okay, so yeah, so we're gonna play Doraemon Story of Seasons, and yeah, okay, yeah, let's do that. Let's do it. So we have another three hours. It's so fun. Thank you so much, everybody, for joining me. There's a lot of people today, and yeah, lots of new members. We have seven new members too. So thank you so much for your support. It's gonna be one of the only streams this week. Uh, only regular stream this week. Ah, Doraemon Story of Seasons. It's been a long time. Uh, Maple Farm, 45 hours, 50... That's a long game. I'm still... I think I finished the story, actually. 45 hours. I forgot I played that game that much. I forgot how much... I forgot I played that long for that game, with that game. When we still have... Uh, I still have so much thing to do. I like watching Doraemon, but I don't like playing it. I never watched anything Doraemon. Polly, nice to see you. Hey, everyone. And just, just putting the stream on while getting dinner ready. Enjoy your dinner, Pauline. Enjoy your cooking and everything. Uh, there's some wild gadgets I love to see Doraemon have. Yeah, that's one thing I love with this game. I love how it focuses on the story. And I love all of the gadgets. So excited. Oh, welcome back, Josh. Did you get any food? So I had some pineapple pineapple yogurt and some peanuts, some chocolate covered. It was like a mix of like yogurt covered and chocolate covered and like sugar covered. Lots of covered <laughs> peanuts. Yeah. Uh, oh, I have a cat. Okay, I need to get back into... So it's the last day of summer. I feel like I don't remember anything. Can you hear the music a little bit? Yeah, I have these little clouds. They're kind of like sprinklers. I don't know why they did not water today. Maybe I just put them. I don't know. Let's check on our animals. It's so confusing because the button scheme uh, so different than the other story of seasons game like the the controls are all different um, uh, this month should be my one year as a member oh nice so you're gonna have your little I think after one year you're gonna have the little pink turnip right And game sound is actually quite loud, louder compared to other games. Okay, let me bring it down a little bit. Is it better like this? Like that? Yeah, every game has a slightly different audio level. Oh, Henriette! Why are you sick? Yeah, that's one thing in this game, it's hard to pick up the eggs. I think it can still put... yeah. Oh my gosh, I didn't mean to... Oh yeah! I remember that's one thing with this game, I kept eating stuff by accident. I'm just trying to pick up my egg. Okay, let me lift. And like, it takes so long when you lift them. The remake makes all of this way... like uh, Not the remake. Friends of the Great Kingdom makes all of this so much better. Now, if you're watching this right now and you're like, Oh my gosh, I want to play this game. I want to buy this game. Wait until you watch Friends of the Great Kingdom because it improves in so many ways. 
I must have started for my birthday. Oh, member for 10 months. Thank you so much, Shay. Josh, do you plan on streaming gameplay of uh, Star of Seasons, Three of Towns? I know they're Nintendo DS games. I would love to stream them eventually, but when I play the older games, I kind of want to do them in order because I want to make videos for them on my channel and everything. Um, so it probably won't be for a few years. So I will play them eventually. I even recently bought a modded 3DS that has like a capture card and everything. And I have the games and everything. So that will happen someday. Uh, make sure you subscribe if you want to see it happen. Because it's probably uh, going to be like in a few years. Yeah. Yeah, I need to... I hope... One thing I'm hoping with my channel next year. I hope there's a little bit less... Oops, I didn't mean to give you that. But that's okay. I hope there's a little bit less new releases. So I can play and talk about, make more videos about the older games. Because I think these are my favorite videos to make. Like, videos about the older Harvest Moon and Story of Seasons games and stuff. Yeah. Um, so I want to do more of that this year. And I want to catch up on like all of the older games. But this year has, has been so, so, so busy with new games. So I have not had time to like go back to older games. And uh, that's so hard when you're trying to keep up with all of the new... Like, I played 26 farming games this year, right? And I couldn't even, like... That's just so much. Uh, hey, Gemma. Hi, Harmon. Hi, hi. Hey, Anubi. What are you guys talking about? About Mark. I don't remember anything about... There's, like, so much side stories and stuff in this game. It's so horrible to sit there in silence while mom and dad's relationship goes downhill. So I was telling Harmon about it. I want to help somehow, but I wouldn't know the first thing about finding a Harvest Sprite. I'm glad you brought that up. I talked to both Mark and Jenny about this recently. You talked to mom and dad? Yep. Uh, first, I found out why Mark is looking for the Harvest Sprites in the first place. He said he wants them to bestow a blessing upon his family. Hmm, I have no idea what that means. Same. According to this book he lost a while back, it's something you get if you find Harvest Sprites. And that book isn't just some fairy tale. It's a bi biology, biopsy, uh, what, what was it? Yeah, you're gonna have to speak in real words if you want, real words if you want us to understand. It doesn't matter, it's some kind of book that has true things written in it. That's why he said he's so serious about spending his days looking for harvest sprites. But I would have thought we were pretty full of well off, so he doesn't need to go find the harvest sprites. I wonder what Jenny would think, knowing what Mark's reasoning behind his search. That's why I also asked Jenny about this situation. And what did mom say? As usual, she mentioned how it was a pain that he doesn't help her out at the store. But she apparently also wants to help Mark look for the Harvest Sprites. Come again? And the twists keep on coming. When you were little, you helped your dad look for them, right, Gemma? I think I did. Apparently, your mom wanted to be involved too. So I think... Because I, I don't... Like... <laughs> you guys probably don't know what's happening. So let's just go through it quickly. Uh, so there's a lot of, like... If you're looking for more narrative heavy game, I mean, not heavy, but if you're looking for a game that has more of a storyline and more like dialogues and cutscenes and events, the Doraemon games are pretty good for that. Obviously, because it's been a while since I've played, I don't know what's happening right now, but it has a lot of cutscenes, especially the first game. When you start the game, there's like, oh, yeah, you can teleport with that. Uh, when you start... I don't have any goal right now. We're just kind of chilling. Because uh, I finished the main story. So I, I do have a few things to do. But um, Yeah, when you start the game, it takes like a good hour before you like really get into the game. Like the tutorial, like the first cutscene is pretty long. Can you catch bugs? Yes, there is bug catching in this game. Just grab your fishing net, your bug net. And that's it. So it's pretty, pretty straightforward. Pretty simple. I just love like the art style. I love that you can zoom out too. The art style. This game is just so beautiful. And the the next game is even more beautiful. Friends of the Great Kingdom. Because it has 
Um, this one, you're always like in the same perspective. But Friends of the Great Kingdom has like different angles as well. And like, it's such like a visually very, very interesting game. It's like a beautiful, a beautiful watercolor painting. Yeah, we're just gonna... He's looking for the horse, right? We're just gonna skip those because <laughs> we just have one hour with each game, right? I cannot imagine chopping the whole forest of trees and boulders hearing the same noise so much. Yeah, when you when you gather materials, it's not so bad. I think the worst is like when you're farming and like watering your crops one by one and you hear your little character say, Hey, hey, every time. <laughs> for me, I got used to it. Like it is a little bit, <laughs> can be a little bit annoying. Uh, if you want, you can turn off the voices in the menu, but then you're gonna lose all the voices. You're gonna lose the other characters' voices as well. So if it, but if it really annoys you, you can, you can do that. But in the next game, that we'll see, like he's not as noisy. That reminds me of the sound effects from Magical Melody. Yeah, Magical Melody also had quite a lot of sound effects, right? Little characters, sounds. We can fish too, of course. There is fishing. Also, yeah, right now, like when I uh, use L and R, right? Everything is like all together. Um, but the uh, Friends of the Great Kingdom separates the tools and the other items. So that's better. You have to actually go where there's a fish, I think, in this game. You can also befriend the wild animals. Some of them, like, you have little cutscenes with them. Yeah, I see lots of fish, but none of them... Oh, I think there's going to be one now, yeah. It's very simple. It's the same fishing as in like Mineral Town. Our wonderful life. You just need to, you just wait and then you just press one time. So it's not like Olive Town. I recall there are no wild animals on Friends of the Great Kingdom to be friend. Are there not? Are there, are they not? I thought there were some, maybe not. The Wild Animal to be friend reminds me of Magical Melody. Yeah, that was one of my favorite features of Magical Melody. And like there was the the dolphin. Was it a dolphin or something else? That would bring you like to some island or something. I don't remember it too well, but yeah, that was really nice at Magical Melody. I just realized his name is spelled differently. I'm so used to calling him Nobita. Yeah, Nobita Nobi. Yeah, here's just Nobi with a Y. Yeah, they changed a lot of the names for some reason. Oh, you can open the... Yeah, with X and you can transfer stuff. Quicker like this. Oops. Let's check. Uh, tomorrow's gonna be fall. Yeah, so, okay, that's nice. So tomorrow we'll plant some fall seeds. Nobita is his first name and Nobi being last since Japanese has their name backwards. Yeah, but they still change it because they, they write Nobi with a Y instead of E. And I think the other characters have different names too. That I'm not too familiar with Doraemon though. In the Philippines, I watch this anime I always as a kid and call him Nobita. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Nobita. I'm pretty sure actually in English, his name is Nobita too. But yeah, I never, I never actually watched Doraemon, so I don't know too much. It's already 5 p.m. Oh yeah. Oh no, wait, sorry, I thought you were talking about in the game. 
Yeah, sorry, I want to go see the carpenter. Uh, Josh, any ideas for tomorrow's member stream yet? Not yet. I've not. I'm still thinking about it. I took the long road. There was there's a way to go there from your farm. I took the long. The long road. Sims one. Ooh, Sims one. That could be fun. Something relaxing. Old school Mario Party on Nintendo Switch Online with members. Sims one would be fun. Uh, I guess he's not working today. Oh no, yeah, I just saw him. He was walking around. I will mention one thing is that both Doraemon games have a big map, so it'll be easy to get lost if it's your first time. Yeah, that's something I like. It's like a big map, but it's not too big. Like, I, I find it's a really good sized map for a farming sim. But yeah, definitely, it, take, it takes a while to get used to, to the maps. I just realized, like, I finished the whole... Oh yeah, that's one thing. It takes so long to upgrade your tools in this game. Let me go see the blacksmith. Because I finished the story, right? I played for 45 hours, right? And I have a few silver tools. But like I said, I have the copper armor, the copper hole, and I played for 45 hours. So that's the thing. This game is really, really grindy. Like every single thing takes so long to upgrade. So, and the other game, Friends of the Great Kingdom is the total opposite. And I wish it was more like in the middle, but everything is so expensive. Like if you want to upgrade your tools, right? Like iron tool, you need stone, you need copper, and you need iron. And then after that, watering can. You need a bunch of iron, and you need silver, and you need gold, and you need some rubies or something. And they just like add up like this and like get more and more expensive. And like everything is so, so, so expensive. Um, yeah, it's kind of crazy. So this game is really grindy. And the other next one, we're going to play like total opposite. So, like, if you want to get the gold tool, because I want to get the golden watering can, so I'm saving for that. So I don't want to spend my iron and stuff on the on the hoe and the hammer, right? So, yeah, you can also buy makers. Yeah, see, they're so expensive. I need like 125 copper, 100 iron, 75 silver, and you can buy some ores, but then they're expensive. I never beat this first or second Doraemon game. Yeah, this one. I finished the story in this one, like the main story. But I still have so much stuff to do. Whereas in the other game, in Friends of the Great Kingdom, I feel like I've done more. Like I upgraded my tools more. I have more animals and more stuff. But I'm still behind in the story. Can you change? I forgot if you could change the music. Oh, yeah. I don't think you have music from, like... You don't have music from, like, other Star of Seasons games or anything like that, though. But yeah, you can change the music that plays on your farm. What should we do? Should we go mining since we need like so many ores for everything? Let me just make sure there's space in my inventory. Because mining takes a lot of space. I absolutely love that in a wonderful life you can play older services and music. Yeah, and Mineral Town too, right? 
Yeah, I love those features. I hope the next RF seasons will keep keep that tradition of like giving us a little record player. The tool bag would have helped out so much in this version. Yeah. True. Your farm looks so pretty. Thank you. There's still The thing is even the decor and this game is so expensive like the farm decor. But yeah, I just started like decorating my farm. Oh yeah, I need the pickaxe in this game. They should have combined like you have the pickaxe for the mine. And then you have the hoe, and then you have the hammer. I feel like they could have... You could have done this with the hammer, I feel like. I feel like there's like one too many tools. You could have done this with the hoe or the hammer. So yeah, when you mine, you'll... Uh, hey! 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 Would you recommend people play this game before the second one, or are they pretty separate? They are... The stories are completely separate, so... You don't have to play this one first. And... The second one is so much better in every way. Like, there's so many quality of life improvements, and like... It's just better, and has so many more features, and... So, I would recommend... If you just... If you just want to play one... I would recommend the second one. But if you know that you will eventually play all of them or like you know you want to play both then I would say start with the first one because if you play the second one first and then you go back to the first one I think it's going to be quite hard because they really fix a lot of things. All of the flaws of the first one they kind of fix in the second one. So if you play the second one then the first one is going to be hard. But if you if you're just going to play one then just play the second one like I would say. Unless you really like a lot of grind and like a lot of grinding a lot like really a lot of grinding then go with the first one. But yeah. Why would developers make the decision to have the character make a sound with every movement? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know it's nice once in a while but it it is a lot. I don't mind, like, honestly, though, to be fair, I don't really mind it. I divorced Reyna because of the noise she makes every time you talk to her. Oh, no. Poor girl. Oh, the ladder is here. I was looking. Well, it's not a ladder, but... Reyna is sadly my spouse on Olive Town. Why did you marry her in the first place if you don't like her voice? So tomorrow's gonna be fall, so we're gonna plant some seeds soon. So there's going to be a lot more AAAs because there's a lot of farming we're going to do tomorrow. Rena is the only one that interested me on the leaf town, so yeah. Oh, I see. All right. Out of stamina. I know you guys wanted to hear Nubi work a little bit more, but he's got to go to sleep. He's a tired little guy. Uh, I always forget. There's like so many paths. I wanted to hear him make more noises. You're gonna hear him in the morning. Oh yeah, I forgot how small my house was. Yeah, I, upgrading your house is also very expensive. Just everything is so expensive in this game. <laughs> Doraemon must be Canadian, eh? <laughs> uh, then just still keeping at it. I thought for sure I would miss the stream today. Yeah, it's a long stream today because we have seven games to play. And we still have three. Well, this one plus two more after this one. So we have a lot.
Uh, our peppers. I don't know if they were pepper. I think they were peas. Anyway. Uh, sickle. Hey. All right, so let's plant. Let's till the soil. Maybe I should have upgraded my hoe yesterday. It's fine. So these they water like a five by five. So I'm gonna do five by five areas. Fields. I'm gonna be seeing A in my sleep. Yeah, you're gonna be dreaming about this game. <laughs> After that, I don't know when you, when you plant the seeds. I forgot if he says it. But then we're gonna do the watering. Oh, wait here, that little chicken. That little chicken sign is not... Um, can you place... No, you can't place stuff outside of the field. Okay, let's put the chicken sign here. Oh my gosh, yeah, I have, a, I have a chicken who's sick, right? I need to buy some... I need to buy some animal medicine today. Completely forgot about that. What year is this file? The train hat and anywhere door are game changers. I think I'm in the second year. I'm 45 hours. Yeah, I think that's the second. It's been a, it's been like really a long time since I played, but yeah, I'm pretty sure it's the second year. Yeah, I do have the door, and I do have the the train too. I don't use it, or I forgot if I have the train hat or if I just have it in my. Let's see if it's in there. If I just have it in friends of, I'm kind of mixing up my my save files be my between this game and the other one yeah maybe i don't even have the train hat in this one maybe i just have it in friends of your great kingdom one spot ocd oh did i make miss one spot oh yeah i thought it was looking weird too Oh, wait, I did one line too much. Uh, what is your favorite season in Farming Sims? For me, it's fall, autumn. I also tend to like fall and winter music the best. I do like fall a lot. It's also my favorite season in real life. But I love it in farming games because usually spring and summer... Spring and summer tend to look very similar. Oops, I'm doing too many. Yeah, like spring and summer tend to look very similar, so fall looks very different usually. So that is always very nice. And yeah, I don't know. It feels very cozy and it feels different. Yeah, I love winter too. Winter is always like a nice change. But sometimes, like when you can't grow crops, Sometimes it can be a little bit slow if there's not too many other activities to do. So usually I like winter when it starts and I find it like so exciting. Winter in video games like real winter. I love it when it starts and you get like the first snowfalls. And it looks really beautiful. It's really fun. But after a while, once I'm like halfway through winter, I just want it to end. Oh my gosh. I, 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 I forgot... You could collapse in this game. Yeah, I should have taken a nap. I forgot you could do that. I'm so sorry. Okay. I need to be more careful because I need to plant my crops. That was a lot of work, like tilling the soil. 
And then I need to plant plant seeds. I need to take care. I didn't take care of my animals at all today. Day two. Oh my gosh, we lost a whole day. We lost a whole day. I didn't take care of my animals. I'm not proud of myself. I'm not proud of myself. Uh, let's see. We're not doing good. And yeah, when the animals are sick in this game, it's kind of a pain because you, so you need to give them medicine. Oh my gosh, Amulet is sick, Ego is sick. You need to give them medicine more than one day, like multiple days in a row. And I remember, there were some times where I tried to like heal an animal and I had to give them medicine like three, four, five times. And sometimes it's not even worth it to like try to cure them. It's more expensive to cure them than to buy new animals, especially the chickens. I'm gonna buy a bit of medicine, but if after two medicine they don't get healed, I'm just gonna wait until they pass and then I'll get a new one. Yeah, and then I'll go get some medicine. Let me just feed everybody first. Okay, at least these ones are fine. Because I guess... I think they had like a little bit of extra food. Alright, so let's... Do, do I have the shears? Oh, yeah. I'm calling Pita. No, Piper! <laughs> They're gonna take away all my animals. I'm really trying my best. But sometimes, sometimes you make some mistakes. All right, so now we're gonna milk our cows. I think I forgot to milk my cows the other day too. Oh, now my inventory is full. Okay, so let's go buy some medicine. I'm gonna store, put some stuff in storage. It's okay, you're just a little guy. Exactly, I'm just a kid. Like, just a kid running a whole farm by himself. Like, you can't be too harsh. Let's go to West Natura. Yeah, this looks so nice in fall. I love how each season looks so beautiful in this game. Wait, not here, right? Ah, uh, wait, is it? Yeah, it is here. Uh, alright. So... Oh no, you buy it from the hospital, from the clinic, right? I never bought the bells in this game. Yeah, the bells, five, 5,000 per bell is kind of expensive, right? I love to live in a town like this. That'd be so nice. Like a, such a beautiful little town. Oh, is it? Oh, it's not open today. Aye, aye, aye. Yeah, are uh, you? Oh, chickens. Their chances of survival are getting lower every day. Uh, so let's. I still have two milks to cow. I still have two cows to milk. So let's go back to the farm. That uh, this art style reminds me of that one game. I think it's Witch Brook. Can't wait for that one. Yeah. Well, Witch Brook is pixel art, right? But it has it's kind of like isometric. Yeah, I think I can see the similarity, but it's pretty different too, right? They're both isometric. 
And I guess the kind of like European style building too is kind of similar. Like kind of like European town. I missed Harvest Moon 64. Alex, you missed it. Yeah, you make 64, Super Nintendo, Olive Town, Mineral Town. Oh, my horse. I forgot I had a horse. Johnny. The horse animation is so much better than the in the Wonderful Life remake. In the Wonderful Life remake, that's one thing that, that looks kind of weird, like the horse animation. Alright, we got our milk. At least our cows are not sick. Because the cows are expensive, so... Okay, I'm gonna buy... I'm gonna see if I can buy seeds because I think the general store... I don't know if it's gonna be open on Sunday, so let me buy seeds today. The animations in Wonderful Life can be a bit floaty. Yeah, exactly. Oh my gosh, there's a lot. There's a lot of seeds. Alright, so let's buy... So I'm gonna buy 24 of each how many one two three at least five different let me just buy 24 of each and then i'll figure things out and then flowers I think I'm fine for flowers and then fertilizers. Nah, I'm fine. The horse in a wonderful life remakes uh, remake looks weirdly proportion. Oh, I didn't notice anything with the proportion, but maybe that maybe that's part of why it looks a little bit odd. I feel like it doesn't look as good as the horse in the original game. I also hate having to forcefully whistle my horse in the wonderful life when he sleeps. Yeah, true. You always have to wake him up. Yeah, that is kind of annoying. Oh, that is nice. I forgot you could plant as many seeds at once. Yeah, I love that. I don't know why though the clouds didn't work today. I don't know if it's just because there was nothing planted. I forgot how they work. I'm glad they added the whistle in this one. Couldn't wait. Could stand waiting for him to wake up in the old game. You mean in the original Wonderful Life? I'm pretty sure there was the whistle as well, right? Maybe he didn't wake it up, though. I'm not too sure. Okay, let me water that before... Oh, yeah. I love how you can see your crops grow, right? Right when you water them. That is so satisfying. And some, like, growing overnight. They actually grow when you water them. The whistle to put you on your horse, I don't recall that happening. Yeah, I mean the whistle to summon your horse. Yeah, I'm pretty sure in the original Wonderful Life. Maybe not. I'm pretty sure there was a whistle. Gonna be cooking dinner and mostly lurking for the rest of the stream. Cozy, thank you so much. Enjoy your dinner. So if I want to see my stamp, I think if I press, uh, if you look in the menu. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 25. I think it consumes one stamina per tile. So I think I'll do that. Is it one per tile? 
Yeah, so I uh, should be able to finish that and then tomorrow we should be able to plant our other seeds. I thought there was a whistle that would make it run to you but not just teleport on your, uh, your butt like the new game. Oh, maybe it doesn't. I'm not I'm not sure of the... But there was definitely a whistle though. I'm not sure if it teleported it or not. Yeah, I'm not sure about that actually. All right, let's sleep. Let's not pass out twice in a row. I think it's until co gold, it will only use four stamina after watering a three by three tile. Oh, nice. Oh, so it's like one stamina per charge, right? Okay, and the clouds work today. So yeah, for the cloud to work, you need to actually have something planted. Okay, I need to be careful here because I have... I tilt the soil a little bit too much. Alright, spinach and then eggplant. You know what? Let's do pepper. Green peppers. I'll be right back in one minute. I just need to blow my nose. Sorry. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. I hope I'm not getting sick. I've been feeling like... Yeah. Let's see, we'll have to see. I know a lot of people are getting sick recently, so hopefully I'm not, hopefully I'm not one of them. This song reminds me of some of the music in Coral Island. Yeah, it's so chill. And I don't know if it reminds me of Coral Island, but it is. It is very nice music. I hope you're not getting whatever is going around this season. I hope not. Especially as I'm going to see my family in a few days, so I don't want to get everybody sick. Hi Josh, just stopping by before going to work. We'll definitely watch the archive after work. Pika, thank you so much. Have a good day at work. I don't know if it's the... I put like a random track. I want to put some autumn music. Oh, autumn sun. What about autumn moon? Ooh, even more chill. Oh, the grass is dead. I think the grass... Like, this one is doing fine. But not this one. I think I need... The, maybe because I took too long before harvesting it. Yeah, because if you don't harvest it, it doesn't get watered. So I think because it didn't get watered for a few days... It died. Well, um, I'm thinking. Yeah, I'm gonna put my eggplants here. Taking a break from gaming now so I can watch, uh, chill watching the stream. Nice. That's a weird mechanic. Yeah. I wish it. I wish the clouds would just water no matter what. But yeah, I'm pretty sure. Because they just dry, right? If they don't get watered for a few days. I'm weird, but I'm really fond of Tree of Tranquility. You add these bundles that unlock different areas. I think a lot of people like Tree of Tranquility. Usually most people like Animal Parade more. But I don't think that's weird. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Careful with this time and Yeah, we're getting... I think I'm gonna take a little nap right too, yeah. Thanks for the reminder. Let's take a little nap. I forgot. Yeah, okay, nap. Let's take a nap until 5 p.m. Then we'll take of our take care of our animals after that. Okay, how much stamina? 68. Okay, so we should be okay to like water this. I get so confused with the controls because they're so different than like Olive Town and um Mineral Town and Olive Town, which I've just played. Because in those games you used Y to use your tools, but in this one you use A. A. <laughs> That's why he's always saying A. And yeah, we'll take care of our animals. Oh, a baby Fluffy was born. Let's choose a name. Oh, how should we name? How should we name our baby Fluffy? How should we name our new sheep? I thought Y is used to use the tools on the switch. No, it's Y on the other, all of the other Star of Seasons game except Doraemon. Yeah, and I have to blow my nose again, sorry. Okay, sorry. Um, Dolly, Iana, Kashmir. Oh, Kashmir is cute. Cirrus. I always name my ship Lilo or Luna. I remember Animal Parade took a long time to run to town. Unlocking the fast travel was such a huge achievement, it felt good. It's why even on Doraemon Story of Seasons. Oh, so maybe they streamlined it after that. So maybe this game is the only one that was kind of weird. Uh, Dolly is kind of cute. Let's do that. Yeah. All right. So we've got Dolly, Mumu, Fluffy. When they said there's a new Fluffy, I thought it was just like a cute way of saying sheep, but that's actually the name of the, the mom. Momo. Lily. And Debbie. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, they've got enough food. Now let's just milk them. Dolly super it's a really cute name, yeah. I love how milking the animals and everything is like super quick. Oops. I wanna take the the, sh the wool. Things are really spaced out in Animal Parade, so when you got fast travel the ability to ride animals it helps so much. Yeah, I really wanna play Animal Parade. I love that you could ride most animals in Animal Parade. Yeah, wasn't there like an ostrich and everything? Like a huge variety, right? All right, I'm kind of scared of seeing my chickens. Ay, 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 I'm so sorry, guys. Okay. Has anyone else seen uh, what Sean the sheep and named some of my sheep Sean? I think I've I know who you're talking about, but I've never I'm not familiar with it. Doing the horse race, riding a sheep. Oh yeah, even in the festivals. That is so fun. Yeah, I really need to play it.
My house is so empty. I just have like my little futon. And like... Some trophies. Alright, so today I don't have to worry about my crops. So that is good. I should brush my sheep. Uh, my horse. Little Johnny. I really like the silkworms too. Yeah, so many animals. Sometimes it can be overwhelming in some games though when you have like too many animals. Wasn't there in Magical Melody, did you have silkworms in Magical Melody? I feel like there was... I know there was a pig that could find like truffles and stuff. I forgot if there was another one. I feel like there was one more thing in Magical. Nothing magical melody. Okay. What was... I feel like there was a special... Maybe I'm misremembering. Truffles? Never seen it either. Really? Wasn't the pig finding truffles? What was the pig doing? I got Friends of the Great Kingdom on sale, but I haven't been able to play it. This makes me want to play it. You should play it. Honestly, it's so fun. It's gonna be such a fun game to play during the holidays. My pig never found any. I think it was just the finding truffles. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the pig, yeah, was finding truffles, right? I'm not, I'm not crazy, right? To be fair, the inventory tool infinite wheel seems less convenient in opening and closing the menu in 64. Yeah, honestly, it can be a lot. Like, yeah, it can be. A lot, but you can also open it. Like you can open it. Oh no, actually. Uh, select. Yeah, you can't hold. Yeah, you do have to go through the wheel actually. I mean, like for a lot of things, you can also just do this. All right, what should we do today? Maybe we should do one last day. Yeah, one last day, and then we'll play Friends of the Great Kingdom. You basically had to hold space around certain trees and fall. Then when the spot became untilled, you took your pick there to find... Oh, I remember. I know I, I did get some truffles, but I didn't remember like how I got them. So I guess I mostly probably got them kind of like by accident. Maybe save your chicken. Oh, yeah. Yeah, let me buy some medicine. Let me buy some medicine for them. My poor little chickens. And I think medicine is like over a thousand per potion per like drink. I think this might be it for me. See you, Josh and friends. Gotta sleep. Been awake since 4 a.m. I will rewatch this later. Miki, have a good night. Have a good night. Take care. Two K per potion at the clinic. Yeah, that's expensive. Like, it's is it more expensive than a chicken? I think I may just have to let my chickens get taken from me. Oh, Mickey gifted one membership. Thank you so much. So many new members today. Uh, where's the chicken shop? Azalea, congrats. Oh, yeah, here. No, Henson's... Wait. I forgot where you buy... Oh, no. Wait. I forgot where you buy chickens. Oh, right here. Wasn't I? No, I guess. No, yeah. Never mind. All right. Care to check out <laughs> some of our best hands. Okay, chicken is 2,000. Okay, let's see. If the potion is more than 2,000, that's a really bad game design. Because there's no point in saving the chickens. I think the doctor on here has an actual... Yeah, he does have a name. It's only in Back to Nature and Olive Town that he... Uh, 
Back to nature in Mineral Town. That he doesn't have a name. Let's see. Regis. Yeah, his name is Regis. Uh, what's the schedule for this? What's happening? Oh, maybe I need to speak with him. Wait. What is there, like... Working hours. Don't tell me it's closed on Monday. Those schedules are complicated. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday. So they're closed three days a week, but Monday is open at least. Like, that's a clinic, but... Okay, 10 a.m. noon. And then 2 to 5. Okay, now it's 10. Okay, so it should be open now. Oh, yes, okay. Animal meds. Honestly, it's not worth it. Like, it's 1,200. I'm gonna buy one. And if, if I can save one of them, but because the thing in this game is that I know one time I tried to save a sheep and I had to give him so many medicines so I don't have the chickens just one medicine is gonna be enough but if you need to use more than one medicine like it's not worth it if you get sick outside of those two hour windows I guess that's your problem yeah right you would think a clinic would be open like like, they have, like, a very small schedule. Okay. Very tight schedule. Okay. Narrow schedule. I don't know. I don't know what's the right word. Anyway. Uh, give cure. Okay, let's try to save this one. Omelette. So, let's see if omelette is doing better tomorrow. Let me give them some food so not more of them get sick. And I'm gonna have to buy some chicken feed very soon. Save the baby. Well, the baby is... Not making eggs on for so he's the he's the cutest one. Like in real life, I would save the baby first, but he's not making money like the other ones. I hope you'll have some snow for the holidays, man. Here in Montreal, it's just been rain and slush. The only thing that put me in the holidays mood is that it's winter in my save of harvest moon. I said yes. Right? It's crazy. We're like halfway through December and we had like one old snowfall. If you don't have snow in Montreal, we're probably not gonna get a snow, but... Yeah, we've had like one old snowfall, but it didn't stay at all. Um, yeah, it's kind of weird that there's no snow. I'm going to Ottawa for the Christmas and stuff, so maybe... There's a higher chance of having snow there, but still. Yeah. And I'm here saying, please don't give me snow. Then again, I don't want to work on Christmas again. Why don't you want snow? Oh, we had a dust thing today in Ottawa, but now it's melting. Oh, I see. Today was really cold here. I don't know how much way it was pretty cold when I went outside. But yeah, no no rain. It was actually raining yesterday, I think. But it was not cold. But today is cold, but there's no more precipitation. So it, we, didn't, like, it, we didn't get snow, right? Uh, what am I looking for? I forgot. Uh, but let's just sleep. Uh, let's just sleep and play Friends of the Great Kingdom. And I just want to see if my chicken feels... I don't, I, want to, I want to know... I want to see if omelette feels better. So I'm just going to sleep. And check on omelette. I'm working Christmas Day and it's supposed to be six, 15 degrees here. That's warm for like a Christmas day. Nothing to process crops though, just sell them raw. Uh, you have other makers and stuff later in game, but they're really expensive. Like I have a seed maker here. I think there are other... Oops, I didn't mean to do that. There's like, as you can see, there's like six different makers in total. Uh, 
but they're all like so expensive to unlock. It's kind of crazy that I played this game for 45 hours and I feel like I have, I have so many things like that I've yet to unlock. Yeah, omelette is still sick. So like the chicken costs 2,000. Medicine is 1,200 and like you need to give them more than one medicine. So that's kind of weird. Uh, so it's not worth healing them. Unfortunately, as sad as it is. So I'm going to save. And we're gonna play Story of Seasons. Don't I want Story of Seasons, Friends of the Great Kingdom next? So as you can see, it's gonna be a big improvement over this one. Apparently there's a whale in this. Yeah, there is a whale. Uh, if you go in the cave, there. well, it's a beluga, but yes. Rest in peace, chickens. I've seen chat for Josh chicken. Yeah, it's, I always lose my chickens. Like in Harvest Moon 64, the first time I streamed it, and I forgot to look at the weather, and like, there was a typhoon, and we lost all six chickens. That is sad, but it's life. Can you sell them? I don't think you can sell the sick animals, unfortunately. 22 hours in this game, and I feel like I made more progress. I am still, still have stuff to do with the main story, but... So this game is better in every way, though. Yeah. I've lost all my cows, sheep, and chickens from a typhoon before. That's so brutal. All six, just shame on you. Yeah, well, they were all outside. So if they're outside on a typhoon, like, you can't go out. You can't rescue them, right? They just die. I'm still in spring 18, year 1, in 55 hours? How is that possible? How is that even possible? That would mean you spend more... Wait. 55 divided by 18. How did you... How do you even do that? So you spend 3 hours per day? In this game? Because I also reloaded saves. Oh, I see. Yeah, because I don't see <laughs> how you can spend three hours per day. That's so. That's a lot. I was gifted both the Doraemon games and I've really progressed very far in either of them because I have so many other games on. Yeah. Honestly, if you if you um, don't have too much time, I would say just play the second one. All right, so this is my farm. I didn't start decorating too much. But, yeah, got a little dog, Vanilla, Mary, Wooly, I know I can talk with the cow. Yeah, in this one I have the items here, and then I press ZR. And then I have my other, my tools. And yeah, it is Y for the tools in this one. So they, they, they change the controls. There's a robot follow. Yeah, in this game, so one of the features, which is pretty amazing. Uh, you have little friends. So you live with your friends. You have like a bunch of little roommates. And they follow you, so when you gather resources, or harvest crops, or water crops, they actually help you, and there's also local co-op. So you can really play with, like, you can play with someone in co-op, right? And they can take control of the second character. So, like, for example, if I fish, he will fish and help me. And you can choose which companion, but I like the robot, because he's cute. Oh, the backpack is full, so he's not going to help me. Uh, so let's open the storage box. So as you can see, the game, like, overall looks very similar. Looks very, very similar to the first game, but there's just so many, like, low quality of life improvements. But I feel like it's also unbalanced, because in this one, it's, like, 
too easy to make money and too easy to get everything. Uh, I think the best way to make money is by fishing. Actually, you can just fish here and make a lot of money. I have to, sadly, I have to head off for now. I hope you have fun. I hope you have fun. Have a happy holidays. Morgan, thank you so much. Happy holidays to you as well. So when your friend gets something, it's going to go in your inventory. That little bro, oh my gosh, she's dancing. He's so cute. He only fishes once, like every time you throw her a line. So if he gets the fish before you, you'll have to like catch a fish and then he's gonna fish again. So now he's gonna fish again. A harvest elastic sequel would be fun. That would be fun, yeah. I would love that. Maybe in the next direct. What game is next? I had to leave for a bit. So now this is... Uh, we just finished playing Doraemon... Uh, Star oh, sorry. <laughs> Doraemon Star of Seasons. Now we're playing Star of Season Doraemon Star of Seasons Friend of the Great Kingdom. And then after that, we're going to be playing... Um... A Wonderful Life. Yeah, so you can make like a good amount of money with the uh, fish. Okay, let's check up on our chickens. I have all my animals outside in this game, but I forgot. I think you still need to feed them. Yeah, you still need... I remember I watched my... Actually, I watched my tips video earlier today. Earlier, actually yesterday. Because I didn't remember. But I remember I said that you, you can bring your animals outside. And it's going to improve their coat for like... For the festival. So they, li they really like being outside. But... Um... They won't find food outside, so you still have to put the, the food inside. What is that? Oh, insert corn to get chicken. Oh, yeah. To get chicken feed. Alright. Shall we go to town? Let's check out the different shops and everything. Oh, I think that's a DLC outfit or something I give. Yeah, one thing that's a really big improvement in this game is that you can see all of your quests. So as you can say, and so same in the first game, well, you couldn't see it, but to progress in the quest, you have to like make friends with everybody. So if you play this game, whether this one or the remake, make sure you like always talk with everyone. Yeah, there's like so many different quests. Like there's really a lot. But for now, I need to just, like, get, get closer to everybody. Yeah, there's a... Yeah. You got little sprites that can help you. I think I just discovered the sprites in this one. I got a question, everyone. Me and my sister wants to play Wonderful Life together. She's got a Switch. I have an Xbox Series Z. Series X. Is it the exact same game? It is the same game, yes. There's no difference. One thing I love about this game is that you can visit other people's farms. That's a really nice feature. Bit laggy on the Switch, though. I found that Wonderful Life runs pretty well on the Switch. No? Let's check out Jessica's farm. Ooh. So you can get some inspiration 
So as you can see, she's just like growing a bunch of trees. Some crops. It's not really like decorated, decorated. Let's try to find like a nice looking. Let's find a random one. Babic. 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 Oh, see, that's more interesting. Oh, look at that big house. Yeah, nice fences, nice plats. Ooh, big statues. Yeah, so you have like pretty big fields that you can decorate. But yeah, most of the, I'm assuming a pretty good. I'm assuming the, those trees are probably a good way of making money because they have a lot. Yeah, this one there's not much. Okay, let's check one last. Let's check Ayadaiski. Cool feature. It's a really nice feature. I wish you could have done that in Olive Town. Oh, this one doesn't. I don't know where everybody has these big inflatable characters. I don't have those. Like, even if they have nothing, they have those. But I don't think I have them. Oh, let's see if there's some requests on the bulletin board. Request list. Um, Give Big G three normal wood. I can do that. Give Granny Smith two loquat. I can do that. Iron ore. Thread cell. File fish. Okay, so let's give three normal wood to Big G. Honestly, there's so much to do in this game with, like, all of the quests and everything. Uh, so let's do that. Oh, yeah, I have the human locomotive. That tool is so useful. It's really cute. But, yeah, it allows you to just run extremely fast. I have those balloons. It must be part of the deluxe version. Yeah, I thought I had the deluxe version. Maybe not. I want to play Sunhaven so bad. Even if it is overwhelming, it looks... It is really fun. Yeah, it can be a little bit overwhelming. But overall, though, it's such a fun game. I just wish they I just wish there was like just one city. Honestly. Okay, I'm looking for a cuttable uh, tree that I can cut to get some wood for that guy. Does he have an exhaust pipe on his head? Yeah, that's the human locomotive. He's old train, old train guy. Yeah, that's what I was saying earlier. I love this game because sometimes you get like different camera angles in certain areas. Okay, I can't find any trees. I Maybe I cut everything. Maybe I need wood to wait for them to grow back. You know what? Let me just go home. Let me get some wood from my chest. Because I'm pretty sure I do have. Another area on Sunhaven. Yeah, they're adding even in one. I saw that they're adding. They're going to be adding one more area to Sunhaven. I feel like that's one thing they're. I feel like they should. Maybe polish or like improve. Even though the game does feel pretty polished. But before adding. I feel like the game doesn't need more content. Right? I feel like it has so much content already. I feel like... Maybe they could add, like, I don't know, like, furniture or something. But, like, I feel like adding a new area is kind of much. But... It's kind of weird to complain that there's too much in the game, but there's really, like, a lot of stuff in that game. And it's hard to keep up, keep up with everything. Uh, so, I'm gonna... Uh, normal wood, right? Let 
gonna make with that corn, I think I can make some chicken feed. Oh, it's instant. Okay, uh, okay, so let me go see Big G, right? Oops. Uh, Big G. I love that you can see where everybody is on the map. Chitter Chirp. Chitter Chirp Woods. This one feels so much better compared to the first one. Honestly, everything is much better in this one. I'm happy that the genre is getting more love, but the quality of full games is a little lacking. Yeah, I agree. Not every, like, I did my tier list recently of, like, all the, oops, all the games that I played this year. And, like, there's a few, like, really good games, but a lot of games have been also kind of disappointing. The train exhaust is faster than the horse. Yeah, once you get it, there's not too much use to the horse after that. Wait. Uh. Wait, why is he... Oh, you need to go to the ball ten. Sorry, it's been a while since I played this game. I think I, you need to just go to the ball ten board when you... Um, when you finish your request. Hold the item to give. Well, I think. Oh, I abandoned the request. But that's it, because when I was talking with him, I don't know. Check request. Keep request. Oops, nope. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay, yeah, you just give it like this. Okay. Okay, I just forgot how it worked. All right, so that is done. Another request is two Loquats, two Iron Ore to Ghidori. I'm tiptoeing Coral Island because I want to fill the whole experience and I feel it isn't there yet. Yeah, for me, Coral Island, I'm gonna wait until like... Until everything is there to go back to the game. Because right now, I'm at the point where I want to decorate my farm and everything, but there's like so many little bugs that are annoying me. Especially with like the sheds and everything. So I'm just kind of waiting a little bit. All right, Ghidori. Um, I like too that in the new, like in the Friends of the Great Kingdom, like the menus are all together. Whereas in the first game, you had like different menus. There's like one menu for like your stats, one menu for your inventory. Um, anyway, uh, Ghidori, 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 where is he? Oh, he's in the mine. Maybe we can do a bit of mining at the same time while we're there. Oh, why he's in this one? Oh, because you can't teleport there. Okay. So he should be here. Alright, let's do a bit of mining while we're here. So as you can see, it's a lot better than the first game because you've got your little friend helping you, right? So you, you mine literally twice as fast. Well, not too, well, a little bit faster. He's not as fast as you, but he's still pretty efficient. And of course, you get more materials. And everything costs less materials, so. That's 
pretty good. Uh, do you gain friendship with whoever you bring with you that day? You don't get friendship for that. Uh, so it, it really doesn't matter which character you bring with you because they're all like... They're all pretty much the same and yeah, you don't get bonus friendships with them. I feel like a lot of full release games feel incomplete during my experience. Yeah. Especially like a lot of indie games. Because a lot of them do like early access and stuff or they're just on Steam. And like, I feel like a lot of games, even if they're on Steam, sometimes a lot of them will r release and then like fix a lot of things later on. And maybe with a lot of indie games, maybe they don't have a... Like, maybe they need more money to, like, finish the development. Whereas with bigger games, like Story of Seasons... Well, Out of Town was a little bit different because there were lots of issues, but they fixed them after. But, like, with bigger games like Harvestella or, like, Story of Seasons, they... Like, usually it's pretty safe to say that they will feel complete right at launch, right? But with indie games, it's more, like, hit or miss. More and more games companies are interested in making money and not worry about content. They just want the money. Yeah, well, they're companies, right? That's the <laughs> that's their purpose. But I feel like, yeah, there's still there's still lots of great games, but there's a lot of like the quality is not there. And I'm sure sometimes, even though the developers do their best. Sometimes maybe they have like a really tight schedule and like they have to release the date by a certain time because of their publisher or like their investors or anyone who wants like sometimes they have some external pressures right to release a game on a certain time even though they still want to work on it more. So it's not necessarily like the developer's fault but the problem with Harvestella it is more it's act, more action game than farming it feels like the farming was an afterthought. For me, I hear that a lot, but for me, I thought that the farming was really well integrated with the game. Because cooking is so important in Harvestella. Because if you don't cook, you're always going to run out of energy and like health. And like so many quests require you to cook. So I don't know, I found that the farming was really well integrated with the rest of the game. But it's not for everybody though. It's not because it, it is definitely more action oriented, kind of like Rune Factory, but a little bit more than Rune Factory, even. All right, let's go to bed. Catch that butterfly. Yeah. Not forget to like the stream if you haven't yet, guys. It's a free way to help. Yeah, almost 200. Already 225 likes. Maybe we can make it to 250 by the end of the stream. Yeah. Oh, I think we're getting a little cutscene. What's happening? Hey, Nobi, get a load of this. Are these costumes or something? These outfits look like bugs. Because they're supposed to. I made some special bug team outfits all by myself. So I think these are from some kind of DLC. Bet you've never seen anything so unique and fashionable in your whole life. Definitely never seen anything like this before. Uh, mind if I borrow this for a bit? You like it that much. Maybe you've got a better eye than I give you credit for. So let's go see if we can change our outfit. Yeah. Let's go change our outfits. Because there's a bunch of DLC for this game. I've not uh, looked too much into the DLC. Because a lot of them released after I stopped playing. This game looks fun. I'll have to pick it up for Switch or Steam. Probably Steam for the achievements. Yeah. The thing is, that's nice. Is that it runs well on the Switch. So it's not like a performance problem. Like some of the games. But yeah, if you want the achievements, you can pick it up on Steam. 
Uh, we get around our job. We'll have those ruins uncovered in no time. I can't believe you can carry so many stones at once. It's amazing. Hmm, something wrong? I offered him a yummy bun, but he didn't want one. He says he prefers meat. Oh, yeah, I think they're trying to make friends with Ghidori. Ha ha ha. I was worried when Ghidori first moved in, but it looks like it will be fine. He'll be fine. Oh, there he is. Ah, oh, that stupid Gugmir always treating me like I'm dumb. What's the matter? So, honestly, I don't remember. It's been a while since I played, so I don't remember what's happening exactly. Gugmir is making fun of me again. I've had it with him. What did Gug Gugmir do? So, I remember that guy was living with the blacksmith, and he was always fighting with him. So, then he moved out, and then he moved in with us. But he's always, like, angry at everybody. You said something like that once before, too, didn't you? How did he make fun of you? He said I should stop searching for the ruins. That looking for things that might not be real was a waste. Ruins? Ghidorah is trying to find the ancient ruins that are somewhere in the mines. Oh, I remember you mentioning that. Wow, I didn't know there was a place like that. Why do you want to find it so bad? It was my father's dream to find the ruins one day. He would toil away in the mines, always hoping to discover them. But then he died before he could fulfill his dream. Sorry, but then he died before he could fulfill his dream. So I'm gonna find them for him. Ah, uh, so you're doing it for your dad, and now I get why you want to find them so so badly. Exactly, I want to prove the ruins exist to tell my dad I was the one who found them. But Gidal and Gugmir are awful. They say it's only a story. They say there can't be any ruins under the mines. I don't think they're trying to be mean or make fun of you, though. What's that? If you have a problem, just spit it out. They must be convinced it's true, that it's only a story. How would they know? My dad said they were real. Me and my dad have been searching for a long time. Anyway, they're looking for... So, they're, keep in mind, there's lots of dialogues in this game. It is kind of interesting. Uh, but just for the sake of the stream, to like... <laughs> I'm not going to read everything. But, yeah, there's definitely a lot more story in this game. Uh, yes, Mike, this is the second story of Seasons Games. And welcome back. Welcome back. Um, which games have you played already? Yes, everybody said we're now the, in the video description, in the stream description. There's a list of all the games. So right now we're at Doraemon Story of Seasons: Friends of the Great Kingdom, and after that we're gonna play A Wonderful Life. <laughs> all right, so he's gonna make a gadget to help us find the ruins. He's gonna work on that. Yeah, that's one thing that's nice in this game, like everybody eats. And if you go at the right time, which I think is now. Yeah, you can eat it with everybody together. And oh see it replenishes, you, you get a few, you get a little bit of stamina. And we have 230 likes, yes. Well, 230 ones, yes. I didn't know anything. Yeah, you don't need to know about Doraemon to enjoy this game. I don't know much about Doraemon, and I'm really enjoying it. So, honestly, it is a lot of fun. Okay, uh, okay, I forgot how to... Oh, yeah, I think it's with the camera. It's like lots of weird gadgets, but yeah, it's the camera to change your outfit. So, a lot of these are... I think this one, Natura Garb. If you have the save file for the, from the first game, you get this one. Uh, the other ones, I think a lot of them are DLC. Okay, let's do the little honeybee because that's cute. And you can change the other people too, right? I missed five hours of the stream. Yeah, you can always rewatch later. Oh, everybody, Ladybug for Doraemon, Butterfly for Sue, Rhino Beetle for Big G, Grasshopper for Sneech. Yeah, I love how you can change like everybody's outfit. Just Pip, a little robot that unfortunately doesn't have any, any outfits. Poor little guy. Okay, let's sleep. It's getting late. I love the transition. I love how there's no loading screen when you go up. It's just like a fades. 
That was a long day, right? We've just played one day in like 30 minutes. Uh, YouTube started me at 144p, supposedly higher picture quality again. Yeah, it does that often with streams, right? You have to bring it up by yourself. I can't tell you how many times I rewatched the Fashion Dreamer stream. It's like one of my favorite cozy streams. Oh, that's so nice to hear. Yeah, it's, I always have so much fun playing Fashion Dreamer. Those streams are not for everyone, though. <laughs> I know that. But I'm glad you enjoy them. Uh, oh. We have another little quest thingy. Which Doraemon game is... This is Friends of the Great Kingdom. Uh, no B, look at what I made. Oh, we got animal outfit. So yeah, I think they're all DLC. So I think that's why like every time I talk with someone... Can I skip? Yeah. Maybe I should wear my little bear outfit. I have an exten extension that forces the highest quality on a YouTube video because I got sick of changing it manually. Oh, that's that's useful. Yeah, let's check our new outfits. Let me let me chat with everybody. Uh, just cause I feel like I think I talked with everybody though. You just changed into a B outfit. Yeah, but I didn't think I was gonna unlock horse costume. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. Horse. I'll, oh my gosh, Doraemon. That's your new outfit. A little alpaca Doraemon. Oh, <laughs> that is lovely. And Sue, sheep, chicken. Chick. These are so much cuter than the like the Mineral Town. You know, like Mineral Town has a lot of like animal costumes, but these ones are so much cuter. I think I'm, I like the bee though for this one. Um, Doraemon is so cute in, with the alpaca. What about Sue? I want to give her something nice. Now she's wearing the Tropical Resort one. We're still in summer. Should I? Jane. Let's make Big G into a chicken. I like Sue's winter out Yeah, I love the winter outfits. It's nice to have like... This is, I feel like in most farming games, you always have the same outfit all year long and it's like winter and you're running with your little overalls and your t-shirt. So it's been nice to have like a proper, proper winter outfit. Oh, let me get a friend. Let me get. Um. Oh yeah, this guy. Oh yeah, he can make the makers, and he can also make large seeds. So in this game, he can grow like giant seeds, yeah. giant crops. Seed maker. Can I do it? <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Yay. As the name suggests, it's used for creating seeds. All you have to do is put a crop in and pop and out pop the appropriate <laughs> seeds. Even though it's called the seed maker, it also make fruit tree saplings out of fruits. <laughs> Using higher quality fruit results in higher quality saplings. Putting in one crop produces three seeds, so it's useful for growing lots of high quality crops. Ah, oh, that's nice. Remember, you can't put in things that you picked up in the forest or up in the mountains. You'll get the hang of it as you go. Nice. And it's the same, it keeps the same quality, right? So you can fertilize, get higher quality crops, and then higher quality seeds. So that is pretty. Pretty nice. In all fairness, has anybody ever done hard work in the winter? You end up wanting the coat off. That is true, though. I, that <laughs> that is true. You do get hot. But like, if you're just walking around town and stuff, though. Uh, should we make some corn seeds? 
I don't know if corn grows in fall or if it's just in summer in this game. I guess we will find out. Winter is a time for snuggle up, snuggling up in blankets and drinking cocoa, not for hard labor. Yeah. Unfortunately, that's not the case for everyone. Some people do have to work. Like, even right now, like, I was taking a walk outside today. And, like, there was... It was pretty cool. There was, like, people working in, like, construction and stuff. It must be so hard when it's, like, kind of cold. Um... Okay, so... Oh, summer crop. Okay, so I'm not going to be able to plant corn. Anyway, let's put stuff away. Let's put stuff in storage. I got winter depression. I can't wait for spring already. Oh, <laughs> winter didn't even start technically yet. We still have a long wait. I love winter though. I love it for a little bit. Uh, do you have a material shack yet? I think I do. Oh, no, I don't. But it doesn't make a difference because it all goes in the same place. Oh, yeah, I have a giant crop here. I forgot to water it. Is it wet? I think it's wet, right? Still. Oh, no. Oh my gosh, I almost... Every time I tried growing a giant crop, I just forgot about it because it's kind of far. I like, I never see it. It's like out of my vision and I forget about it. We only got our first decent snow yesterday. Yeah, I haven't got too much snow here. Gotta make sure you still get your sunlight and vitamin D in the winter. Yeah, that's important. Hey, Josh and chat, I've been lurking, but yes, by 4 p.m. it's already dark out. Yeah, it gets dark pretty early now. Ooh, even more corn. The corn is not re-harvestable in this game, right? You just get it once. I think. Oh, maybe it's the second time I'm harvesting it. I'm not too sure. Alright, what should we do today? Let's take a look at... Our quest, two loquat and two thread sail file fish. I wonder where you get the thread sail file fish. Should we go to the beach? I feel like it would be an all ocean ocean fish. Oh, it's not regrowable in this game. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's different in every game. Harvest Moon Classic still cool, but I hope they make drag and drop on farm. Oh, kind of like Farmville kind of style. Like more like point and click. Yeah, I don't know. I like the classic. I like the classic style. I'm not opposed to like something new though. If the game is fun. But I wonder if it would feel too much like kind of like a mobile game. This is so fun. I feel like having farming game friends with everyone here. Yeah, exactly. That's the whole point of this channel. Just have a big group of people who like farming games. It is so nice. It's been a really fun stream. Thank you so much, everyone. Every, everyone for being here. It's been so fun to play all of these games together. True, because the farm chores take a lot. Cost a lot of time, yeah. That's kind of one thing that I love about farming games, though. I, I love the grind. 
like they're relaxing, like watering all of your crops one by one. Uh, will you ever do ACNH stream? I used to stream Animal Crossing a lot, uh, like for the first year on my channel. Um, I have not done it in a while. Maybe like on a special occasion, it could be fun to like go back to it. So maybe maybe I could do like once in a while, but I don't cover that game too much um, on my channel anymore. But maybe maybe once in a while. I'm not saying no to a little Animal Crossing stream. Maybe someday. Go back to my island. My villagers must miss me so much. It's been a while. Carrots don't regrow. Corn doesn't all that much exactly either, but you get several ears from one plant. Yeah. Yeah, right. Doesn't regrow. Like tomatoes regrow, like peppers and stuff, but. But yeah, for sure, carrots they don't regrow because they're a root vegetable, right? So you want to pull it out, you pull it out, and that's pretty much it. You missed the fish? Yeah, I'm not paying attention. Sorry. <laughs> Did I get the thread sale file fish? Sea bass, con. Oh, yeah. I don't like con fish. But yeah, not the thread sale file fish. I really love the decorating in AC. I love the decorating. I'm looking forward to Fantasy Life now, though, for the next, like, big decorating game. Tomatoes and peppers definitely regrow. I'm overrun every time I put them in a garden. Yeah, that's what's nice though with those. Like last year, this year my garden was kind of messed up because like I went to France for like one week and when I came back, like things were not doing too well. But last year I had a lot of like, I grew a lot of like bell peppers and stuff. I want to have a bigger garden, like I have a balcony for like growing growing a few things, but I would love to have like a bigger I wanna have a big garden and like some chickens. Or maybe some ducks. I've heard that ducks I don't know the other day I was looking up like a farm animals. <laughs> but apparently ducks are better than chickens because they're not as loud and apparently they're not as like aggressive. They're more like calm. And apparently they lay eggs more often. So I'd love to have ch uh, ducks. But yeah, it's probably not gonna happen. <laughs> not gonna happen before like... I don't know if I can ever buy a house in it. Like, it's prob... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how that, that would happen, but I would love to have ducks eventually at one point in my life. I was just about to ask where you have a garden because I get the impression you live in an apartment. Yeah, I'm in an apartment. I have a balcony. Which is actually like a pretty good sized balcony for Toronto. Um, yeah, so I have like pots that I grow stuff in. Like it's not the best. Uh, yeah, you need like pretty deep pots for like certain things, right? Farm ducks are so cute in real life. Yeah, I'd love to have ducks and like... I wouldn't want to have like too many animals because it's a lot of work and I like like traveling and stuff like that But I'd love to have like little ducks and like maybe like one goat I saw apparently there's miniature cows Which like they remain small Forever and they're really really cute. <laughs> you should look up like miniature cows They are so cute But yeah, it's not gonna happen <laughs> But if it happens, I'll let you know. Uh, I get that the game is missing a few things and character interactions aren't that great, but it's still a solid entry. It's so good, honestly. My college had a big reflection pond in the spring with ducklings. It was awesome. That sounds so nice. All right. Let's get... Oh, actually, you can get uh, bottles, right? 
your friends can send you stuff. Alright. Nui, nui, nui. Got some flowers. Few. Softwood, thank you so much. Few. Ang, or carp, thank you. Moko Mama. Red Snapper, thank you. Christine. Cherry Blossom Branch, thank you so much. I don't even know where you get that Cherry Blossom Branch. Maybe it's a spring item. And we can send uh, we can send a little bottle as well. Let's send something to down. I don't know if down is still playing. Good evening. Uh have this. And uh, let's... Ooh, shark. Oh, that's actually pretty good. 1,000. Well, let's change this. Maybe... Reeled in this. Okay. All right. Down. You can go pick up... If you're watching, you can go pick up your shark. Real life people can send you stuff. Yeah, exactly. You can send to, like, real players. And if you have, like, Switch friends that are playing... You can send them stuff. So that's that's actually a really nice feature. And you can visit other people's farms as well. Like you cannot like actually play with them, but you can like see what their farm looks like. So this game has pretty interesting online features. I'm sorry, I just thought I could put good <laughs> good evening tool. Yeah, you can put like pretty yeah, you can make interesting combinations. Oh, there's a scorpion. Yeah. I love this multiplayer. Yeah, I want more Story of Seasons game to integrate. I feel like they're starting a little bit with this and like with Olive Town. Olive Town was like very, very minor, just seeing the people walking around and like in the photos in the loading screen. But they're starting to dabble into online. And it seems like they're might they're they may be working on the multiplayer game with like the second game that they teased right during the Marvelous Showcase. That sounds like it's gonna be kind of like online. So nice your friends are like just watering the crops. Um, yeah, I want to harvest that. I need to have too much stuff going on in my inventory. I wonder if that cherry blossom branch is good for like crafting or like or some furniture or something. Marvelous Direct. That Marvelous Showcase was so much fun. I wonder if they're going to do that every year. But I'm hoping that in the next Nintendo Direct, I'm hoping we get to see a little bit of the next Array of Seasons or Rune Factory games. You can use the branch in front. Yeah, okay, so I'm going to hold on to it. There is multiplayer in this game. Not really multi. Well, there is a local co-op. So if you have like two controllers, someone can control the second player. But it's not really multiplayer. It's just like online, like sending stuff to other people. Let's go mining for a little bit for the rest of the day. I'm too shy to play MMO, so that's why I'm not a big fan of that. Yeah, kind of like, I like MMOs, but I'm always so shy to <laughs> chat, talk with people in MMOs. Like, what if the other person doesn't want to, like, respond to you or something, right? What if you're, like, bothering them or something, right? It's always, always kind of hard. But I used to play a lot of MMOs, though. And I still like Pelia, but, like, I usually don't interact too much with like strangers i'm waiting for them to announce the next Nintendo console yeah hopefully next year right i've watched so many rumors apparently the next mario kart is going to be beautiful yeah i can't imagine mario kart is already 
Mario Kart 8 looks so great, so I can't imagine. It's gotta be a really style, really, really title, right? I feel like that, that would be so good to have like Mario Kart 9 or Mario Kart 10 or like whatever number or like whatever title. I feel like they're gonna name it something different. I don't know. Yeah, that would be a nice launch title. Yeah, right. I love how the characters get dirty, right, when they're mining. That's such a nice little detail. Okay, where's the rope? Why are we having such a hard time? Is it going to be the last one? Oh, no. Sometimes people on MMOs can be really rude or creepy. Yeah, that's true. So some game, like on Pin, yeah, I feel like people are really wholesome. Like I've seen, I've not in check, but I've seen like people in the chat and everything. It seems like people in Pin are pretty nice. People be wild these days. I don't think it's a modern... I feel like people always say, like, people nowadays. But I feel like there's always beer. There's always been weird people. And there will always be weird people. It's just that because... There's the internet. They're easier to see. But I don't think... I don't think weird people are, are something new. Apparently, the next Mario Kart is Mario Kart X. Mario Kart 9 was the home camera game. I don't remember. Oh, yeah. Mario Kart Lie. Uh, yeah, I did. Yeah, I know which one you're talking about. I don't know. It's kind of weird. Mario Kart X. I don't know. And like, I don't know. At least they're not calling it uh, like... I didn't like how they did like Mortal Kombat 1. Like, after all the Mortal Kombat games, like, they go back to one. I'm glad they're not going to one. But, I don't know, the numbers are confused. They should, I don't know. I wish they'd give it, like, I like when they give them, like, different names. Like, Mario Kart 64, uh, Mario Kart Double Dash, or Mario Kart something. Oh, the rope was already there. Oh. Well, it's okay. <laughs> no big deal. Well, I'm just... I'm not too bothered. I'm just like... Yeah, I didn't realize. That confused the heck out of me with Mortal Kombat 1. I thought it was a remake. Right? Isn't it? Like, what's... The meaning of numbers? Like... <laughs> like, you could call it Mortal Kombat 36 and it would be the same meaning. Like, it doesn't mean anything at that point. I don't know, it's kind of weird. I understand it's hard when you have like a series that... I like Final Fantasy because they're like consistent with their numbers, right? Like they don't just like jump around randomly. Like Dragon Quest is also like consistent with their number. They don't like... Sometimes they have spin-offs and things like that. But overall, they, they don't skip numbers, right? I always feel self-conscious when I play MMOs because it feels like all the other players are watching and judging how I'm playing again. Oh, I don't think so. I feel like people are mostly minding their own business. But I can't get how that can feel like that, though. It's like in real life, right? Sometimes you think you're, like, being judged. But I like subtitles better than numbers myself. Yeah. And yeah, exactly. And when you have a long-lasting series, like, can you imagine if Story of Seasons did numbers? We would be at, like, Story of Seasons 27. I don't know how many. Like, it would be confusing, right? I think there's at least 25. 20? I don't know. I forgot how many games there are, but there's a lot. I like that everyone... It's already confusing enough with, like, Harvest Moon and, like, Story of Seasons. If there were numbers and all of that, and it would be, like, Harvest Moon 10 and then Story of Seasons 1. It would be so confusing, right? I'm not bothered in online interactions that don't know me from anybody. Yeah, exactly. Weed from fishing. Oh, boy. Reload. Save. Wow, that, that's extreme. <laughs> I don't mind it. I think our FF2 is FF3 in Japan. Yeah, the first Final Fantasy games are kind of messed up because they released in Japan and not in the West. So I, 
I always forget the numbers. But the yeah, the first few Final Fantasies are a little bit messed up. Um, but after that, everything's normal. Okay, I'm not getting too much fish. All right, I think I'm gonna save. Uh, it's gonna be time to check a wonderful life. Uh, could, good point on Harvest Moon 10 to Story of Seasons 1. I already don't like that the first Story of Seasons lacking subtitle. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's one little pet peeve of mine too. It's been brought up in at least two str I know we always end up talking about that. Yeah, because you say Story of Seasons. And then people think you're talking about the 3DS game, but you're talking about like the, the, se the series as a whole. And then people say the first story of seasons. When I hear, for me, when I hear first story of seasons, I think of the first game in the series. So I, I think about like Harvest Moon on the Super Nintendo. And sometimes I don't know if people know. Anyway, it's just confusing. Anyway, uh, let's save. Uh, write diary entry. All right, so we're going to be playing Star of Seasons. Speaking of that, A Wonderful Life. And I'm looking for, I have so many Star of Seasons cartridges everywhere. Oh, I found it. I found it here. So we're going to be playing, I, I think, you know what? I think I have this one digitally. Now that I'm talking about, thinking about it. Final Fantasy was just a confusing series for me. That's why I stick to Kingdom Hearts. The numbers in Kingdom Hearts, though, are they not confusing? Like 1.5, 0.3, point X, point... Okay, not that much, but there's... I feel like the numbers in King... There's like Kingdom Hearts, 1, 2, 3, 4. Is there 4? And then you've got like 1.5 and like 3. Is there like a 3.58? It's like the most confusing series. <laughs> it's the most confusing. How? Way more than Final Fantasy. Pokemon is weird because they have generations that are based on colors or gen yeah. I kind of like the Pokemon naming. Um, I feel like it's pretty straightforward. Like, yeah. Um. um there's a Kingdom Hearts 3582 or something. Yeah, exactly. There's a 358. There's like, I think there's one like divided. Yeah, is it 358 divided by two? So like, yeah. <laughs> okay, I just need to get another. We're just going to take one little break, like two minutes break. And um, yeah, just a little two, three minutes. And we'll come back and play the last game of the stream. Sorry, Seasons of World for Life. So... Uh, feel free to get some water, get some snack, and we'll be right back. I'll be right back.
All right, I am back. Thank you so much, by the way, guys, for like some of you have been here for one hour, two hours, three hours. Some of you have been here for six hours and I've been here for six hours and it's been a lot of fun so far. And I can't believe it doesn't feel like six hours. I feel like I've been, <laughs> I feel like because when we change games like this every hour, it just goes by so quickly. And I feel like we're just getting started, but we're almost done. I can't believe. Yeah, we're almost done. I, I feel like I could do this. If there were more Star of Seasons games on the Switch, I feel like I could do this for another, like, another six hours. Do, like, a 12-hour stream. But I really, really absolutely have to finish a video tonight. So after, in one hour, like, I'm absolutely uh, gonna have to, um, yeah, <laughs> gonna have to go after that. I've been here for the entire stream, Kia Lopez. Thank you so much. Yeah, it's been really fun. Really, really fun. So let's keep going with a wonderful life. Oh, yeah. <laughs> last time I played Daryl's Lab, if you guys remember, last time I played this was... I didn't play this. Daryl played this. If you if you know, if you were there, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, Summer 9, 7.34. For, wait. Blessing Summer Night. Yeah, okay, let's go with this one. Yeah, you've averaged an hour a game. Yeah, that, that, that was my goal, to do like one hour every game. I was there for that. He did great. He did pretty good. I want to change my outfit. I think the music is quiet right i just brought it up a little bit oh 64 mem wow 64 i can't believe now we have that game on the switch yeah let's keep that song oh yeah i want to change my outfit actually yeah i recently got the sprite Oh, what season are we in? Are we in fall? If we're in fall, I'm going to wear it with. Oh, I'm in summer. I'm going to wear. I know which one I'm going to wear. I like to wear this one in summer. Oh, yeah. We have a quartz. Oh, yeah. Because... <laughs> I don't know why we wanted to find a name that starts with Q. So we ended up with quartz. Pumpkin patch costume, yes. I got a little cat, a little dog. Okay, let's. It's been so long since I played this game. Are my chickens. Actually, I like to keep my chickens inside so I can actually find the eggs. <laughs> Should put the sprites one for Christmas. Yeah. I wanted to do, you know what? I wanted to get to do a sprites cosplay for Christmas. But I couldn't find like everything that I needed for it. Maybe next year. Maybe next year. Oh my gosh, though the thing is I'm always dreading when I stream this game and it's the end of the season. Because that means I should make new hybrids to plant like i should ideally make all the hybrids to plant in fall but that's too time consuming and that would take like an hour by itself so i'm gonna i'm i'm, I'm just gonna not plant anything because yeah that would take too much time they have interesting tail feathers it's sort of like a rooster I guess. yeah yeah, they do look like roosters, actually, little chickens. Okay, how much money do I have? We have a... What's my... Yeah, I forgot my kid's name. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Quartz. We have 100k. I think I can probably do... Let me see. I, I for, completely forgot it's been so long, like, what I was working on. I could get the... Oh, I was, I was waiting for the processing room. But we could get the pond and then get some ducks. We were talking about getting ducks earlier. We were talking about ducks, so let's do that. I've had third generation plants not make it to fruit before the end of the season, even though I planted the morning. 
Yeah, the third generation, like... Um, third generation, you gotta be careful, because some of them take like 15 to 20 days to grow. So you have to look up like a guide or something. I have the, in the G Japanese guidebook, they do list them. But some of them take more than 10 days. So they will grow in like two seasons. But you have to plant them like at the beginning. For example, if they grow in fall and winter. So you have to plant them in the beginning of fall to harvest them at the end of winter. Pui, long time no see. Is that an item for Pui? Yes. I want to do a Pui cosplay. That would be so fun. Should we go this? Oh yeah, let's go learn a recipe from the sprites. There's way too many crops to remember. I know it's hard to keep keep track, like, and it takes such a long time to like make all the seeds. It's such a time-consuming process. I love how it's starting to look like fall already. Oh, I miss playing this game. It's been a while. It's been so fun today's stream, though, because I realized um, every game is so different, right? Like, the okay, the, do, the two Doraemon games are pretty similar. But, like, overall, though, every game has been feeling so different, right? Like, I guess Harvest Moon's SNES and 64 are kind of similar, like, Mostly kind of similar, like, of course, 64 is so much more stuff than SNES, but they're kind of closer. But, like, Mineral Town and then Olive Town are completely different. Wonderful Life is completely different. They're all, like, so different. Uh, do you eventually get old and control your children? Does your main character pass away? You're, you do get old and pass away, but you can't control your children. The only thing is you can influence... In this game, what path your children is gonna, your child is gonna take, and like if they will become like a, for example, you can influence their abilities and their interests to decide their their career and like influence the ending of the game, but you you cannot play as them though. It's so nice when it rains. That's one thing I love about this game. Just the weather. The weather effects. And like the sound of the rain. And just like the whole atmosphere. Like it feels wet. Right? <laughs> like it feels so real. I don't know. I just love the whole atmosphere. And this. Yeah. And it's one of the best. The best atmospheres of like. Many farming games. Like, a game like this, I would love to have, like, a game like A Wonderful Life. Like, the graphics of A Wonderful Life, the camera, I love the camera, like, behind the character, instead of, like, we're so used to, like, top-down, right? I love the camera like this behind the character. I would love a game like this, but with more, more content and more things to do. Can you imagine, like, a coral island where you actually play like this? That would be so cool. I know, it's just so immersive, and they would like those graphics and everything. 244 likes, so close. Yeah, let's make it to 250 before the end of the stream. Let's do this. Thank you so much for showing your support, guys. You can't control your children. Why are you calling me out, Josh? Yeah, unfortunately, yeah. <laughs> My pleep is here. Oh, Piper. Nice. Mine has shipped. Actually, yeah, mine has shipped. Do you like it? I think it's like really small, right? That's so nice. I ordered mine like it was quite a long time ago, right? And I know it shipped, but I'm still waiting for it. But it's going to go through like customs and everything. So it's probably going to take a while. I'll post in Discord. Yeah, please post a picture. I want to see. We want to see your pleep. It's smaller than I thought it would be. Oh yeah, I have the voices in French. <laughs> I forgot about that. He's like, said you. Uh, took me by surprise. Oh, let's bring the animals inside. 
I really want the plushie from Pity. You right? Uh, like it's kind of overwhelming. All of these game companies making plushies. There's like the Moonstone Island one, which is so cute. To the little fish bowl. Oh, I'm gonna have. I'm gonna need some more grass. It's kind of weird that there's literally no point in feeding your horse. Like. No point at all. I wish it would make maybe your horse faster or something like that. But there's really no no reason uh, to feed your horse. Or at least I couldn't figure it out. Oh, I already... Yeah, there's really no reason to feed your horse. I got my chapa the other day. Yeah, I saw your chapa. I saw the, I saw the picture of your chapa. He looks really cute. He looks really, really cute. And like quite big and like high quality. I really need to find a new job. Shay, I hope you can find something soon. You've been searching for a while. Yeah, you should. I hope you can find something and like start treating yourself again. The Harvest Moon Cow is a classic. Yeah, I have the Harvest Moon Cow, like. The one from. I think it's from. Olive Town. But yeah, it's basically like the classic. Classic cow. Which I love. Alright. I'm gonna sell those crops. Actually, I'm gonna keep them for like... Food, because I want to make all the recipes and everything. So I'm gonna keep everything. Can't pay membership without a job either and support Josh as a member. That's true. Always make sure. Make sure you have food before membership, right? Oh, one little quality of life feature I wish you could have. I wish you would have in this game. I wish you could see automatically. I think in Olive Town you can see that even. Or can you? Maybe not. I wish you could see which recipe you've already made. Because, like, I'm trying to complete the encyclopedia. Well, sparkling salad is new, so let's make that. Yeah, I wish you could see, like, which one you made, which one you have not made. In my case, Hell Riot has been paying my membership. Since he met you on the Pilia Obstacle Course. Ooh. Oh, that's her boyfriend, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was trying to wonder. I was thinking, is that a company that's paying you? Is that like another content creator? I was like, oh, yeah, that's your boyfriend, right? Uh, he's nice. Well, thank you so much, Hell Riot. <laughs> yeah, he was so good at the Obstacle Course. Like, honestly. Like, I was playing for like, I don't know, I had been trying for like six hours at that time. And like he just joined the joined in and like caught up. Overtook everybody. Yeah, and he finished before me. <laughs> yeah. I was the last one. I can't believe I was I was the last one to finish. I was the one who tried the longest. And it I'm 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 the slow one. And Shay, who didn't make it. But you still you still made it pretty far, though. It's that furniture tower that killed you. <laughs> I still haven't finished. I believe in you. I'm sure if you tried it again, you would, like... When you try something for a long time, you kind of get tired of it. And, like, it's, it's harder. I feel like if you tried the next day, you would have been doing, like, so much better. Oh, she's giving me something. Oh, she gave me... Uh, odd sheet music. Sheet music from Marana. Even a seasoned musician would have trouble reading these pages. So we can show it to our kid. And it's going to increase her interest in music. Maybe for my birthday, I'll try doing it on the stream like you did. And that will give me the motivation to complete it. You should. You 
You really should. Let me know if you do that. I'll, I'll be there. I will be cheering you on. The resetting platforms are the worst. Yeah, exactly. That made things a lot more complicated. Like every few minutes or so, like all the moving parts would reset without any pre, without any warning. In February, someone reminded me, yeah. You should put like a calendar or something. So you can remember. But if, if I can remember, <laughs> I don't know if I'll remember, but uh, if I try, uh, I'll try to remember it. Okay, we can bring the animals back outside. All right. Shall we slee? Oh, rock. Yo, pumpkin, working hard or hardly working? <laughs> I won't judge either way. Yeah, he's he's a hardly working type. Who did you marry? Yeah, I married Rock, as you as you saw. Mario Wonder is good. It has challenging stuff, but you can choose the easier stages. Yeah, I played a little bit of Mario Wonder. Honestly, though, I was a little bit disappointed. Like, it has very interesting. Some stages are really interesting. But I found it a little bit too easy. Maybe I need to play it more. I did not finish it. I played maybe like five hours or so. But I don't know. I didn't manage to keep my attention too much. Uh, okay, what did Quartz do? She did some. Did she take care of the animals or the crops? There's no benefit to feeding the horse. I didn't realize you could just. Yeah, there's. It doesn't do anything at all. Unfortunately, I wish, because there's no like horse race or anything, right, in this game. So there's no need for that and your horse when you ride your horse your horse cannot get sick your horse cannot like pass away or anything um he cannot become faster or anything so there's no there's really no point unfortunately i wish your horse could get sick and like pass away and then you have no horse for the rest of the game or maybe your horse would like refuse at least like refuse to like let you ride refuse to give you a ride if you're if he's not doing well or like there should be like oh something there should be a little consequence right none of your animals can get sick or pass away yeah at least the other animals like the cows will stop giving you milk, right? If if you don't feed them for a long time, actually. Uh, it takes a while, but yeah, they would eventually stop giving you milk. Or, no, they won't. Wait. I think they won't stop, but it's going to be like a C quality or like a D quality, like a really low quality. But, yeah. They really facilitate, they really like made the animals a lot easier in this game. A little bit too easy, I feel like. Refuse all would be, yeah. Like, if. But yeah, Bobby's full of energy. He's always full of energy, like, no matter what. Alright, let's go see the sprites. It's no fun if there's no consequences. Exactly. I like to have some. Stakes, some dangers, right? Some some risks, some some exciting stuff. The game is still really fun, but it could be better. Back my cinnamon rolls burned. Shay, why? <laughs> no, cinnamon rolls. Did you get too distracted by the stream? Is it my fault? I'm so sorry. Uh, your rose. They got rid of the realism of animals by not having them sick or eventually pass away, even from old age. Yeah. Yeah, they got rid of that. And yeah, even like, as I was saying, even if you don't feed them for a while, they'll still like give you milk and stuff, but just the 
The quality will decrease, but it takes a long time for it to decrease. It's a hundred percent your fault. Let's go with yeah. I'll, I'll accept the. I will take the blame for this time. Oh yeah, I want to show the music sheet. The sheet music. Two quarts. I'm going to make some fried noodles. Ooh. Uh, soon I learned the hard way. To... Sorry, there's a lot. Oh, to really heavily boil before frying the hard way. Wait. I learned the hard way to really heavily boil before frying the hard way. What do you mean? <laughs> uh, Josh always chase some cinnamon rolls. Yeah. Papa Josh. Uh, look, look. What? It's a magic stick. Oh, that's so cute. A resort must have dropped it. I saw this exact thing in one of my picture books. All I gotta do is practice and I'll be able to use magic. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> Throw that thing away. It's dirty. So rude. What kind of magic? That's wonderful. Let's ask what kind of magic? Candy magic. <laughs> I'll change our house into a candy house. It'll be made of chocolate and gumdrops. Oh, and candy canes. And then we can eat the whole thing. <laughs> if we eat it, we won't have anywhere to live. Mmm, it's magic, so everything that's candy will just keep coming back over and over and over. She's so cute. Like, those little cutscenes are so cute in this game. Like, so adorable. How can I join the Seedling Discord? I can't figure it out. You have to link... If you have to go in your... So, I don't know your... You have to be a super Seedling, so it's like the higher tier of membership. And you have to go in your account settings on Discord, and there's an option somewhere to link your YouTube account. And you have to link your YouTube account, and once you link it, it might take like a few minutes, and then you should uh, see, you should have access to it. Uh, I hope our tummies will hold it all. Yeah. I gotta go to the bathroom. Oh no. <laughs> She's so cute. I love the little cutscenes in this game. And I love how every kid, like, depending on their interests, like, not every kid, like, other kids will have, like, a different cutscene, right? Depending on... Okay, I want to show her the music sheet. The sheet music. I always say music sheet. It's sheet music. Morning, Papa Josh. Being able to play an instrument is so cool. I don't know if I put it in the... Oh, no, it can't go in the toy box. Yeah, I'm going to show it to her every day, hopefully. Hopefully she likes music eventually. I explained the hard way above. I learned the hard way to really heavily boil before frying the hard way. I don't get it. Sorry. Maybe I'm tired. I don't get it. So did you boil too heavily or you didn't boil enough so your noodles were still hard? I don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, I don't get. Maybe when she's older. Yeah. Oh, it's the last day of summer. You know what? I need to go to the dig site. I've not been digging a lot um, in this safe file. That's cool to actually influence your children's growth. It's really nice. It's a really nice feature. I miss the old Nami design. She's not too different, though. Like, she's pretty similar. No? Maybe my message didn't go through. Yes, the noodles were too hard. That pun was apparently awful. Yeah, I figured there was a pun with the hard way, but I, I know. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Hopefully you enjoy your noodles. Have you played this one to the end yet? So actually, I've played the original game to the end. 
and they were like on the GameCube, and that that game was so long, the original one, because it was like 10 years. But the remake I've actually not finished yet. So I played the Japanese version up until the sixth year, but I didn't finish the year. And then this one, I'm in like the second year. Yeah. I'm in the second year now. So, yeah, I still have a long way to go. But I, I, I've seen the ending and everything in the original game. I thought Nami looked really... Yeah, exactly. I, thought, I think she doesn't look that different from her original design. Nami, Nami is grumpy like Karen. Exactly. That's not my... That's not too much my... My type. I don't like when they're too cold. Nami on this looks more like a boy than a girl, but that's just me. Well, she's always been kind of tomboyish, right? Even in the original. Stupid autocorrect also said two really with two O's instead of two really, which didn't make it easier to understand. Yeah, yeah, I, I, that's also one thing that confused me. Anyway, we, we figured it out. That's the most important. I still need to finish my playthrough of the... Yeah, it's a long game, like... It's at least like a hundred hours if you unless you like start skipping days Which is fine if you do at the end because there's like really not that much to do Like once you've maxed out your friendship You've done all the hybrids which you can do like in the second or even third year like it like it doesn't take too too long um, Well, it takes a long time in real life, but not a long time in the game if that makes sense But yeah, you can do like all your hybrids and everything and then there's, like, not that much to do after that. Oh, by the way, I think maybe tomorrow we should have the, the pond for our ducks. I love, the, I love a good joke, but when you have to explain it, you messed up your <laughs> delivery. Yes. I'm sure some people got it, though, so. I don't like how they changed Muffy to Molly. I like her original name better. Yeah. They had to change a lot of names, but... Yeah, I, I got used to it. I got used to her new name. My son became a moody teenager and I got annoyed. Yeah, in my first playthrough too. I thought they were always like this. But apparently there's a way to have them not be moody. <laughs> which I didn't think was possible. You can only get the ducks in summer though, right? Oh. Is it only in summer? Should be in year one to get those two. Well, year two. I think the ducks, you can get them any year. But yeah, maybe it's just in summer. I'm not sure. I forgot. Help me settle a debate. My husband and I are arguing over what the best part of an Oreo is. I think cookie and he says cream. I think the cream is the better part. Because... I mean... The cookie is dry. It's just a cookie. Like... If I, if I could eat just one part by itself, like the chocolate cookie is just like a chocolate cookie, but the cream is, I don't know, it's special. Of course, the, the two together is the best. But like, if I have the choice between, you know, there's like these double cream, there's like the double cream Oreos. So like, if you could have a double cream Oreos or an Oreo with like three chocolate cookies instead of like two. Would you take the double cream or would you like take the three cookies? I think most people would take the double cream, right? Because double cream actually exists and triple cookies, triple cookies doesn't exist because it's not as good. So yeah, I would say the cream is the best part. Golden Oreo is super. Oh, I've never had a golden Oreo. I love the peppermint Oreos whenever they do those. I know during the holidays if they do that. I remember having peppermint Oreos in the past and I liked those. 
The cookie tastes like dirt to me. <laughs> I definitely buy double stuff or yeah, those are good. Like they're great. I haven't had to be honest, I didn't buy I haven't had cookies in a long time. Like Oreos, especially it's been a while. Peanut butter Oreos are amazing. Ooh. There's so many Oreos, right? Every time I go to the grocery store, I feel like there's a new Oreo. But I've not I've not been keeping up with Oreos too much recently. That little cow is so cute, that little marble marble cow. You know what's really good? Krispy Kreme Oreo donuts. Ooh, I've never I've never seen those. Maybe it's an American thing. Or maybe, as I said, I've not been keeping up, so... Maybe I've just never paid too much attention, but that does sound pretty good. I bought some pumpkin Oreos back around Halloween. I haven't opened them yet. Oh, they're in the snacks basket with the rest of the ignored snacks. I'm not a big fan of, like, pumpkin spice flavored stuff. But that could be good. I don't know. Have you seen the cookies and cream Oreo? It's literally Oreo flavored Oreos. That's interesting. Now I want some crispy cream glazed donut. Glazed donut. Yeah, donuts would be nice. Oh, there's a little fish. I didn't know you could actually see the little fish in detail. He looks so light. He looks so dead. I hate pumpkin coffee, love pumpkin baked goods. Yeah, like I love pumpkin pie, but everything else, pumpkin flavored stuff, pumpkin spice flavored stuff. I had muffins once, like pumpkin spice muffins or like pumpkin muffins. Those can be good. Like muffins, cakes and stuff, I'm fine with it. But yeah, like coffees and stuff, not that much. So yeah, I hope that settles our Oreo debate. Um, yep. <laughs> Krispy Kreme makes me nauseated, so I can't eat them. Too greasy for me. I have a sensitive stomach. Yeah. I used to live like really near Krispy Kreme and get them maybe a little bit too often. But that, that's not the case anymore. Now that we're all craving dessert, can I interest you all in some burned cinnamon rolls? Honestly, I would have. Are, are they good? Are they still good? Not too bad. I would have some if, if I could. I haven't had cinnamon rolls in years. Me too. It's been a while since I've had cinnamon rolls. I hate Krispy Kreme. That glaze makes my mouth feel bad. I like Dunkin'. I never had donuts from Dunkin' Donuts. I, I don't even know if we have them in Canada anymore. I know when I was a kid, there was a Dun Dunkin' Donuts in my town. Oh, yeah, well, I had... Yeah, I had donuts at that time, actually. So that was, like, maybe 25 years ago. And I remember they gave me, like, a little coloring. I was... There were, they had like donut characters and I was like coloring them. Anyway, uh, I remember that. But then that specific shop closed and I think it's... I don't know if they're still in Canada or not. Dunkin makes cake donuts. Mostly I prefer yeast donut. Yeah, I think so, right? But it's really hard to find like good donuts from like chains. Like, they often end up kind of disappointing. Pumpkin spice is cinnamon, all spice. Uh, ginger, nutmeg, and cloves. Maybe it's called that because it's using pumpkin spice. Yeah, yeah, pumpkin spice. A lot of people think that pumpkin spice is like pumpkin flavored, but it's actually. Like, what's used in pumpkin pie, right? So there's a pretty big distinction between something that's, like, actually pumpkin flavor, like the flavor of a pumpkin, or, like, there's actual pumpkin inside, and, like, pumpkin spice flavor. And sometimes it's not clearly labeled, so you think it's going to be, like, 
tastes like a pumpkin, but it's like just pumpkin spice, right? There is no pumpkin flavor in the drink at all. There is no pumpkin flavor in, unless, as far as I know, there's no, like, if you get, like, a pumpkin spice latte or something, there's no pumpkin in there. There's no, like, pumpkin flavor. I'm surprised to eat Krispy Kreme rain, rains in Canada. I hear Dunkin' rains in Northeast U.S. Yeah, we have a lot of Krispy Kremes in Canada. That's why they have the spice part, pumpkin spice spice. Yeah. But sometimes it just say pumpkin. I remember one time. Um, yeah, I was somewhere and I, I wanted to try like a drink and it was like pumpkin flavor. And like the guy was telling me it was not pumpkin spice. It was really pumpkin. But like it was confusing. Anyway, I ended up, it, it was pumpkin spice and it was kind of weird for a drink. And I didn't like it. It was like a pumpkin spice. It was like a pumpkin espresso martini and I wasn't sure how to feel about it but the guy said it was like really pumpkin flavorful he said we he, he was like pushing it he said like, even if you don't like pumpkin spice you're gonna like it and like it's really like tastes like pumpkin but it, it was just pumpkin spice and it was really not that great pumpkin spice in a drink sounds odd to me it was weird like it's just, I don't know I'm sure some people liked it because they sell them, but it's not not great for me. Pumpkin spice has the risk of tasting like a candle. Yeah, that's not a good thing. That's not good. Hey, the pond is red. Oh, yeah, we have a pond. Yep, that's about it. <laughs> take good care of the new addition, all right? Yay. So, yeah, I think we'll have to wait for next summer for the ducks. Hey, pumpkin. Oh, sp <laughs> speaking of pumpkins. Uh, what do you think? Am I a good farmhand? You're doing great. He's asking me every day. Yeah, so now we have... Little pond, and it's the first day of autumn. Got some eggplants, crop four, and some melotoma. Yeah. Some mushrooms. Oh, yeah, we're gonna get so many fruits. Fall is amazing for that. We're gonna make so much money. Okay, so I'm gonna put all of that in the fridge for my cooking rock I need to use the fridge oh I can still use it just gonna put everything in there I don't I need money a little bit but I'm gonna sell my fruits and stuff Eggnog makes my tummy hurt. I do like eggnog, actually. I've not had it in a while, but I do kind of like it. Okay, let's take care of all chickens. Oh, it stopped raining. Let's bring everybody out. Oh, yeah, I need to get... I need to cut some grass, right? Because I've been running out. <laughs> I don't even like eggs, so I don't like their nug. Yeah, I don't even know what Nog means. But... Yeah, it's... No, I like it. But yeah, if you don't like eggs, I'm assuming. Do I just have four chickens? Oh yeah, I was waiting for ducks. You know what, let's do one more. Oh no, I need fertilized eggs. Wait, do I have? Oh yeah. What event is a nog? I'm not sure, honestly. Oh yeah, we got some wool ready. I'm hungry. Let's have let's have some salad. Let's 
some pickles. Shay, that one was Shay. I just remember that. What? <laughs> Is apple cider a Christmas drink? I really love it. I don't know. I feel like maybe warm apple cider. I don't think it has to be like a Christmas drink specifically. Like a winter drink. Yeah, maybe actually. Like a winter thing. You were going to let your me name your sheep, but then I was AFK, so you named it Shay. Oh my gosh. Do we have a... Sh uh, oh yeah. Sally's doing fine. Shay looks healthy and content. You're healthy and content. Yeah, <laughs> just remember the ba remember about that. It was good to catch even just the last part. Hi, Ruby. Bye. Didn't you realize you will still be streaming? Yeah, it's a long stream today. But we have about 20 minutes left and then... Oh yeah, there should be new requests because it's the first of the month. I like how he mentioned it that he posted a new request. That's a nice detail. Oh yeah, I need to show him my sheet music. Hey. Yeah, she says the same thing every time. Um, hybrid crop, heartwarming soup. Oh, it shouldn't be any problem. Heartwarming soup. I forgot what that one is, but I think it's pretty simple. Uh, oh. What am I missing? What am I missing? Potatoes! I don't have potatoes. Okay, I'm gonna buy some potato soups. Uh, potato seeds. Uh, uh, okay, she wants one hybrid crop, right? Samantha. Uh, I mean, San. Let's give her something. I have a lot of... Let's go with one grow round. Grow round. I don't know if the fruits actually work for that or it has to be like a vegetable. I guess we will find out. And I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna go buy some potato. Maybe I have some potato seeds actually because I made a lot of hybrids. Let me see if I have some potato seeds that I could plant very quickly. Oh yeah. From winter to spring. Wait, it doesn't even grow. He's asking for like soup with potatoes in fall, but there's no not even like a way. Oh well, you're not gonna get your soup. This is probably asking for too much, but I wish this game had as much unique dialogue as in Rune Factory. 4. Yeah, that would be amazing. Rune Factory Four was so good with the dialogues, the variety of dialogues. We have a cider mill that sells apple cider slushies and donuts. Ooh, apple cider donuts sounds so nice. Oops, wrong house. Uh, do you know the recipe for ice cream? I do not. I actually, I do know. She's, I don't know why, she's always stuck on that. Like for the rest of the game, I think she's just going to talk to me about ice cream. Uh, where's San? Maybe she's at, no. I wish you could see their little faces, like in um, Doraemon. Oh, she's at the villa. Apple cider donuts are so... Oh my gosh. I'm getting hungry. And it's 10 p.m. So there's not a lot of food but that I can... Uh, I think... I'm, <laughs> I'm so hungry, I don't know what I'm going to do. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, okay, yeah. Request. Yeah, so the fruits work for that, for the crops. 
We can send fries or donuts this late. Yeah. There is... I mean, there's a grocery store. It has donuts, but... I mean, it's not the same, right? It's not the same as, like, fresh. Warm donuts. I've had apple cider donuts, too, from a local art chart. Ooh. So it seems like it's a popular thing. A lot of people are talking about that. My wife bakes the best cakes and cupcakes. She makes butter pecan cupcakes, and they were so good. Ooh. That does sound very nice. Yeah, it's hard to beat some homemade pastries. Made with love and care. What is Josh going to do to get food? I'll figure things out. I'll have some toast or something. I have snacks. Actually, I have, I have some snacks here. Homemade can never be beaten unless you're like Shane, you would just burn your burn your cinnamon rolls. But it, it, when it's successful, it's hard to beat homemade. <laughs> I bake all my pastries with hate because I always end up making a mess with them. Maybe that's why you make a mess. Because you're starting with the wrong mindset. Maybe if you have a mindset of love, your pastries will be not burned. All right. Did I go see the... Oh, yeah. I, I, did I chat? Did I have a chat with the sprites today? I'm not sure. I'm not sure I did. So let's go see what's up with them. I'll try that next... Yeah, and let me let me know. Let us know how it goes. Post your pictures on Discord. I've eaten a bag of shredded cheese for dinner once, so toast wouldn't be weird for dinner for me. Yeah, I often have... I know it's not the best, but like... Toast is good for like... Oh, rich salad. I mean, when you want something quick... And cheap. But yeah, a bag of shredded cheese. <laughs> That's an interesting dinner. I hope you're not like lactose intolerant or something. Because that's a lot of cheese. Alright, I'm gonna... I am... Sorry, what was that? Oh yeah, a rich salad. I want to see if I can make the salad that I just learned how to make. I always have pizza pockets for times like this. Oh my gosh, I haven't had pizza pockets in so long. I forgot those even existed. Yeah. Oh yeah, rich salad. We can do it. Oh my gosh, that's my last melotoma. Melotoma, my last turmelin, and my little kiwi. Tree two. I have these carnation vanilla drinks that I have in the morning for my pills. It's a little thicker than milk, so it coats my stomach and I feel full. Oh, that's nice. I've grabbed one for my dinner sometimes. I don't know if I could, like... Even if I do, like, smoothies or, like, stuff like that. I need to, like, chew something. Like... I like the feeling of, like, actually eating something. You know, at, at one point there was this... There was a point where... I don't know how it's called. There were, like, so many YouTubers, like, doing sponsors for that. It was, like, a drink that you would drink, like, three times a day, and they would be, like, your meals. That kind of stuff always sounded so boring to me. Like, who would want to just, like, drink three times a day instead of having meals? That sounds so boring. Like... Eating is so much fun, right? You want to like actually eat, not just like drink something. I don't know how that, that was called. I haven't I haven't seen any ads for those things in a long time. I guess people didn't like them. Soylent. Oh yeah, Soylent. I think that's what it, yeah. Everybody was promoting that for like so long. It's probably like a few years ago. 
Ja, Soyland. That sounds like the most... Have had, like... A jaw surgery after my braces. And I had to have a liquid diet for, like, weeks. Not fun. Not really fun. I would 100% would. I, ate, I hate eating. Oh, no. <laughs> if that just appealed with all the nutrition we needed, I'd be all about it. That's so interesting. We like so different things, right? Yeah. Like, for me, sometimes I'm not even hungry, but I just want to eat something, right? I just want to, like, have some food. Some ramen noodles will be... Oh, you know what? Yeah, I do have some noodles. Boil some eggs and like put a few like vegetables and stuff. And yeah, that's a good idea actually. Thank you. Yeah, I'll do that. Eating is like the biggest joy in my life. Exactly. Some people don't like it though. It's okay, it's more food, more food for us. It's just cooking that's kind of tedious. I kind of like... I like cooking, but I feel like it takes a long time. What's the sponsor for the video you're working on tonight? Oh, good question. I don't... I think I can say it. It's Wild Mender. It's a game I've been, like, really, really enjoying. So, like, usually for sponsors, I try to... Pretty much only accept sponsors from, like, games that I would be talking about. Anyway, so I'm making a video on the best multiplayer farming sims, and I'm going to talk about Wildmender at the beginning, and then I'm going to talk about Sunhaven, Root of Pacha, Stardew Valley, and like, yeah, a lot of like multiplayer farming sims. So I'm working on that, and I need to finish that like pretty quickly. Migi is going to freak out, I know. <laughs> Honestly, the multiplayer is so fun in that game. Like, genuinely, it's such a fun game. The game is so long in this game. It's kind of tedious. Well, it's time to go anyway. I feel like my chat is messed up that some of my messages aren't going through and I'm not seeing all messages despite having all messages turned on. Yeah, Mike, I've not, I don't know if you've sent a message recently, but I've not seen, I don't think your messages have been sent. Shrimp taco, ooh, shrimp tacos are good. Tacos are actually pretty like fast. Pretty fast. I, that's one thing I love making. Like, instead of making sandwiches, or like. Sandwiches can be good, but I feel like tacos are more like exciting. Yeah. Uh, what should we do? Let's go to the cafe. Let's have a little drink celebrate it's gonna be uh, the end of our stream very soon well this is gonna be our last day so let's have let's have a little drink celebratory drink for this seven hours of story of seasons guys we have so many story of seasons games on the switch including the first like harvest moon games so let me know which one is your favorite from everything we've played today i think for me like harvest moon 64 and then Friends of the Great Kingdom is great. Mineral Town, you can't go wrong with Mineral Town. Olive Town has some very good ideas too. A Wonderful Life is wonderful. There, it's so hard, I can't choose one. Let's have some lemon soda. <laughs> I can't choose one. I'm gonna pick Harvest Moon 64. If I had to pick like just one. But even though like Harvest Moon 64, you can play it on other, con like you can play it on the 64, whereas these games you can only play on the Switch. Our own Steam, but I love them all. 
if I had to eliminate one, it would be the first Doraemon Story of Seasons, just because the second one made everything better. But if I had to eliminate the second one, maybe Harvest Moon SNES, because it's pretty old and there's not as as much to do. Um, if I had to eliminate the third one, maybe Mineral Town. Because Friends of the Great Kingdom has pretty much all the features that Mineral Town has. But, the, hmm. but yeah, but I wouldn't, I'm not going to eliminate more than that. I can't, I can't rank the other games. It's too hard. It's too difficult. Harvest Moon 64 best art style. Honestly, the art style is so good. Oh, Josh, you home. Oh, let's just see what's happening. Sorry to drop in on you. Just wanted to talk for a bit. What's happening? Oh, he's smiling. Your daughter's been lending me a hand on the farm a lot these days. Oh, since she's been an eager beaver, I thought I'd give her some errands to run. Won't be anything too crazy. Oh, that's so nice. Thank you. Uh, you've seen that cow-shaped piggy bank in Quartz Room, I'm guessing. Oh yeah, oh my gosh, there's a really cute cutscene. Well, I'm the one who gave it to her, so don't worry too much about it. I already let Rock in on the whole deal, but I figured you had a right to know too. Anyway, that's it from me. See you later, kid. There's like a little cutscene where like your kid is... <clears throat> Sorry, what's happening? There's a little cutscene where like your kid is running with a little piggy bank. It's so cute. I think we're not going to see that cutscene today. Yeah, the little piggy bank there is so cute, right? Yeah, there is a cutscene with that. Let's see if it happens. Let me go like near the bridge, maybe. But I don't think it's probably gonna happen like tomorrow or something. Now, uh, I already decided when my favorite Star of Seasons game from Marvelous is, but now there's Doraemon, Friends of the Great Kingdom versus Mineral Town. It's, it, it is hard. Uh, are you still debating on doing a poll stream for the best Marvelous Harvest Moon of all time? That would be fun to do something like, um, like a little tournament, like we did uh, with the other, uh, with the 2023 games. Something like that at one point. Oh, I gotta harvest that. But I think that's gonna be pretty much it, guys, for today. So we've been here for seven hours. Thank you so, so much, everyone. You are still live and it is 10 a.m. Oh, I'm so sorry. There's always, every time I'm about to finish the stream, there's always like one person that shows up and is like, oh, you're still live. I'm so happy. Like, you're still live. Sorry, I'm I'm going away. Um, we're all going. Yeah, thank you so much, guys. It was such a fun stream. Feel free to leave a like on the stream before you leave, if that's not already done. And welcome to all of our new members. We got eight new members today. So thank you so much, everybody. And yeah, thank you for hanging out. That was so much fun. And... Yeah, next time. Um, there's no other streams this week except for the member stream. So stay tuned on Discord if you want to know what's happening next. But if not, well, uh, 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 okay, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Uh, yeah, I'll be back after the 25th. So Merry Christmas. And yeah, okay. Yeah, take care. Bye.